Hey everybody, how's it going? How y'all doing tonight on this Saturday night? You're doing money apparently, based on that. Uh, it's fortune cookie night. It is also another sponsored night. And that'll be after a little bit of Kawabunga collection because that finally dropped this week. A collection of 12 or 13, I forget the exact number, of Ninja Turtle games at this point. It's just a lot of Ninja Turtle games. So many Ninja Turtle games. And apparently this is actually like an extremely good collection. Like insanely good. With digital clips on it, I'm not super shocked, but either way. Oh, whoa. Oh my god, how much do they have here? Boxes and manuals for all the games. There you go, look at that nice NES Turtles box. Fresh from the classic comics comes Heroes in a Half Shell. And then the Japanese version. The arcade game, no mention of the uh, Pizza Hut coupon on it, sadly. There's the Famicom box. Kawabunga! Oh, that second one looks like it says almost like a Kanabunga. But no, that's another W. The Manhattan Project. Actually pretty good. Or Turtles 2, apparently. And so on and so on. Hey, John, did you see the new nail polish out today? Oh, yeah, I ordered it already. I'm on it, don't worry. Tournament Fighters for the NES. Actually, a pain in the ass to find now. Follow the Foot Clan, the Game Boy ones. <laughs> TMNT! I am pointing straight up. Can I zoom in on this? Yes, yeah, go back, go back. Look at how fucking smug Splinter looks. <laughs> Those are my sons up there. That's their names. Tommy, Michael, Nikki, and Tommy too. Those are my sons. <laughs> he's, he's high. I don't know if I... Yeah, he kind of has that look. Back from the sewers. These are very intact boxes they got too. God damn. Japanese box for two. Radical Rescue. I remember this box because I remember wrinkly-faced Leonardo on it. And then the somehow even cooler Japanese box for the game? With like Leo carrying around like a little like lantern, Mikey using a map. Raft is juggling the key and Donnie looking super pissed off. <laughs> hey, danger, let's go over there. I've ever played the Turtles arcade game based off the 2012 cartoon. Yes, I have. It's it's all right. I wasn't super. It's not as tight as I would say the the 80s ones were, but oh, I've never seen the Japanese box for this one. Oh, that's neat. German fighters for SNES. Mutant warriors. Oh, that's where the art for those comes from. Okay, so this game came with a bunch of like. Uh, or the collector's edition rather came with a bunch of cards For tournament fighters, and I think they're using this art specifically so that makes a lot more sense now Yes, because that box art right there that is on the that's Leonardo's card These are cool Hyperstone heist Where the turtles decide to fight very tiny Manhattan. Oh It's called return of the shredder in Japan interesting, okay and then Genesis Tournament Fighters, which is st wow, this box art! Holy shit, I have never seen this. They almost look like their movie counterparts. And then like April just looks really out of place. She looks almost CG. And then loops. All right, and there's a bunch of game manuals. So every manual for every game. And that's just the game manual stuff. What else is in here? Ads and catalogs, comic books. Are these full blown or are they just the covers? It's just the covers. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh my God, they've got like all of them in here. 
That's fucking wild, dude. Wow. Oh, they're weird future ones. Yo, I can't believe they actually had them. Yeah, there's Pirate Raph. Fuck yeah. It's like in the future where like Donnie gets rich by selling like product like computer products and stuff, so he builds like a samurai armor set for the entire crew. And it just goes in like the story for like the Eternals Adventures goes in some crazy directions. These were awesome. I used to love remember reading these as a kid. 2011, so the IDW series is currently running. Turtles in Time series. Urban. Wow, they've got like everything here. So do they have... No, they probably don't then in that case. Oh, maybe they do. No, okay, so they don't quite go that far. Yeah, they definitely don't go that far then in that case. But that's still really cool. Or maybe they do, because I just noticed this goes up to 132! Holy shit. There's a bunch of stuff there. Alright, well let's 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 actually focus on the games here first. Uh, but first there was a Duke request before I got distracted with all that art. Uh, that was from Mr. Viperfang. Viperfang, here's some wisdom of Duke for you. I need a key card. Never mind, you'll get the wisdom later. He's stuck behind a door currently. Alright, so the games we've got here. The original Turtles arcade game. The original Turtles in Time arcade game. The SNES version of Turtles in Time. SNES version of Tournament Fighters. Hyperstone Heist for Genesis. The Tournament Fighters for Genesis, which is a different game. Turtles 1 for NES. Turtles 2 for NES, Turtles 3 for NES, Tournament Fighters for NES, which is also still a different game. Fall of the Foot Clan for the Game Boy, Back from the Sewers for the Game Boy, Radical Rescue for the Game Boy, and that's it. But also, uh, they have the Japanese regions as well. So if you ever want to see what any differences are between the different games, you can actually just check those out too. Which one had the Buttle typo? That is uh, Radical Rescue. Legend of the Extreme Ninja Turtles. Well, we gotta play that. Leonardo, Weapon Katana Blades. Okay, so this part's still the same. Raphael, Weapon Psy. Michelangelo, weapon, nunchucks. Donatello, weapon bow. Pointing! April looks really confused at why she's here. Like, why did they grab me? Oh yeah, holy shit, it's not even the Ultra logo, it's actually Konami's logo. I mean, it's it's the same. Yep, it is the same. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure that was the same too. How do I get out of here? Quick game. Let's see what has the Ultra logo on this one. No, it's still Ultra Games here. So I heard apparently they did something with this version of the game where they actually changed the frame rate. Here, let me. I'll keep the. I'll keep the filters off. We'll stick with the border. Controls I assume are gonna be the same. Attack and jump. That's perfect. There's rewind and game options with R. There's a strategy guide. Is this the Nintendo? Power? Oh, Eclipse Tips. Those are maps! Oh my god, this is a... This is actually really cool. 
I love being a turtle. The settings you're looking for on the game select screen. Thank you. Let me go check that then. Why is it not bringing up? There we go. Enhancements. Remove slowdown. Remove sprite flicker. Ooh, buddy. I want to see how this runs like with that. I mean, so far, this just looks the same. It does feel a bit smoother and faster as a result. Whose butts do they have to kiss to compile all this? Um, well done. Nickelodeon, for starters, I guess. But um, from what I saw, because this version came with an art book too, I was reading it. They have like the production documents for the for these games. Like they show like early sketches of the game in development, like maps, early sprite work. It's fucking wild, dude. I can't believe they got as much as they did. I can't believe Konami still had as much as they did. Because Konami infamously lost a bunch of their stuff in a fire years, like, back, I think, around the SNES or uh, Nintendo 64 era. So, like, a lot of the, like, Castlevania 3 stuff is lost, for example. At least that's what I heard. Maybe it's not actually the case. Dude, I'm gonna say though, this is fucking wild playing this without any slowdown. Absolutely fucking wild. But this must make some parts of this game a pain in the ass to play though. Because honestly, the slowdown in a couple parts kind of was in your favor. Trying to think of a good spot to even show that would have a lot of slowdown. I think this room alone had a fair amount of it. Damn it. The dam? Yeah, you're right. Let's get to the dam. You know, I actually don't remember the last time I fought Rocksteady properly. <laughs> so used to just standing on top. Don't let the Foot Clan destroy the dam. You have my support. Mikey. Bombs are set up in the lake. Find entrance. You have my support. I know there's like a full pizza around here somewhere. Oh, dude, this is, this is so weird. I know like a bunch of emulators have these kind of settings, but I'm so used to just, I'm so used to playing the cart where none of this runs this smooth. I'm not gonna lie, this is fucking wild, dude. Alright, let's get that half pizza for Leo and get the full pizza later for Donnie. I almost feel like I need to, like, turn off the... the the enhancements just to show how bad this game can be.
When you saw your birthday stream, it can be bad. I mean, that is true. It's not like this is the first time I've ever shown off this game. Boomerangs! The most powerful sub weapon for some reason, other than the actually powerful sub weapon. Come on. Alright, Donnie, eat up. The weapon that Mikey's famous for, boomerangs. I mean, to be fair, he's technically come close to using those. Eh, not quite, I gotcha. Oh, my favorite jump. I don't know why this is the jump I always screw up. Not any of the harder ones later on, just this damn jump. At least I got double damage on my nunchucks now because I'm at half health. Still never got quite why that works. Adrenaline, I guess. Ah, damn it. No, my boomerangs. Now all I have are sharp, stabby stars. Whatever will I do? God damn it, I'm why am I so bad at this jump? Even as a kid, this jump for some reason was the thing that messed me up. Not the actual damn part, it's just that stupid jump. There we go. Let me just wiggle this stick in front of you. Here's a sausage, go get the sausage. Get the sausage. Or die, okay, that works too. I'm gonna save here because I wanna try a couple things. We're gonna do this without slowdown first. This is running so smooth, dude! This is weirding me out! No, I don't have to go that way. Oh no, the game is running well, help me. No, dude! Uh, as silly as it sounds to be complaining about that, it makes sense because you get so used to working with the slowdown in this game that not having it there is somewhat jarring. It's like playing Star Fox at the actual speed it's supposed to run, the original Star Fox. It's a completely different game at that point. Mikey, I can't take you through here. Raph, sacrificial lamb time. Let's see how much how bad this is gonna go. Cause this room usually has a lot of slowdown. Oh god. Oh god. Cow. Yeah, Leo. Flashing light warning? No, that's that's the last part of it. it. It there should be no more flashing light warning until we have to go do that part again. This game wasn't too bad about that, thankfully. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Bad, 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 bad. Holy shit, we're actually gonna get the almost at a time warning on this one. Oh boy. 
Normally you don't I don't hear that jingle. I was actually gonna try to get it on purpose, but it looks like I don't have to try with with no slowdown. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait a second. I wanna hear it. Okay! I grew up on this game. It was... Where did that message go? I grew up on this game. It was never smooth on the NES, and you are 22 minutes into a stream and have managed to make it farther than I can make it in one hour playing the NES version. <laughs> See, I grew up with this game, too. I can beat this game. I beat this game as a kid, sort of. So, uh, I know how to do this. All right, so now I'm going to show... Uh, now I'm going to show what happens when the slowdown's on there. So let's turn off all the, uh, all that. Oop, I hope I was hitting the right button. All right, let's see how bad this gets. Still not that bad so far. I think it's usually when we get into the the uh, the electric algae area that's when it gets really bad. I think the rotating pieces also have a little bit of it too. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, there we go. This thing, this thing causes a lot of flickering. <clears throat> that little thing's pushing the NES a little bit. Get in there. Mikey, you might wanna, you might wanna tag out. All oh, right, doing that summons that guy back. All right, this is gonna be the really bad screen. Yeah, that could have been worse. Maybe I know there's a room in in area three that's really bad for it. Maybe we should just get to area three and show that off. Ooh. Is it algae or kelp? Uh, I assume it's kelp. Algae is usually like green and more liquidy looking, isn't it? What happens when timer runs out on here? Um, you get a game over. Like normally if you lose a turtle, like you can continue their lives. If you run out of time, like that's it, you, you fail. So one strategy if you're almost out of time but you're not gonna get all the bombs is actually to kill off a turtle because that resets the timer. Giving you another chance to actually do the whole, the old damn maze. Yeah, let me just show it to you. Go and find the bomb! Yeah, I'll look around. I'll keep it in mind. Leo's just taking a nap. Now he's dancing. Full game over. And if you continue, it puts you back down here. So that's why it's better to just die than get a game over in the dam and let time run out. Oh shit. No wonder people hate the dam level. Yeah. Once you learn the order to find the bombs, you never forget it. <laughs> you never do. Mm. 
Oh, so there are continues. I thought they weren't with the dam exploding. You get two continues. Not three for some reason, just two. Ah, the 3D hand of, of Shredder. Just sticking out of that screen. Does this mean Shredder got to dine on turtle soup? I mean, they probably got vaporized by the bombs, if anything, like... I, it's more like a puree at that point. A fine powder, a fine mist. Let's go and help Splinter. Top of the turtle van. Let's use the turtle van to shoot bullets at steamrollers. And let's make a save state here because I think we still have the the enhancements off, right? Because this this screen will be um, very flicker happy. So warning on that now. So tons of flickering, tons of slowdown. I went a bit smoother than I thought. Uh, Mikey, all yours. Get up there. Oh, we actually got like one of the least flicker heavy like groups too. Oh no, maybe not. We got the birds. The birds would do it. Yep, there you go. There you go. Look at that. Take all that in. All right, so that's without the enhancements. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Holy shit. Fucking insane. Holy shit. Smooth like butter. Holy shit. I'm so jealous of those who get to experience this game with all this shit. Yeah, here we go. Here's, let's see what the birds do. Nothing. There's still, like, a little bit of, like, the screen's flickering, like, the background's going a little wonky, but, like, that's it. Fucking crazy. I never actually could get the timing for this, right? That's the first time I've ever gotten that. Holy shit. Full pizza for Leo. But yeah, there you go. So this version, pretty good with the slow with the slowdown gone. Anything else we should check out in this? Manhattan Project, Tournament Fighters, Ball the Foot Clan, Back from the Sewers. Check out the net code for fighters. Oh yeah, what games are online? There's a tip in the in-game strategy guide specifically for that gap. Don't jump over it, walk over it. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Let's see, Arcade Turtles 1, Arcade Turtles in Time, SNES Tournament Fighters, Genesis Hyperstone Heist. Is that it? That's a little bit of a bummer. Can't believe SNES Turtles in Time isn't one of them. Anyone playing right now? One person is. Time to get my ass handed to me unless he kicks me out. It's been so long since I played, I don't know if I even remember. Donnie, I remember being the character I was the best as. Round one. Fight! Or 
Oh, it's a little chunky. It's a little chunky, but I'm also streaming. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, we ain't winning this. I don't even remember my moves. Holy shit, I do not remember my moves. And I'm probably stunned. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so fucking dead, dude. What's Shredder saying? Forearm Crusher, I think. Mmm, that is crunchy sounding, though. Eh, let's give Mikey a try, too. He's saying Aura Crusher. Ah, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm so fucked! Damn it. There's heavy slowdown when you play the arcade games with more than two people online. That is a bummer. That's a bummer. Round two. Fight. Shit. How do you get me with a lo <laughs> God damn it. Wait, what? How is that stun? Uh, oh, he actually let me have that. I'm impressed. <laughs> Why does Shredder have so much fucking priority? Why does he have so much priority? That was at least a wake up. That was at least a wake up TP. I'll at least give him that. Do I even remember how to play as anyone else? That's right, Raph. And then I'll hop out of this. Isn't sure the final boss of the fighting game? He is. He is. I know. He's pretty busted. Holy shit, two hits, I'm stunned! Get off my land! Well, now I can't even do it now. That was a charge attack for that. Let's kick shell! This guy's cracked. I mean, this guy's probably played the game a lot more recently than I have. I last played this in like 1995, maybe. Not counting setting it up for Throne Controllers Challenge, so. God, why is Sword Drill so slow, though? Yeah, because I'm stupid enough to go for it. Damn it, I shouldn't have went for the- Oh, he got sick of my shit! He got sick of my shit. Alright, well, the online works, but I guess maybe not the smoothest, I'd say at least not on Switch.
Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, why you... Yeah, local play. Why Why you online initializing? I want local play. Wait, what? Oh, local play is in another, like, wirelessly with another switch. Okay, that makes more sense. There's lag on PS4 as well? Oh, that's a bummer. And, of course, there's Radical Rescue. Prepare for Buttle itself. And Wrinkly Leo's over there. A year has passed since Shredder was defeated. Cow and then the Turtles ate pizza. Wait, why am I playing this game? Why am I playing this game when we have literally the origin of that alert? Here. Back from the sewers. And that's why I'm glad I didn't go with that version of them saying Kawabunga, but I did go with this screen. And some of you might also recognize the song, too, if you've been around long enough. just eating pizza next to each other and having a great time Cow. that's what this is from yeah nine out of ten chance if you're not sure where something on the stream originated from assume it's ninja turtles related or bomberman related <laughs> Now we walk forward and swing our stick very slowly. Stick our leggy out. Give me the old stick out leggy. They'll never expect it. Give me that pizza. Cow. I knew none of you were gonna resist the cow. I just find it funny that Duke Nukem variant went off immediately at the beginning of the stream so of course it couldn't be heard over the over the stream music I don't know if you were that ain't no cow. there it is that one that was the one I was talking about cow. I like to shout out to Reinding Random for making that Duke cow because I finally got it loaded in today. I also loaded in a bunch of uh, a bunch of Dukes today. I think there's like six new Dukes in there today. The six sounds right. And uh, I actually updated the egg shuffler too because the egg randomizer has been pretty repetitive lately. So I think I loaded in like 40 new eggs into that one. So hopefully, we'll actually get a different one today. Cow. Cow. Oh no, are you guys attempting for the Rosa now? Because I think it's the only cow that hasn't shown up yet. Although I don't remember hearing Tender yet either.
I like how that one's come up way more often than any of the other variants at this point. Might have to turn up the volume on that one, actually. I would like to point out that has a 5% chance of showing up, so uh, very impressed that that has come up as often as it has. My sewers! I was just back from them! How could you blow them up? What are the odds of Rosa Cow showing up? 1%. It's marked as 1%, but considering how easy you guys got the 5%er, I, I think percentages don't matter anymore. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Splinter. I didn't know you ran a pizza parlor. The TMNT pizza parlor. Who's our boss? Rocksteady! It's gonna be another all cow stream, I feel, guys. <laughs> Hopefully you're ready for that. What am I doing wrong in this fight? There's supposed to be like a trick to this fight. Making sure you don't get hit. Oh yeah, I can just hit the bullets. That's what it is. Oh, we are gonna die. Yep. Donatello was captured and put in jail! He's a wanted criminal now! There's Tender. Should've never said Donnie do Mikey's job, apparently, because Mikey's just cleaning it up here. Rescue game! We must now save Donatello from jail! Our health meter is our time limit. We have to defeat this enemy before we get hit enough and run out of time. But as you can see, uh, it's uh, not easy. Whoop, I'm out. Bye. Have fun in jail, Donnie. I did an LP of Fall of the Foot Clan. Ah, shit. What was the code I needed to type in to unlock the bonus games? Wasn't it something really simple? Wasn't it something like, like, press, like, just select and be here or something like that? There it is. It's select B and A. All right, which one do we want to do? Which one was the number game? I think that was one, right? Ten chances! Two! Smaller, which means bigger. Smaller, which means bigger. That ain't no cow. Bigger, which means smaller! Smaller, which means bigger! 
Smaller, which means bigger. Still, where the fuck is this number? Oh, we got two chances on this. Ah, crap. Uh, so it's 8.59 to 8.64. 60, 62, 62 is what I'm seeing the most. Let's see if they're right. Nope. It was 63 or 64. Power up! Leave one remaining! Alright. I'm gonna take all these. Okay, well then... Thanks, I win! I beat a brain! Yay! You won! Game over! We did it. Alright, well as you can see... Bunch of games on here. They seem like they work pretty well. Let me, you know what? How is this? Oh, oh, I'm picking turtle from here? Right, because usually it's the whatever one you turn on, whatever one you put coins into. Pizza power. Spinning pitchers! Raph stuck in a manhole! Raph kicking some people! Raph dropping pizza! Ra uh, everyone else eating the pizza that he dropped. Everyone's celebrating with Ra <laughs> I almost said Rachel. April! And then that's it. Turtles in time! Right, what is the add coin button in here? No, it is just plus. Okay. <laughs> hey, Crank, bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag. It's so much better hearing it voiced. It's so much better hearing it voiced. Let it shell. God, I forgot how smooth the animations are on the arcade one. Like, almost uncomfortably smooth. Look how fast he's attacking. Oh yeah, and the and the the panic move actually doesn't doesn't take any damage. I forgot about that. You can just do that. Whoa. Ah, the love pizza. I guess let's eat that. Are there any enhancements for this one? Let me check and see if there are. Yeah, it doesn't this doesn't look right? I know this is the best way to play, but man, it's really smooth. No, this is how this is how Turtles in Time actually is, the arcade one. That's actually correct, unfortunately. It's just really weird to get used to if you've never played the actual arcade Turtles in Time. Especially if you're around here, you're probably more used to seeing the SNES one because that's the one I play all the time. Hey, that, 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 that. Now that. Pizza time. Terminate the turtle. But I forgot how, like, weirdly floaty everything feels compared to Turtles in Time to, like, the SNES Turtles because of that. Uh oh I like the little gun twirl taunt he has.
Oh god! Get back here, Baxter. Oh, of course you were one hit away. Look at that strut. Look at that beautiful strut. Cool Alright. I'm just I'm gonna be I'm just gonna be down this road and just playing this concept if I don't stop. I have to stop now. Uh, enhancements for this one. Set starting level. God mode. Become immune to most damage and able to defeat most enemies with a single hit. That actually kind of sounds stupidly fun. Button dash. Allows players to dash using a single button press. Thank you. Remove penalty bombs. This enables the penalty bombs like the game drops on players in certain circumstances. Nightmare mode. Toggles a mode in the arcade game that dramatically increases the number of enemies. Turbo mode. Allows players to move at double their normal speed. These all sound amazing. Let me turn on like a bunch of these. I want to try something here first. Let kick shell. Let kick shell. This is April on the old recording. <laughs> okay, I need to see this first and foremost. I want to make sure this is still the same. Hurry. 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 Hurry! 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 They put that in there in case someone puts money into the arcade machine and walks away. That way it kills them off so the next player can start from the beginning of the game. Meanwhile, Mike laughing it up, having a great time. All right, I gotta see this. Oh my god! Oh my god, that's a lot! Holy shit! I kinda wanna do a full playthrough of this mode. Holy shit! You have engaged Muso mode. Yes, this fucking looks amazing. Oh my god! Holy shit! There's so many! <laughs> Jesus Christ! This fucking kicks ass. All right, what? What other enhancements are there for these games? Uh, original arcade. Set starting level God mode. Remove penalty bombs. Nightmare mode. Okay, so this has nightmare mode too. Radical rescue. Helpful map icon. Oh right. Actually, hang on. This is actually a big one. I forget if I can get the map from here. Yeah, so uh, notice how the map here has like icons on it, like bosses and doors and like collectibles. Yeah, that's not in the original version of the game. <laughs> so, uh, maybe if you're playing Radical Rescue, turn that one on. And yes, if you're wondering, this game is a Metroidvania. We have done this for game clearing before, many, many years ago. We didn't finish it because the final boss rush got us stuck for hours.
What do the other games have? Back from the sewers, starting level. Oh, that's neat. And infinite lives. Follow the Foot Clan. Bonus game practice. Which we already know the cheat code, so it was just typing in the cheat code, basically. Tournament fighters, remove slowdown, remove sprite flicker, clash of the hotheads. Allows hothead versus hothead battles in versus and tournament modes. Try pairing this with remove sprite flick. <laughs> All right, uh, Manhattan Project. Set starting level, remove slowdown, sprite flicker, easy menu navigation, what? Allows in-game menus to be navigated with the directional buttons. Infinite lives in easy mode. Set the game to the hidden easy mode difficulty setting. Arcade game, remove slowdown, sprite flicker, easy menu navigation, god mode, extra lives, fancy jump kicks. Allows jump kicks to be performed earlier during jumps and for more fine-tuned directional adjustments. We already saw these. Genesis Tournament Fighters, playable bosses, plays Triceraton, Krang, and Karai in all modes. Hyperstone Heist, set starting level in friendly fire. Allows players in a multiplayer game to damage each other. Ooh. SNES Tournament Fighters, playable bosses, extra versus stages. It enables initial stage to be selected in versus mode. Maximum speed on, extra lives on. And SNES Turtles in Time. Set starting level, button dash, and extra lives. So, nothing big on that one. TRG, but with friendly fire? God, that'd be a nightmare. Oh, yeah, here's another thing I forgot about. All these have watch modes. So, if you don't want to play it, you can just watch the recording. But if you don't, but if you, um, you're watching it and you're like, man, I would love to play this game. Press the Y button and now you're playing the game. So yeah, it's, it's just like the SNK collection because it is the same studio that made the SNK collection. So if you remember watching me do the SNK collection, it's the same group. Hurry. Peachy Chan kills, I guess. All right, I forgot the order. Kills Ryu with kindness and Waluigi and says, Hey, John, always wanted to do one of these, and I feel like the time's finally come to drop a Ryu. Thank you so much for just being a great guy and entertaining us all these years. This community. Sorry, I see the hurry in the corner of my eye. This community's been wonderful, even if I mostly lurk. My birthday was August 30th, but I still want to steal a little birthday luck since I'm going to be moving soon, and work's been stressful, and my current project's a bit of a nightmare. Thanks again, John. Well, first off, happy belated birthday, Peachy Chan. Thank you for being here. Even if you're lurking, you're still good with that. And here's hoping for some good luck for you. Thank you so much. Good luck on the move and everything. Uh, you know what? Actually, yeah. Someone brings up a good point. Let me... Jump back. Someone said we could just do Radical Rescue and then show off the boss rush in watch mode. Actually, well, even better. My son, so focus your powers and prepare for battle. Where's that boss rush? The boss rush is the last 10 minutes of this playthrough. They didn't even take the HP upgrades, holy shit. Where did that Leonardo art come from? That's the box art for Radical Rescue.
So you have to go through the all these fights. All these fights without healing, by the way. That pizza in the inventory is the only health you get. Then you have to fight Shredder twice. There's Super Shredder. With his famous Spirit Bomb move. And then you have to do all this to get to April. You can still die after killing all those bosses if any of those fire uh, fire uh, geysers get you. It's fucking ridiculous. That's it. That's that's the ending. <laughs> Cowabunga. Now's a good time to play the game, I feel. Oh shit, that reminds me. Hang on, I gotta go back to, um, what is it? I gotta go back to, back from the sewers. Cause the ending of this one too. I hit the wrong button. This has like one of the smoothest animations here. Look at this. For Game Boy. Okay, no, it's not as smooth as I remember it being. Never mind. That's Shredder laughing at me for thinking that was smooth. All right, for real though, let's uh, let's go to break here. We've been on this for longer than I expected to, but I'm also not surprised we're on this long as we were. That was Shredder, not Ronadinho. Yes, that was not Ronadinho. All right. So, as you might have seen in the stream title, we're gonna do a sponsored segment here in a bit. We're gonna try out a uh, a game that's actually been out for a couple months on other platforms, but the Switch version came out this week. Uh, I have been butchering the name of this game for a bit, so I apologize for getting this wrong. But it's a little hard to say. It's Anno Mutatonium or. Mutationium? M-U-T-A-T-I-O-N-E-M. It's like mutationum. I've been saying like mutatonium or stuff like that. But it's a 2D hack and slash cyberpunk like adventure game, action adventure game. It kind of looks wild, so I'm excited to play it for a bit here. It's a great game. Hell yeah, that's good to hear. So we're going to be switching over to that for a bit. We'll be playing that for about two hours. Then after that, we go back to Cookie. So let's uh, let's do our usual jazz. We'll do our, uh, our eggs here now. Then we'll go to break, come back, do Art Block, and then we'll hop into Anno. I just finished the game. The game is great. Nice. Is it on Steam? Yes, it is on Steam. I think it's a uh, discount on Steam as well right now. But they were mainly pushing the Switch version. All right, RCS 735, Games to LP, and Gokai Orange. You <laughs> give them the sub to Buttle. Thank you for gifting the subs, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna butcher this. I see Nate Extra Senpai. Or is this Nate Extra Senpai? Or is it Nat Extra Senpai? One of those might be right. Either way, thanks for the new sub. Hopefully you enjoy your time here. Everyone else, the list is a little too long to read, but thank you all for hanging out as long as y'all have. Special shout outs to the newcomers and the long timers. Kyrie Hawk at 90. Psychotic Gex at 104. Uh, Kuro Tamashi, 09 at 8. Oh, God damn it. Why did I read that? <laughs> Mimo, I see that message. My band's 42, if that helps you. Mimo wrote, Boobs, boobs, I'm making you a bra. My band is 42. There, at least at least make it fit me. Uh, Negative Pro at 81. 
We can be talk at 84. Crash Ryan 21 at 9. Poker Dude 14 at 95. Boss123 as well, getting some gift subs in there as well. And Mayo's there for 106 alongside Mr. Bry Guy at 102. God damn. Thank you all so much for hanging around as long as you all have. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Let's see what we got in the carton. Congrats, Doomsday. Did you get your measurements well measured, John? Not recently. That's just the stuff I have for Rosa. That's why I know it. You never forget your first bra. Probably because you're wondering why the hell you own your first bra. Um, I've got one video here and i got a song. But I don't know if Bleach is waiting to sh play this at a specific time or not. Because we talked about this the other day. This is the Proton Poka Showdown Tournament Champion theme by Popsky. So I don't know if you wanted that aired at a specific time, or if it was just cool to play now. I'll give him a second to see if they're around to respond, because otherwise I got this one here from Prime, labeled Coffee. You can play it now. Uh, it played before the champion bout last season. Okay, I'll play it after this one from Prime. Prime sends in coffee. Why, why do you have an Among Us butt wiggle? Oh god. Oh god. Beaver returned to his home world, never to be seen again. Oh! He's okay though. <laughs> that was, was less of that than I expected. This is just gone. So much coffee for the baby. And the other one I got here from, like I said, from Bleach Bummer Pop Proton Poker Showdown Tournament Champion theme by Popsky. I'll jump over to intermission because you don't need to see the waveform on this. Meanwhile, I'll leave this playing in intermission, and when we come back, we're playing Anno Mutationum. See you guys in a bit. It is going to be just me on CoCom, because I like, I figure during sponsor segments, it should probably just be me to focus more on the game. So, buckle up for that. But otherwise, we're going to be doing art blocking, etc. first. See you guys after break. <laughs> oh no, it's all! My two-year-old has learned the word boobs, and I want to blame you, but in my heart of hearts, I know it was my wife who taught her. Let's be real, dude. It was totally your wife. <laughs> we both know it was totally your wife.
Alrighty then. I'm back. Let's jump into it, shall we? Let's- oh my god, I forgot how many cows you guys activated. Oh no, we might be here for a bit. Uh... <laughs> Eli Gamer X with the first cow of the night, which was the first Duke cow of the night. It's gonna take so long to go through all these cows. Oh my god. Piper Fang says, cow roulette, go. Here and I, Hideyoshi says, Hey y'all, my family's new AC system was installed recently, so I get to enjoy low temperatures once again. Ooh, congrats. Enjoy the cold. The cold, cold air. RB1 says, Time for cow. Lady Andy Social says, This is fitting for this stream. It was a cow. Bubba Yoshi 117 says, Booyakasha! The collection's out. Have a cow or two. Gilkai Orange says, Don't read if you want. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, shit, okay. I'm so sorry, dude, but we'll do our best to entertain you tonight. We'll do what we can. Here's hoping for the best. Bubba Yoshi says, Hey, I found another cow! Turns out it was the prize for that tournament. <laughs> How convenient. Malset says, Bovine. Sly Guy says, Intermission! Frosty the Dragoon says, Cow Train! Sonic the EX Rider says, More cow, please. Slick Duke says, more cow, you'll notice a trend here. Shiny Ness says, cow. Boogie McTalk says, nothing, actually, sorry. Kennedy J KJK 2016 says, cow. Boogie McTalk then says, what was the cow record again? God, I don't remember, but it was like 200-something. It was something bonkers during that Paper Mario stream with a meal. Phazon Farmer says, you ever go years without hearing something, then get slapped in the face with joy when you hear it again? On a related note, why'd you change the intermission music again? <laughs> I just, I, I wanted it my own original song. That was it. I know I still have the remix that Pop gave me. Um, so the original, the original, original intermission music we used was Summer Samba. And turns out that was copyright hell. So then I used the Ninja Turtles music for a while. And then Pop did a remix of the Ninja Turtles music. Then he made an original track and I just, I love the original track so I keep using it. But I still have that remix somewhere. So we can pop it on at some point, if I can figure out what folder it's in. Frosty the Dragoon says, time for more beef! Oogie McTalk says, might as well, come on, Rosa! No, no one got Rosa from what I heard. Ramus Magnus says, please be Rosa. Ariel Lynn says, time to try for Rosa! Nope, no one got that Rosa cow. Oogie McTalk says, Rosa's a 2% chance, right? Yes, 2% chance. Sorry, not one, you're right. Tiger Tail says, why not slash moo? Nightwolf Dragon says, cowabunga to all the cows. Arielin says, moo. Arielin then says, why not contribute to the moo stream? Cow. Hunter Persian says, eh, I'll try for Rosa. On a side note, have you seen Turtles Tunes? We wish you a turtle Christmas or the coming out of their shells tour. I felt it was appropriate to mention since we talked about crazy directions the turtle franchises took. I am aware of them, but I've never actually watched them other than seeing like part of one of the music videos in some, like, Turtles retrospective. And that weird clip of them at, like, a, on, like, an interview show, a talk show. It was fucking weird. According to my count that I did shortly after that stream, it was 331 in that Paper Mario stream. Jesus. Oracle of Bacon says, Moo. Cool Owl says, Let it be Rosa. Arizona says, Bunga. Arielin says, Come on, Tender. Big Big Talk says, might as well ask, I saw a Mikey action figure in the collectible store. Would you want it? I mean, I won't say no. You don't have to go out of your way to get it, though, so don't worry. But thank you for thinking of me. I appreciate it. Rising Sun 98 says, I hope you're doing okay. I actually managed to re reconcile with my close friend turned boyfriend, and we're starting fresh. I really hope you have a wonderful night. I swear I'll do drawings again at some point. Cross my heart. Yo, Rising Sun, that's good that you've got some good news. Here's hoping for uh, that fresh start works out great for both of you. Heck yeah. I'm doing alright. Little, little anxious, that's about it. Arielin says, last chance for me for the cows. Ugame Tox says, can we get a jail variant of cow somehow? Uh, if someone can do the sprite work, I'll figure it out. Ugame Tox says, we will never know. Elliot Baker Street says, gambling for Rosa. Ugame Tox says, Rachel. Or sorry, Rachel! Oh, 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 my dude says, in 19... <laughs> no! 
I just realized what you were parodying. In 1984, a crack turtle unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These turtles promptly escaped from a maximum security sh stockade to the New York City sewers. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as ninjas of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the TMN team. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Uh, Ugamy Talk says, which do you prefer, John? Arcade or SNES? Or reshelled? I won't judge you. Uh, SNES, 100%. The extra stages in SNES make it worth it. The only thing Arcade and reshelled have going for them is four players. Ugamy Talk says, hurry! Tridale says, that hurry trick for the arcade games reminds me of a timeout Easter egg in Sonic CD, where if you stand idle for too long, Sonic will say, I'm out of here, jump off screen, and you get an instant game over. I remember that. Because uh, we had Sonic CD on demo when at one of the game stores I was working at back in the day when uh, Sonic Gems Collection came out. And uh, we were really surprised to suddenly hear the game over music and hear someone yell, I'm out of here, when none of us were, could see the TV and no one was playing the game. So that freaked us out. Malset says, I see you shiver with Antissa. And never did the patient. Faison Farmer says, according to Google Translate, uh, Anno muta uh, Mutationum is Latin for year of change. The more you know. Oh, neat. I had a feeling it was going to be some Latin base. Arizona says, so what you're saying is more cow? I mean, I'll never say no to more cow. General Tank 3 says, Rosa? No. Owo says, Mikey action figure fun. God damn it. And Mimo Riru says, I had to slap myself to make sure I wasn't dreaming. I always wanted to learn how to sew for cosplay. Can't believe my motivation to learn is boobs of all things. I hate mine. Look, Mimo, send them my way. I'll take them off your hands. I think that's how that works, right? Just get a chainsaw. Just go, sure. The don't actually do that, by the way. Just, just to clarify, don't actually do that. Don't actually do that. Sly Guy says, as it is 9-3, happy Yargle Day to all those who celebrate it. This is a Magic the Gathering joke. Yargle is a legendary creature that is a 9-3 with no other abilities and kind of a meme. Ah, okay. I like how someone said, it might hurt. Eh. Eh. Excited for the Persona 5 port to Switch? Nah, I've already played through the game. And it... Oh, it is Royal, right? It is Royal that is the Switch port? That might be a little different then, maybe. I'll send you mine as well. Yeah, just just send me, just add to the fund, I guess. Yargo's a big frog monster. Rosa Duke, I've got boobs of steel. Oh, there you go. All right, let's go to our block. Because we got through all the cows, finally. Uh, where did our block end last time? Right there. All right. <laughs> It'll hurt like a bitch, but you'll pass out from blood loss soon enough. You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, don't actually do the chainsaw thing. Uh, where were we? Our block starts right here with some posts about Halo Reach, which myself and Tom Fox are currently playing through on Tom Fox's YouTube channel. While watching Tom Fox uh, and Proton John play Halo Reach, I had to sketch out two of many funny parts of their LP. Apologies for the terrible emu picture. It does look like a big goose. It does look like a big, big goose. There you go. Tom's getting some donuts and some glue in the donut hole. He's gonna put them all back together. And I'm saying, STOP SHOOTING DEREK with my boob armor on. Why do you have to kill Derek and Derek too? God damn it. They weren't coming right at him. Thanks, Mel. If you if you have not seen the Halo Reach playthrough, even if you don't like Halo, give it a watch because we're very stupid in that playthrough. I'm I'm very um because you get respawned as long as your partner is alive, I'm very cavalier and very aggressive, but in the dumbest of ways. And I think that alone is worth tuning in, but also the uh, the banter between myself and Tom is also is always good as it is. Next up, from Devil Seven. No, 
I did not load this one in time. Sorry. Beautiful Mirage. I literally woke up to your Monday stream to the sight of this woman and the way this was the only thing I could think of since. As cool as this looks, I'm having nightmares trying to imagine Silbert Mirage gameplay with the VFX moves from Beautiful Joe. I think my brain would throw up. I can't make it to too many of your streams this month on account of apartment hunting, but here's hoping I can catch you again soon. Happy game clearing. Thank you, Devil7. Thank you for the lovely art, and good luck on apartment hunting. I'm abstaining from play watching anything Halo as I might want to play the series myself someday, but want to remain spoiler free. Fair enough. Oh, right, the plane nonsense was in today's episode. Well, that was a tad surprise of you playing on Heroic. I mean, I've already played through on Legendary. Heroic at least lets you do a little bit of silliness, so. Thanks, Devil7. Speaking of Halo, from Gishbent. <laughs> Forklift! <laughs> An emu! <laughs> he was coming right at me! God damn it! And now your regularly scheduled Halo Reach playthrough reminder. Yeah, that that seems pretty accurate for what's what's gone on in that playthrough. The Let's Play is on Tom's channel? Yes, it is on uh, Tom Fox's YouTube channel. It's got both of our our uh, screens on it, though. Like, it'll jump back and forth between our, our viewpoints. Next up, from Arsene, from Hero Forge. Is that a shredder? So since I'm going to be busy this weekend, I'll do my art on Friday. And since I just watched the Turtles movie tri trilogy and was inspired by John's LPs of Shredder's Revenge and NES... I did Shredder's Revenge? I made the Shredder in Hero Forge. I hope you guys have a good stream, and please let me know how you like it. I based him off the 2003 Shredder. Cool. Thank you, Arsene. Very nice. Spartan Gen B008. Yeah, that's what uh, Gishpent went with for the name. Next up, from Esper Magic. I'll just pull this sword out of this stone <clears throat> next to the road. Okay, I shouldn't be surprised that this happened. Oh, of course, Saber John. So, John pulled a sword and a stone and orcs. This is where my mind went, and a few other minds in chat, from the looks of it, went. Yeah, at this point, maybe picking up a cursed sword in the middle of the road was not the smartest thing, but at this point, I feel like everything I pick up or do at this point is cursed. Pick up a cursed artifact, turn into a girl. Turn on my car, turn into a girl. Click a bunch of screens and windows on my, uh, on my computer here and then have an awkward pause for a second. Turn into a girl. It just doesn't matter, just whatever happens, you just turn into a girl. It's weird how it keeps happening like that. You get used to it, though. Thanks, Esper. Next up. Lady Antisocial with the Pancake John and the Rosa, who's very hungry. I think I've seen that anime before. <laughs> Touche. Okay, so here's Pancake John. What? Hey, no, he's not food! Maybe it's the, maybe it's best to leave Pancake John in the capsule. There are too many alts and people that love pancakes, and with the whole debate whether or not to eat beefaroo, I'm on the do not eat side, by the way. He's probably safer in there, even with his knife. He's probably had to do a lot of stabbing at this point, so. He had to learn how to defend himself because everyone was trying to eat him. Can't blame him at this point. But John, what if sometimes I'm a girl already? Well, then sometimes you can either be more girl or you can be not girl. It's up to you. It's up to you what you want to be. And or the magic curse that you have apparently attracted to yourself. As has been my case. He can't stab people, it's just a butter knife. You can stab with anything if you try long enough. <laughs> and or are determined enough. Next up. <laughs> I didn't realize what this was at first. <laughs> For Grace Lightning. Jess Splinter smoking a blunt. The rotating is back, it seems. Alright, that's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, Greased. Next up from Cubed Off. I am cringe. Well, there's Rosa Cow right there. You couldn't summon her earlier. She oh, god damn it. Should have fucking known it was animated. <laughs> I wonder how long into John reading this he'll notice what I did. Maybe before, maybe now, maybe later. I mean, it's cow night after all. 
All jokes aside, thanks everyone for being chill with the stupid shit I draw here. I know it's not for everyone at all, but these li uh, but these legit joy finding the silliness and other such of the subject. As always, regret nothing and rounds good. Thank you for explaining why Rosa Cow has not shown up tonight because she's on the beach, turning into a beach ball. God damn it! Thanks, Cubed Off. Why do you always fall for the animated ones? Cause I don't check to see if they're actually tagged as such. Next up, bang! This is cool. From Rhyme, commission from Mika of Rosa John with some custom designed gun chucks. I just really wanted to draw an action pose recently and Mika came in with an opportune moment. I came in at an opportune moment. Thank you for such, uh, thank you so much for commissioning me. Ah, okay, so I saw that you put like the design doc for these up in um, one of the one of the rooms. I think it was in the staff room on the egg pack. Did you not post that as well? But this looks really cool though. I like this. These are sick designs. I believe you said to the description that the uh, the guns, like the power cores for the guns are like literal suns, which is that's a lot of power to give one person. That is a lot of power. But these look really sick. Thank you so much, Ron. And I guess Mika as well for commissioning it. I was streaming progress in the mod room. Gotcha. That's what it was. Oh, you did put it here. It's right here. Perfect. Rosa's gun chucks, as designed by Rhyme. You can make whatever gun chucks you want, because there's no limit to how many guns Rosa can have. Let's be real. All four guns are named after some of the largest structures in the observable universe, although some are not exactly the biggest in its, their categories. Example, Leo Ring would have been named something like NGC-262. Hercules C. Borealis, the largest structure in the observable universe, scorching fire. Uh, V.Y. Canis Majoris, one of the largest stars, searing acid. Phoenix A, one of the largest galaxy clusters, plasmic charge. And Leo Ring, one of the largest nebulas, absolute zero cold. There's a small sun in each gun to power the shots. So does that mean Leo Ring will stop working first? I mean, how did she pack four suns in four guns? Probably shouldn't ask that question now that I think about it. All guns behave the same in terms of how shots are fired, but they have different elements. Any gun can link with another gun to become gun chucks. Linked guns get a power boost with shots in addition to combining elements. It still does a good gunshot powered smack too. Ow. This is neat. I like this is a cool idea. This is a lot of power for one person to have, but this is still really fucking cool. Thanks, Ron. And the last piece I have an art block here. From Mel Cowabunga. While Proton John was trying out the Ninja Turtles Cowabunga collection for tonight's fortune cookie, Todd gave him the idea to draw Beefaroo as an honorary turtle and Purple as April with her video camera. This is super cute. He's even got a bee belt. That's super cute. Thank you, Mel. This is awesome. Thank you so much for doing this. That's going to do it for Art Block. Let's get to the game we're playing tonight. All right, folks. As you see... On the stream title and below the stream now, and you might have to refresh to see the changed one underneath stream. We're gonna play Anno Mutatonium here. Uh, this is a 2D hack and slash, uh, I guess 2D and 3D cyberpunk action adventure game. This just came out on Switch as of Thursday, but it's been out for a couple months on Steam and I believe Xbox. So specifically, they asked me to play through this game uh, today because the Switch version's out. So, here's our chance to check it out. I went into this mostly blind. I've looked at the trailers for this mainly. That's about it. Don't you dare say it. Someone got it. Cow oh, she's, shell shock. She's back from the beach. <laughs> she's back from the beach. Gamers got it. Gamers brought Rosa back. And Vanimal said better late than never, but also did not get the Rosa. All right. Let's check this out. The trailers for this I saw were actually really cool. So I'm excited to see how this is. Language English, voice English, music 100, sound effects 100, HD rumble on, button settings. Weak attack, strong attack, interact, jump, defend, scan, dash, and shoot. Looks straightforward.
I like how we started the sponsored segment with that alert. Of course, that's how it works, right? That's just my luck. The game also came out on PS4. Ah, okay. So basically last gen. Let's play on normal. Freedom advocated by Noctis City was once again denied by the actions of criminal elements. Freedom doesn't justify violence nor crime. Breaking news. Game volume a little bit for you guys. Container entering flight path. Requesting aerial unit escort. Air unit mole initiating mission protocol. Container removed. Initializing strike. Impact in. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Target hit. Oh, we fucked up that planet. Failure. Rejected. I, I admit, when you said you were doing an Anno game, this isn't quite what I imagined. Yeah, no, I know Anno's an established series, but this is not part of that series. Yeah. Hello, package for Ann Flores. Check before opening, please. We aren't liable for security risks. Huh? Eh? Yeah. Huh? Initializing. Loading customized voice. Your new toy? Darling, it's our second friend of first every gift. Now my voice can accompany you everywhere. Wherever you are, I'll be there too. That's great. It's me, so don't lose it. Promise? As long as it doesn't get in the way, I'm gonna shower. <laughs> you can take it in with you. It's waterproof. Oh no, you're staying outside. Showering in front of the Holy Grail. <laughs> Scop City, Anne's apartment. Hold ZL to scan interactive objects. Daily matters. Check your mail. Photo of 16-year-old Anne. She was quite a troublemaker back then. <coughs> Ooh. Perfect view of billboards. Cyberneco Plus! I got one. Change outfit. What do we got? The Nintendo dress. Oh my god, they made a Switch specific dress. Amazing. Sportswear, office lady, alien wear, and memories of dawn. I actually, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda dig the sports outfit. <laughs> They're all pretty good. 
But there's something about uh, about tights like this. I think look real good. All right, let me use computer. Check mail. Reply about N540 from dad to on. And listen to your dad. Promise me you'll ask him about N540 during the checkup. Quote, Anne's reply. Dad, just stop it. I'm all right. That N540 is a rumor that's been circulating for ages. Quote, Dad, Anne, you must talk with Alan again about his investigation on N540. I asked him to look into it uh, for me some weeks ago, and I haven't heard anything back. Old book arrived from Bluestone Bookstore to Aunt Anne. Hey there, lovely Flores. I have the book PN you ordered. Please stop by Bluestone Bookstore and pick it up as soon as possible. About the illness from Alan Doyle to Anne. The singer? <laughs> uh, to Anne. Anne, I got more info on your illness. Come to my lab ASAP for a full checkup. No title from Ryan Flores on. I'm busy. Don't contact me for a while. And where have you been? Uh, Ryan, I haven't seen you for a long time. And where have you been, Ryan? I haven't seen you for a long time. Please show the clothing. Yeah, I'll, I'll pop in to show how it looks. Uh, about the book from dad to on. And any updates on your dad's book? When you have a spare moment, help me check it out. Also a good reason to drop by at the bar. And vacation from Big Boss Raymond to Anne. On a business trip, we'll be out of town for a while. Take the day off, try and get some rest. I'll leave the scop jobs to you two while I'm away. P.S. Tell Ayane uh, to take it easy. She says she's a genius hacker who erases her traces, but I have always had to clean up her mess. And let's save. Okay, we got a bunch of saves. Oh, that's actually a lot of saves. Looks like 10. Good. All right. Since some people want to see the other outfits. Here's the Nintendo dress. Oh, it even changes the hair color. Look at that. Nice. Got a little highlight going on there. Office lady. Am I wearing a visor? Alienware. Oh, it actually is the brand Alienware. Okay. Cool highlights there, too. And Memories of Dawn. Oh, you know what? That black dress is not bad. Very nice. Like I said, I do, out of these, I do kind of dig the sportswear look, because I like tights, but, uh, or leggings, I guess, rather. Let's go with that. Oops, okay, never mind. I showered again, apparently. Now I'm doubly clean. Nakamura, the second child, she was into modeling and now runs the Sicilian Jar in Margarita. Photo of him while young. He had the same rebellious temperament as Ryan. The shower confirms one thing. There is a god if the holy chalice is in your room. Why was she wearing underwear in the shower? I don't know. Efficiency or worried about censoring? I'm going to assume worried about censoring. Hello. Uh. Buddy, just give me a few more days. Uh. You haven't paid rent for two months. Just three more days. I promise I'll pay. Same bit. Universal control pad, a multifunctional control pad compatible with many operating systems and models. Yoink! Worst computer ever! Oh. Hello? You okay in there? Nice shrine. Very nice.
collect some garbage, and oh, an Anoguchi! An animal life simulator once popular among children. Two of them? Get out of my way! Who do you think you're talking to, old man? You looking for a fight, kid? Hit me and you'll regret you were born. Hit me and you'll forget you ever lived. You just dug your own grave. You just signed your own death warrant. Yeah, I did, with your blood. All talk and no action. Blah, blah, blah. What? I can't hear you, my ears just fell off. I'm so angry, I forgot why. I'm even angry and I forgot why too. I know you started this. I know you're lying. Who are you calling a liar? You started to piss me off again. And then they continued ad nauseum. Oh, I saw that prompt. Oh, it's just the dialogue again. Okay. Get out of my way. The door's plaster with dusty paper curling at the edges. Payment notice. Government assistance. Number 13. Prosthesis limb. Bioskin. Yes. No self-payment. Relief service. 6,100 credits. Food delivery service. 1,200 credits. Fantasia erotica rom. Too expensive but worth every penny. Woohoo! What a champ. A church leaflet that's been soaked in water. Most of it's illegible except for a sentence in the middle. Where God builds a church, the devil will build a chapel. Wanted. The extremely dangerous felon Eric Markham has recently escaped from prison. He poses a threat to the public while on the run. Citizens who provide information and or help with his apprehension will be rewarded, and those who fail to report and or help with his escape will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Contact Corleone, comms ID, Steve Seagull, Leet. Rip down bounty. Bounty on the head of Eric Markham. Same ones, same ones. I guess we've read them all. Inject my neck this time. You sure about the pain? This is a new drug. Just do it. Oh. And then there was a bleak singing, barely audible. Project protective umbrella. An umbrella with a shielding function. Work, work. Work, work. Work, work. Hello, kitty. Hey, kitty. I actually really dig this jump between 2D and 3D they keep doing here. It's a nice touch. Punk's not dead. And apparently it fell off a building but screamed, ah. Delicious, flowery flores. We haven't hung out in ages. Oh, there's a reason for that? Ugh, no one likes me. Can you confirm if you change the name of the game you're playing? It still says games and demos. Oops, I don't think I have. Shit. My bad. You're right. I did that. Sorry. Yes, there we go. Change the game properly now. That's my mistake, sorry guys. Thank you for pointing that out. I actually needed that for the promo. Don't mind me, just opening everything I can. Good morning, Miss An. Uh, I'm just here to fetch something. This box? <laughs> Looks familiar, huh? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna take a look. 
I'll stick around for a little longer. Catmobile! It's rich in protein, carbohydrates, organic acids, cellulose, and a number of essential vitamins. The taste has also been widely acclaimed within the compound food category. Another missing persons case was reported today. In sharp contrast to Noctis Police's response, Scott detectives quickly set up a task force to investigate the case. Despite the current situation, SCOP is holding a weapon module convention where FT's chief designer will be unveiling details of the new weapon modules. Tiger Beetle times 10, Catmobile! Ice cream. Hey, beauty, don't you want to stay young forever? Never any wrinkles, never any worries? I have the right meta meds and tech here. It's an enhanced uh, mechanica virus, state of the art. Silence. I know, not exactly legal, but hey, beauty requires sacrifice, right? Sorry, I was in a video call. Did you say something? Oh, here we go. Florentine Biscuit, armor piercing plus 20 for fury <clears throat> for 15 seconds. Burger, pistol damage plus 30% for 30 seconds. Starburst Jelly, critical plus 30% for 15 seconds. Lightning Gum, attack speed plus 0 0.1 for 30 seconds. Special shaped bolt, because of its special shape, it can only be reused as a crafting material, all right. Just stealing all the shit I can see. Taking everything because it belongs to me. Hi. Yo, miss, anything you'd recommend? I like the particle blade myself. Thank you. You've made a great contribution to an even greater cause. What great cause I hear you think? Why, to assist me, the world's biggest and most badass hero in the galaxy plus outer space. Okay. Yo. For the sake of our relationship, I'm giving you the opportunity to sponsor the very first Particle Blade for our would-be greatest hero, a.k.a. me. Hold, hold on, do I know you? I gave you the opportunity to shine and you just let it go. Yeah. Particle Blade, smarticle, blad, blah. Hi. Dynamite Zimmer, and a good weapon must let its name be heard. The gunshot of my latest firearm reached a record level. Want to take this loud fella home? Bam! What you got? Oh, I ain't affording that anytime soon. They got a light sword module SVD2 and a firearm module, module Tomahawk. But those are expensive, my god. Pistol rounds are 150 and grenades are 80. I could buy a grenade. I could sell my nothing. Oh, I could, or the stuff I picked up, which ain't worth anything. <laughs> Thumbs up! Come here if you want to buy firearms. There's nothing to fear with a world-class gun in hand. The blade is forged of an advanced steel. It cuts through mecha joints like butter. Great sword module, Godai. The legendary weaponsmith Binga's debut piece. It's an elegant example of vintage work. This module has a built-in auto-correction system that adjusts attacking angles, allowing you to gain the upper hand in combat. Its streamlined shape and extra systems can help you win easily without breaking a sweat. Note, please show your ID first when purchasing this weapon. This shop reserves the right to refuse sale of the product. Gun module, axe, caliber, 16 millimeter action, semi-automatic, fire mode, burst fire, barrel length, measure it yourself. Magazine size, 12 to 18, wait, measure it yourself. Do not touch, private property for sale only to the right person. A pistol with an innovative kinetic system penetrates super alloy plates from 500 meters away. 
Can I buy any of these now because I found those? Nope. Alright, well, let's head out for now. How are things progressing? Exactly as you'd expect. Backpack. Nothing. Craftable item. Stim shot. Restores 100 HP. Quick, give me a stim shot. I was just hitting my appendix. Wasn't your appendix removed a long time ago? Hey, now's not the time for dumb jokes. Digitalin. Restores 300 HP. Increases the heart's contraction force and the myocardion's contraction speed in a very short time to restore physical strength. Well, it can be taken orally. It's often wrongly injected into the heart uh, in movies. Earthapoli, I'm not going to be able to say that one right. Attack power and piercing increase for 60 seconds. Overdosing on blood disorder medications can lead to death. Dr. Allen, however, didn't limit Anne's use of the drug. Thankfully, Anne hasn't developed any diseases due to overdose. 654-2, damage decreased for 60 seconds. While it raises pain tolerance by inhibiting the central nervous system, it doesn't improve resistance to physical harm. Lidocaine cream removes all negative statuses. Apply to an injury for quick relief. When in, when I bought it for the first time, the doctor looked worried the whole time. Standard grenade. Throw to deal immense damage. Guess what? Guns and explosives have become mankind's staple. Prepare to kill or prepare to be killed. It's either you or them. So you buy it or not. The grenade sale ends today. FMHE grenade. Throw to cause damage can freeze opponents. A high-spec grenade common in the black market and popular among the violent type. The erased stamp makes it hard to guess the manufacturer. The name derives from the first phase the first phrase people shout out when the grenade is thrown at them. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> and an EMP grenade. Throw to cause damage causes greater damage. Tailored against electronic circuits, the weapon is said to be tended for blank. During the shelter incident, given its ability to interfere with circuits, some special people use it to interrogate the outcasts. I guess I should probably look at what else was in there. Items, craftable materials, chips, recycle, junk, important items. Oh, all my outfits. Comfortable sportswear for both walking and running. Anne's favorite. Queen Natuka, father's gift to a young daughter determined to leave home and learn to support herself. Cyberneko Plus, looks like the god of some religion, rewards its worshippers with a meow. Wonder if there are more. Alienware, sci-fi to the max, that's how we dress. The Nintendo dress, a cheerful dress from a classy brand known around the world. Where you go, it follows suit. Aw. Bounty on the head of Eric Markham. On the run, and extremely dangerous citizens who provide information and or help with his apprehension will be richly rewarded. Office Lady, official company wear for the Tythonus group. And Memories of Dawn, perfect black with shimmering of gold. This shop sells a vast range of items. Impressive. Ugh, what an annoying cop. Want me to get rid of him? No need. Whoa, hey there, girl. You didn't hear anything, right? Lovely weather today, isn't it? Perfect, right? I just love it! Don't frighten the kid. Sorry. Boss is done. Mmm, not bad, kid. Take me to see your masterpiece. Hello? Anyone there? Who's talking? I met with some trouble and now I'm stuck. That's not my fault, I'm innocent! Uh-huh. Will you get me something to eat? I want a minty delight from Piece of Cake over on the next street. I don't have a minty delight. Sorry, but I don't have a piece of minty delight with me. Can I give you something else? Sure, go buy one. It's a piece of minty delight for you. What? Arcade keyboard, a legendary weapon with the most epic of, or from the most epic of fables. Yeah! Huh? Kill Templar Manager AD. Hi, you here for the concert too? No, I'm just passing by. Cool, I'm just passing by. I'm gonna use this for the chorus of my first song. Huh? You play guitar, a band's looking for a guitarist. Nope. What about bass, electric piano, drum kit? We're looking for everything, really. Not interested. Fine. Actually, I'm a scout. See Killer Templar over there? I discovered them. Our agency's looking for a lead singer for this year's special RDM. That person will have the privilege of performing with me on. 
Girl, I think you are the perfect fit for this role. Sorry, still not interested. Okay, now it repeats. Okay. He stole the power of hell! He is lost. He's no longer conscious. Probably because he stole the power of hell. He stole the power of hell! He is lost. She's stealing everything in a box! Alright, what else can I do around here? Probably not go up here. You asshole, what are you talking about? Hey, officer, I didn't do anything. Can't go that way. Burger? Kitty! Kitty with booze! Huh. Oh well, burger. Oh, I can't take burger. I'm on break, what you want? Sorry, huh, no time to chat. I've jacked into my favorite movie, Rom. Wanna watch together? It's Aliens ate my babysitter and barfed her up again seven. Oh, you don't like rom-coms? <laughs> of course it's a rom-com. Work, work. All right, am I done stealing everything I can around here? I think so. Where was that place, that food cart? Welcome to Royal's Taste. Care to buy a Minty Delight for the low price of 100 credits? That's exactly how much I have. We look forward to your next visit. All right, sewer man, enjoy all my money. Whoa, thank you, this is so tasty. In return, here, have one of these. Uh, Gram, Grombit, oh, it's a Cyberneco. Yeah, I saw Grambit's t plus 10. Why are you under the manhole cover? It doesn't seem to be sealed. Ah, I knew you'd figure it out. I wasn't forced into this hole. It's just that I've been living underground for so long. Do you enjoy living down there? No, I want to come out, but, but my social anxieties prevented me from climbing up. Oh, I see. So you've been here begging for food all this time? No, I'm too afraid to talk to anyone. So I just search the trash bins or go out at midnight for food. I can only talk to people when I'm desperate. Oh, my name is Hoppy. Boss! Can I call you my boss? Eh, no, don't call me boss. I, I just know you. I've been living alone with no one to turn to. You're the only one who's offered a hand. If you need my service, anything at all, just tell me. I've been eavesdropping on others below from the manhole cover for quite some time. So I got some first-hand news. Just don't call me boss. I don't need a sidekick. Well, I gotta go. Bye! <laughs> sure, boss. Ugh. And now they're sleeping. We made a friend! Or sidekick! Hooray! We made an employee! And all it cost us was all our money! Hey, hey. I won't give you one if you don't pay me. Alright, well I got no money, so... Jack's Office of Vigilance! Hey. Hey, Ann Flores, how's your boss doing? I should thank him for helping me catch the rebels. He's out of town. He left in a hurry. Don't know why. So I have a bounty on Eric. That dude's one wicked convict. He's caused a lot of trouble for us. The higher-ups told us to catch him no matter what it takes. But I don't have a single clue. If you find anything useful, let us know. We'll pay you handsomely. Sure. I'll report to you if I learn anything about Eric. Hey. No, oh, same bit. Are you Eric? Woof woof. Hey, pretty lady. Woof woof. Come on, don't ignore me, baby. Woof woof. Let's be friends. Stay away from me. Whoa, you're scaring me. Ah, the dog spoke instead. Nice. Greetings, please come back during business hours. Oh, can't go.
go that way. Hey, they're gorgeous. My name's Jet Li. Those who, uh, those who know me also call me the gentleman. I'm an old friend of Nakamura's. No, that's it. Okay, bye. Portable data ROM device made for early childhood education. How much will the government pay for my broken leg? 1,000 credits! Maybe I'll break an arm next time, too. I got another kitty. A bite ROM and a Gigantor ink pen! A pen that consumes no ink and can write on any surface. According to the citizen's manual, I need to bathe under the sunshine here for the three hours. Capsule toy, Christmas card with a corner clipped off. Phone book, it's about five centimeters thick. That's it? Target removed, okay, good, understood. I've been tailed, bye. Cup noodle box, very light, it should be empty. In his mission to restore order to the city and bring it back to before the Mechanica virus, President uh, Krakat Jane signed a joint agreement with the Megacorp uh, Tythonus, robotics manufacturer uh, Eidnerson, and the tech company FT. SCOP will serve as a testing ground for large-scale development and management. Upper-class citizens selected by the government will have the opportunity to move into free government-provided housing. Artificial sunlight becomes an integral part of life. The municipal government understood undertook a series of measurements Blah, blah, blah. A series of measures to improve the city, including permanent sunlight simulations for SCOP. Anyone living in SCOP will no longer be bothered by darkness or cold and can enjoy simulated sunlight at all times, as real as it can get. Only one page. Hologram Bonsai Forest. A hologram bonsai forest proudly presented by Tythonus. Don't mind me, I'm just stealing the garbage here. Keep it down, dude. Do you want to try something exciting? Something that'll get you high? What are you thinking? I'm talking about the new propulsion unit for flying cars. Get lost if you're not buying. God damn it. Emergency, no traffic. Oh, this is actually where I'm supposed to be, okay. Worship it? Sure. Fold your hands and bow slightly. You feel serene. Surround it with an aura that lets one attune to the flow of the universe. The natural world and wonders described in this book are hundreds of years old. Why am I laughing? It's cause I'm why am I laughing? Because it's it's cause I'm pretending. If I don't laugh now, I'll forget how. Wow, that's that's dark! Huh, now this is cool. Hello. Hey there, Looper. I've come to get the book I ordered. Oh, you're finally here. I put a lot of effort into finding that book. How's Mr. Holtz? I think a guy who likes reading so much chose to sell in margarita. I need to get a book worth reading there, huh? I don't know. I haven't gone home recently. Holtz has been buying books here as long back as I can remember, especially books about mechanization. I guess that makes sense. Anyways, I better get busy. If you're interested in books, don't hesitate to come by for a chat. Sure, I'll drop by when I have time. Thank you for book. Get to Doc's underground lab. Mm. Alright, let's see what we got here. A once popular game console for children that also became popular among adults. In it, players can simulate the daily lives of all manner of extinct creatures. It slowly lost its market due to an excessive amount of in-app purchases. Hmm. 
Phone book. Each page is filled with numbers, but the writing is smeared. Cup noodle box. You find a few packs inside, but they've expired. Hologram. Bonsai forest. It's believed that over 10,000 years ago, the world was a lush place filled with all sorts of plants and animals. For many, it sounds like a paradise, and thus the Tatonis group made this hologram bonsai forest to tap into those consumers. Capsule toy. Made of the latest in soft rubber technologies from FT Productions, it makes different tones of sounds when pinched. It can even be used as a musical instrument. Universal Control Pad, a multifunctional control pad that can operate electronic devices across all platforms. Its OS was removed by SCOP officials due to security and privacy risks, but a few products have still kept the original full functionality. Protective Umbrella, an umbrella made by Titanus for daily use. It provides de decent protection against acid rain and electrical discharge and has therefore been certified for the military. Oh. Byte ROM, a low-cost portable data ROM device that can only store a few bytes of data, just barely enough for a child's lessons. It can also be used to play annoying songs in a loop if you really want to drive someone crazy. And a Gigantor ink pen. Titonus used uh, on undisclosed energy source in the... Oh, and on an undisclosed energy source in the manufacturing of this pen. It can write anything, anywhere, on any surface, all without using any ink. And we just got the PN. After skimming through it, you found something like an observation log along with some chat logs, but many terms of the text do not exist in this world. How about some music for the gentleman and fair lady? Only 5,000 credits. Oh my god, if only. <laughs> I want fried noodles with seafood, double the sauce, no onion, and a raw egg. Uh. Why would you order that in a pizza shop, weirdo? You talking back to your superior? No, but since I'm paying the bill, I can ask, right? No, you certainly can't. Hey friend, what's your dream? You a journalist? Oh, you're just one of those missionaries. Certainly, our great father's power is infinite. Worship him and he will make all your dreams come true. Will your great father pay me a wage too? Uh, if that's what you wish, what is your expected salary? 40k credits, I'm a bioengineer. And a good day to you, heathen. Womp womp. Is this my car? No. I was hoping it was. Hey, what was that? Tired of using yesterday's ROMs to become yet another invincible super agent, jaded movie star, or spacefaring tech mogul? Figured out that the only true salvation of this hectic, hasty, and chaotic age is the total blank of forgetfulness, the bliss of not knowing? Try Total Oblivion! We, for we forget it for you! Check out your nearest ROM dealer for more info. Killer Templar is coming. The band will be playing live on the right side of the 42nd block. P.S. The band is looking for partners and musicians of all kinds. Please contact manager AD for more information. He'll be at the show. Salam, haven't seen you in a long time, man. Yeah, I've been busy with work lately. I just came in today for a regular checkup. Okay, finish your checkup first. Talk to you later. Sell used wares. I guess I can sell some of this. But I probably want to keep that cash for now. Find anything valuable, remember to dismantle it in the workshop. I'd suffer a lot without your continuous support. Hey. Oh, shit! Hey, yeah, you break it, you buy it, Anne. Funny how the game over window was there. Hey. Oh, this just a Hi. chat option. Hi, Anne. What do you want to sell today? I was wondering, why are you collecting all this old stuff? Titonus is the name of a gr person in Greek mythology. He was the lover of the dawn goddess Eos, and she asked Zeus to give him eternal life. However, she forgot to ask for eternal youth. So Titanus eventually became incredibly old and feeble, but still alive. Oof. Oof. If you hope to obtain some valuable materials from them, I wouldn't get my hopes up. But dear Anne, I'm not collecting them for money. A used object bears the marks of time and memories of its owner. The older things are, the richer in experience and beauty they become. This goes for people, too. Except for the old weirdo with his weird experiments downstairs. If that's the case, why would anybody ever sell anything? <laughs> I guess if you put it like that, well, let me rephrase it. I just love to collect old stuff. The older, the better. 
We offer premium for old and communication devices as well as all your old stuff. Even though Boss is a regular human with no mecha augments, he can smash down a combat droid with a single punch, so don't get any funny ideas. Video games. The Compact Communicator. A comms device commonly used 30 years ago comes with a screen dimension of 1.8 by 2.2 inches. A super slow processor and some older models don't even have a camera. The one with a camera are between 1.31 to 3.2 megapixels. These only saw use for a few years before they were replaced by so-called called smartphones, so not many were produced and now have become collector's items. At our shop, you can buy three of these and get one for free. Absolutely free. Call a friend. Call all your friends. Oh, boy. Bunch of old games that never lose their charm. In pixels we trust. Ah, Leo versus Martho. How do I take... How do I get down to where I need to be? You're sleeping. That's still blocked off. That's still blocked off. There's gotta be something in that room I missed. I see what looks like an elevator there. But I didn't see any prompt to actually, like, activate anything. Oh, wait, there it is. Just blind, that's all. something over there I can collect, but I can't get to it. Stealing all your shit. Stealing all your stuff. Time calculator! Oh, it's got a little ducky on it. Security system costs a fortune. Time to part some more fools from their money. Oh, hey, look who dropped by. Just in time to test the new system. <laughs> oh, and there you are. Ahem. Did you hear anything? I heard a little. Something about you needing to go scam money from another gullible schmuck. Oh, that means you heard everything. And I can explain. My research is important to the future of mankind. I can't give you details. But for that purpose, I need to get money from the filthy rich so that they can contribute to their part to society. After all, every dollar towards research funding could mean life or death for my experiments. I came here after reading your mail. Oh, well, let's get back to business. I've upgraded the Grom system for you. Consider an exclusive system just for you. You mentioned that you have more info on my illness, right? Yes, I collected some info about your entangla entanglitis and tested some ways to suppress it. But as you can see, nothing's worked so far. So this time I'm going to try a completely different method. Using this new Grom system. Quite right. What a smart guinea pig. I mean, what a smart girl. So what do we do? Judging from your previous records, the entangleitis seems to be triggered at specific times, causing you to lose consciousness and go berserk, attacking everything in sight. What's more, your entangleitis allows you to be immune to damage, as if it's turning you into a self-defense machine. It's really wearing me down. So I tweaked the Grom system. It'll gather data from you so that we can learn more about your illness. I've also upgraded your combat suit. Not only will it prevent you from hurting innocents during your entangleitis, but also analyze your data in real time to provide pre predictive protections for your personal safety. Is this some kind of treatment? After we've collected enough data, we should be able to find the cause, then we can find a treatment. But we'll only know if it works after you've completed the tests. Sure. Great! The test machine's in the lab to your left. You'll speak, I'll speak with you again once everything's loaded into the machine. Cloudy. System crash. The good news is I've improved the stability of the blank. Reducing blank. Probability of data loss by a staggering 0.3%. A huge breakthrough. What was I trying to do in the first place again? Ah, that's right. I need to combine blank with blank. We're almost there. 
The battery level is low. Please recharge. You have been absent for five hours, 43 minutes, six seconds. You have 73 app notifications, 102 system messages, zero SMS messages, one mail, and two missed calls. The second test run of the combined blank and blank successful. Now I can record data for blank. Looks like I'll complete the research before the others. They gave me a burger again. Where is my seafood paella? I almost forgot. I should give on the good news. Speech recognition recording. This is my first attempt at combining the blank with the blank. Beep! Initialization failed. Files lost or missing. What is wrong with this thing? Okay, should be all fixed now. <clears throat> Here goes my second attempt at combining the blank with the blank. Beep! Initialization complete. Failed to load environment. This can't be. Why is this happening? Alright, this is my third attempt at combining blank with the blank. Beep! Program not responding. Rebooting. And that's what programming's like, folks. This is my third attempt at combining the Grom system with the combat simulator. Errors, more errors. It was sunny today? Well, it's getting dark, so there's no way to tell. Not in the mood to look at code. Should get those prostheses replaced. There's a sale at the Mart. Five leg parts came with a free poster of Mechatron. I'm definitely getting that after I order takeout. Been craving a bowl of seafood paella since lunchtime. Delivery needs an extra 20 minutes at peak hour. What a world. Might as well sift through the error log. My god, they're just everywhere. Cloudy. Ordered burger takeout. They're definitely fleecing me because these buns sure are moldy. Not ordering from them again. Maybe we can try to combine blank with blank and test their compatibility. If this works, we'll know about Anne's blank. Good lord, my tummy doesn't feel right. I better hit the loo. Igor, the assistance bot. Connecting. Please wait. Use the Grom system to switch to your combat suit first. Moldy and he still ate it. I mean, he paid for it! Residents have fully recovered from the damage caused by the Mechanica virus. We believe in the near future. Blank, blank, blank. <laughs> it's not moldy, it's penicillin. I don't, I don't think that's what they were going for, but... <laughs> I don't think that's what doctor's thoughts were on that, but who knows. That's our combat suit. There we go. Not too shabby. Alan? Nothing here but empty space. <laughs> Alan? I'm here. <laughs> Sorry, I was updating the local client. It's still loading. Just a sec. <sighs> All right. I upgraded the system. Any new functions? Of course. I added a new defense system plus data collection. And you now have a control panel. That's great. Okay, let's get started. Uh, Doc? Your supercomputer is lagging out? Just wait. Update complete. Wait, I need to delete some redundant files. Thanks for waiting, Flores. How's the new system? How about we give this baby a test run? I need to gather some data. Alright, before we hop into this, JT, I see you're raiding here. So let's run some quick countermeasures for you. JT Dog Games, thank you so much for the raid. If you guys are hopping in during the raids here, uh, right now we're actually doing a sponsored stream right now for Anno Muta uh, Mutationum. My God, I can never say it right. Uh, if you want to check out the game itself, it just dropped on Switch this week. Uh, you can type exclamation sponsored to see a link to the screen. Or if you're hopping in late or recently to the stream, there should be a button for it underneath the stream as well. Uh, the game has also been out on Steam, PS4, and Xbox One for a couple months. Sponsored. Sorry, sponsored. Thank you, Maniacal. Did I say sponsor? I meant sponsored. I'm sad I can't use a D-pad for this, but... It's awesome, I'll check it out. Sweet, thanks dude. Thank you for the raid, by the way, appreciate it. Okay. 
Made a roll. We skip it this time? No, no, no. I need to make sure the program is stable. You wouldn't want to risk any crashes or reboots. Isn't that right, Flores? Oh. Alright, so I can cancel out of a roll with a jump, which is nice. Combat time, baby. Let's go. Pretty good grenade, very fast too. What's next? Just one more test. Let's start. This time the combat simulation should be fine. I'm using the latest data for your targets. <sighs> They seem different. All right, ready when you are. I am holding R. Oh, there it is. So, uh. Yeah, it seems easier if I just go to. If I just use the damn, it's like stick. It says hold the stick, but I think they meant hold it in a direction. Emergency situation. Oh, fuck, that hurt. Oh, that hurt a lot. Okay, can't quite cancel roll out of combat, so I gotta keep that in mind. But I can't cancel in a block! Data loading. So this game was supposed to be a game in the SCP universe, but they had to scrap it. This was obviously inspired by SCP-682. Like, actually? Or is that just where they took that inspiration from? 
We have reports of missing person cases in several cities. Even after careful investigations, the police have yet to find any clues. Is the hippocampal formation data okay? Yes, just make sure the third test is done properly and doesn't get delayed. <laughs> I lost control again. It's fine. You're doing a virtual test in a capsule machine. I've got everything under control. As I hypothesize, mood changes also trigger entangleitis. Interesting. Hmm, wait, this parameter's rather high. Perhaps it's because of magnetic field resonance? Oops, uh, looks like it was triggered by my aging machinery. What happened exactly? Don't worry, the machine won't change the result. The Grom system recorded and kept your entangleitis data intact. It'll record everything we need. The system will also change your combat suit automatically when necessary. If you want to test it. You'll need to wait for me to fix the machine first. Oh, my dad made me ask you about that medicine. N540? Yeah, you mentioned it last time. Nope, no news at all. I'm not sure if it still even exists. Yeah, I told dad. Alright, I'm off, Doc. He's minus to open the Grom system. Backpack, weapons, no mission intel yet. Map. There we go, now I've got a map. Hello. Hey, mister. How you doing, buddy? Where's the bagel? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, mister. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi to mama. He's ate a whole can. Oh, good boy, buddy. That's what, two and a half cans he's had today? Yes. Yeah. Doing real good, buddy. Yeah. Keep your appetite up, mister. Yeah. And now he's ready to go back outside. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he stands you like, what's, what's taking you so long? What's taking you so long? <laughs> Thanks for the visit. Thanks for checking on me, buddy. Appreciate it. <laughs> Bagel will come in, check on me to make sure I'm okay, and then leave immediately. Every time. <laughs> you tried. a decent sized map. He's good enough for you if you're in trouble, but too good for you if you're fine. Yeah, that's Bagel. Oh, maybe that's a lot more map than I thought. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And then there's a database on every character, looks like. And nationality and date of birth unknown, 22 years old, grew up in Margarita with her foster parents, Hots Flores, who adopted her at a young age. Excels in athletics and combat, is inflicted with a mysterious illness since she was young. Works at Ray's agency as a field agent while also looking for a cure. Is best friends with Ayane, big baseball fan, and loves to practice Ikebana when she, when she time. Ayane Misuno grew up in New Outer Osaka and is 18 years old and the, is the granddaughter of one of the four big Eastern Imperial tech conglomerates, uh, Lloyd Miyamoto. Loves snacks and hanging out online and became something of a phenomenon after she won an illustrious hacking competition when she was only 10 years old. Got to know Anne and Ray while in New Outer Osaka. Rarely stops talking. Dynamite Zimmer! Runs a weapon shop in Scoff. Despite his obsession with the technology of homemade weapons, you'll find you'll only find bleeding edge weapon modules in a shop. He's constantly looking for rare metals to make weapons that he never sells. Bookshop owner Looper. A bookworm that met Holtz through books. He often finds Holtz old books. He runs a bookstore in the new district designated by the president. Though not a fan of the president's rule, he wants little more than to surround himself with books. 
Siberius. Siberius, a joyful and chatty fellow, inherited a fortune from his parents. Under the president's repressive rule, however, he has trouble frittering away all that money. He opened an antique shop just for laughs, though it is effectively a secondhand shop. And Alan Doyle, 49 years old, Hots' his friend, and previously colleagues at uh, Einderson Industries. And there's the guys we fought. Oh, and there's dialogue from story two. Neat. <laughs> now, this ground, Grom system, it's like another battle enhancing function. Well, like I told you before, we need to learn more about your symptoms to find a possible cure. There's no better tool to record and analyze your symptoms than Grom. What makes it so special? Isn't it just another way of monitoring my stats? Nope, the Grom system is unlike any other. It's the result of my years of research. It captures your brainwave changes and analyzes them in real time. That means we can now fully record your entangleitis variables. Just remember to find places to sync the data when you have time and keep me up to date. All right. <laughs> Ask about my father. How do you know my dad again? What, your old man never told you? He only said that you were an old friend of his, specialized in brain research. Hmm, that old Roboskull. Stories I have. I remember that one time we got off work early and went to this bar and... Uh, I think I heard that story ten times already. I just I just want to ask. Since you've worked closely with my dad, do you know why he's so fascinated by everything robotic? I'm not sure I know the answer. I remember we had an accident in our lab. He and a female colleague went missing after that. After some years, I met your dad again while I was doing research in Margarita. He had a baby back then and half of his body was replaced with mechanical parts. That was with... That was, that was, was Ryan, I guess. Anne, can you come over? What's up, Nakamura? Come here first. I'll tell you more later. Sure. On my way. Ayane, I need to pay a visit to my sister. Okay, say hi to her for me! Okay. By the way, how are you recovering? Right, I'm gonna quickly go up and save because I know using my computer does that. It was my car. Fuck yeah. More things to steal, fuck yeah! No new mail. Alright, back to the car. Guessing you sell the junk at the antique shop to actually get money? Yeah, but I have- I know there's a combining system, too, to actually, like, make things a bit more worth it, so... I'm sure what happens is I make things, it earns me enough credits to actually... ...buy the nice stuff, like new weapons and such. And there's Margarita. There's locked. 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 My favorite places. Wait, did we just fly? I looked away for a second. Nice. We appear to have put on our combat suit to go drive and see Margarita. Or sorry, Nakamura at Margarita. I really like this game's presentation. I think this game does this shockingly well.
I cannot sleep. Insomnia. A horror movie so horrible that I ended up sleeping through it. Mutant boxing! Electromagnetic wave receiver and alloy components. Let's grab both of those. Colorful can! Prosthetic leg, bottle bomb! Cop car! and see what I can steal around here now. Bro, have you heard about lures? That black marketeer, I have. He's got some nerve to mess with the <laughs> Factio. Oh, I skipped that. Chris is the most intel and connections on the sea. Oh, it has a private area, stay clear. Hey, did you hear? Even though the government eradicated the Mechanica virus, some people still get sick. Some of them on purpose. NUT! Maybe this will come in handy. A brand new bio skin with its anti-aging function. Never worry about growing old. Bioskin Z46 is now on sale. Have you found your brother? That damn kid. How dare you make his sisters worry. Chocolate nibbles. All attack power plus 5% for 30 seconds. Pumpkin soda. Restore 30% HP. Damage taken plus 30% for 10 seconds. Mushy hash brown. Damage taken minus 20% for 15 seconds. And layered candy. Restores 5 HP every 3 seconds for 30 seconds. Any plans for tonight? Why? You want to have some fun? Yeah, I want to stand here and dance. Hi, Ann. Long time no see. Oh, oh. oh, you're wondering why I'm not standing inside. Your dad decided the bar doesn't really need a reservation system. This is my act of rebellion. Please go in. Hey, I didn't do anything wrong. I just need to check your ID. Is this your first time here? Eh, please stay safe. Uh, okay. Ouch. That hurt. Who pushed me down the stairs? Oh, it's San. You caught me staging a fraud again. <laughs> Hush, I'm just trying to make a living. Keep quiet about it. Annual Top 50 Global Super Conglomerates. For the 50th time in a row, and to nobody's surprise, the Tatonis Corp. Inc. Uh, group made first place. We've come to a point where it's hard to imagine what they aren't involved in. ROMs, meds, portable hologram detectors, nano-warmed undergarments, your name, and they already got the patent and are ready to sue your poor behind. Paranoia Weekly. A port that mysteriously disappears when you get close is it an artificial evil or a divine punishment. A huge fairy that suddenly appears near the port district that keeps devouring humans who try to set foot on it. Despite that, Factio Puggini's boss, uh, Digitus Minimus, and his men are safely entrenched in Walter Rally in Raising Hell. Those are Tommy guns. With those dance steps. They'll fire two shots. Bang, bang, like that. <laughs> Dude, I gotta admit, you're hilarious. Wait, somebody's coming. Miss, beat it. Family's doing its job. Just beat it. Technology is developing extremely fast. Everything in the city is covered in metal. After the Mechanica virus, even humans are all covered in metal. Wine barrels are no exception. A deep sea globe and an Einderson G14.
We've done it. Great, dude, it looks like we'll finally make a fortune with this. No headache the next day, even if you drink a barrel. Care to give it a try? Uh, yeah, huh? Ew, you hear sounds of uncontrollable vomiting. We've only had one sip, what's wrong? Let me smell it. Sounds of a second person vomiting. Sounds like testing went great. Tiger Beetle Motors presents the super cute Ferrari. Lost your passion for driving? New car models don't thrill you anymore? Want to be the most eye-catching on the suspension road? Then try our, ta try our Tiger Beetle Motors latest model, Ferrari. For details, ask for Tony at Tiger Armor Motors. Be sure to bring 10 Cyberneco Pluses. They're Tony's favorite. Smooth Burglar. I'd bet money on it. I bet they sing Smooth Burglar and fire when they reach the last high note. It's their tradition of the kill at the climax of a song. But our people are also here. I bet they'll fire when the drum beats the quickest, because that's when the dance steps are the fastest and the best. Gonna be murdering tonight. Hello, ma'am. You'll meet the enemy you fear the most again, but it's not set in stone. Make the right choice and you can change everything. More garbage to sift through, hang on. Why are they here? Uh, who, them in the black suits? Shh, we better avoid them. We don't want this town to get in trouble. But they look like gentlemen. Haven't you heard that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover? They're brutal. All right, what have I not checked? Or am I good to actually go in to where I'm supposed to go now? Because I couldn't open that door. Grab those. I right, looked at these. Oh, wait, what? And an open prompt, but I guess that doesn't do anything. Oh! Fixed it! It's real and it's all an illusion. It's a place where the real and the imaginary come together. There are no values, no gods to believe in around here. Look at this smug asshole over here. They say the bartender here is the real deal. Have her drinks and you'll have sweet dreams. Besides, you won't get a hangover the next day. Sounds great, I wanna try. You don't always get to have her drinks though. Ah, uh, shame, let's have fun at Nocturne Maze. Huh, if you ask me, you deserve better. Really think so? Of course. That guy's not right for you. Oh, it's you again. I'm bumping you everywhere, aren't I? Ah, oh, there we go. I can save here. Perfect. They say the bartender here's the real deal. Okay, they just really wanted to tell me that, I guess. Everyone really seems to love Nakamura. Sup, Anne? They all tell me I look, this, I look like someone, but who could it be? Riddles, riddles, life is a mystery. Yeah, I'm keeping it on that. I like that he dances along with it, that's perfect. I just love large stone heads, it's what gets me up in the morning. Oh hey, if you like funky tunes, check out the jukebox over there. Nice Moai head. Nope. Oh, guess that's where I actually gotta go. Sarah, your drink. Hang on, I'm still waiting for somebody. You can't beat me at Othello. It's too early to say that. 
I feel somebody staring at me. We're gonna have another cocktail. That that passionate Cuba burned all all my pores. Wow. Hey there, miss. Do I come here often? Uh, oh, wait, what? I first plant the seed of confusion as a way to break the ice. <laughs> well, something broke, all right. Apparently not the ice, though. Mmm, smooth. Drunk veteran. Hey, do you know the number of victims that fell during the war 30 years ago? 30 years ago? What war? The Nexus Siege led by Captain Kurt, of course. Never heard of it. I guess the history books don't give it that much attention, huh? But for me, it all feels like yesterday. The government's mechanical army has completely lost control. We ordered machines to kill our enemies, and our enemies ordered theirs to kill us. They even hacked into our network to force our machines to kill us. It was a chaotic time when machines and humans killed each other. In the end, human bodies and mechanical junk were piled as high as a mountain until the last man remained, standing on top of that very mountain. The last man? The Captain Kurt you mentioned? Yep, he was the first and only hero of the Nexus Wars. Can you tell me more about Captain Kurt? At that time, the government had already turned some of our gr greatest fighters into cyborgs. The humans we captured as POWs, the robots we've reprogrammed. Kurt's thought differently, though a thought on a higher level. He thought the robots deserved freedom too, so he took them and the cyborgs and left. Where did he go to? Nobody knows. I heard rumors about a commune far away. Hey. Kurt knew a robot heart beats the same. It's metal and pipes, but comes out the same life force. Or out comes the same life force. Alright. <laughs> Nakamura. Man! Finally, you're here! We've got so many customers today. You need my help? Certainly. That crap AI bartender is malfunctioning again. I can't find Ryan, so you're all I have. Counting on you today. Sure, leave it to me. But first, I gotta change my outfit. Bartender outfit! Let me play a round of Tong. Oh, it's so slow. Why is the paddle so slow? Oh, God. You're not getting that one. How the fuck did you get that one? Damn cheating Tong AI. <laughs> okay. That was unintentional, but that was impressively well-timed. Damn it. How did you do that? How did you do that? Oh, I'm out of here. Hey, Robo Boss, those 50,000 kegs of genetically enhanced blue banana beer with festive nano uh, animated prancing ponies are about to expire. You still want them or not? The only prompt? I guess. Better not disturb him. I'll come back later. We played hide and seek with our family when we were young, and this was our favorite spot. When Ryan made mistakes, Dad would try to scare him. If you don't behave, I'll lock you up inside. There are people inside who know magic and specialize in disciplining disobedient children. How specific. Dad's favorite painting, I've been told, is a bit different than the original. Eh, just a little.
My only son, Ryan, about what happened yesterday. Dad doesn't blame you. People don't only make good food or people don't only make good friends in their life. You'll make a few bad friends and do bad things with them. Son, making mistakes is part of life. Look at me. What's important is to not keep making them. This is something you should learn from your sisters. This may be difficult for you right now, but Dad believes in you because you're my son. Holtz Flores. P.S. Do you have any idea what happened to the AI bartender? He broke down and started cursing in Dutch. Karate! Karate hologram! It feels like forever. Thoughts on cyborganization and its effects on our emotions. A book out by the impact of robotization on not just the body, but also our emotions. The author of this book seems to be familiar. A calfskin diary stands out in Dad's room, but since it's electronically locked, no one knows what's written inside. From Ryan to Holtz. Leave me alone, old man. I'm looking for something very important. Stop trying to give me all these so-called life lessons. My ears hurt. Introducing clients from old Alan to Holtz. Holtz, buddy, pal, I'm desperate for research funds. Introduce me to some more clients. I'll appreciate that. About the book from Darling. Dad, Looper said he found the book and he'll be here very soon. Oh, I'm assuming that's us. About Anne from Raymond. Hots, my good man. Do not worry so much. Anne's making lots of progress. She and Ayane are a spectacular team. Dear Mr. Holtz from Harbor Infinity, I received a letter of introduction from Dr. Allen. I found the advanced spherical auxiliary parts you urgently require. To be honest, I didn't expect any new customers looking for these parts these days. Most of my customers are regulars. The damn government signed deals with uh, Titanus, Anderson, and FT, which doesn't exactly help with my business. Sure, you're one of those who can't trust the government, Titanus or Elude. Since we're both on the same side, I'll give you something extra. If something goes wrong with the parts, you can always come to me for a brand new one. And that's the letter that we... Uh, Sent earlier from all out. Please, Hots, don't worry too much. I'm working on it. My new data tracking device should give some info and perhaps lead to some answers as to her condition. Whether the entangleitis will occur, her new suit will take care of the negative aspects. So that's something. Thanks for leaving your, your computer logged in, Dad. Picture of our family. That's me, Dad, Nakamura, Ryan, and Helen. When did we take this photo? Just look at Dad's silly expression. Anne, eight years old. Probably Tuesday. My name's Anne. I may be eight years old. I'm not very good at talking yet, but a little better at writing. Holtz told me to practice more, so I'll practice writing. Holtz is my adoptive father. I have two older sisters, Helen and Nakamura, and a younger brother, Ryan. Helen's never home, and Nakamura says Helen's like an imaginary sister. She doesn't exist. How can Helen not exist? What's good about my life is that Ryan is still young and doesn't fight with me, and that always and that he always forgets what time when I need to go to bed. 2318-58 or 2311-58. Sunny Saturday apology. I and Flores apologize in all earnest. I shouldn't have hit Sam Black today at the park, even though he is scrawny and ugly and bullied Ryan. I will never hit anyone again. I will be a good girl. No way. Sam's a stinking pig, and he called Ryan a loser. Next time I see him, I'll hit him again. I'll hit him every single time I see him. Stupid pig. No one can bully my brother. Alright, beat up Sam Black. Got it. Strange-shaped bear, which was trendy with girls a few years ago. I vaguely remember that Sis and I pestered Dad to buy two of them. But where's the other one? Hey, kid, have you gotten yourself into trouble again? There's been people at the bar looking for you recently. Kid, you need to grow up. You can't always rely on your sisters to help clean up your mess. And give me back my ultra monkey wrench. I knew you took it. Hey, the Holy Grail! Don't ask me who I am or how I got your email address. If you want to help your sister, go to the following address. Password required to view attachments. Well, we already have the Holy Grail. It's in my apartment. It blocks people from seeing my crotch. A blueprint of a mechanically altered Cyberneco Plus statue Dad once got in a flea market. I wonder if this poster is what got Ryan interested in engineering. The work of art in the age of the genius chip implant. 
Dad's been reading this book for five years and seems to have still not finished it. <laughs> Let's steal Dad's stuff! Yeah! Excuse me, I said open it. change outfit option. Diary of the one and only Nakamura. Nakamura a year, Nakamura a month, Nakamura a day. Love, concentration up to 99%, leaving the remaining 1% for the future. Leon was doing his homework when he told me he wanted to grow up fast, got down on his desk and barked like a puppy. He's so cute. He made rings out of four-leaf clovers and bought me shell earrings at the jewelry store. At night after he finished his homework, he plopped down on his bed and said he wanted to ask his parents to buy him a car. I said, why don't you work and buy one? Leon immediately buried his head in the blanket. I tried to comfort him, but before I could think of something to say, Leon looked up, stared at me with his moist eyes, and said, I'll buy a car myself. Then he whispered, I want a kiss. So cute! A lot of pages are missing. This entry's from way later, it seems. Ron Willis got go to hell year. Ron Willis go to hell month. Go to, uh, go to hell and Ron Willis go to day. My wrath is burning. Ron, that son of a... said he got a new job, huh? Does that job involve kissing Sarah on the mouth? What the freaking Ron Williams and Sarah Hunter? Just the sound of their names together makes me want to throw up. Blech. Break up! Must break up! Nakamura might have some unresolved issues. Or might just be really angry all the time. How much longer is the segment? We got another half hour. All right, let's switch into our uh, definitely want the combat suit, right? I think that's what they're looking for. Fine. Special bartender outfit. Oh, you look amazing in this outfit. I keep telling you, come work here full time. We wouldn't have to miss you and the drinks are free. Sis, I thought you were in a hurry. <laughs> Always to the point, eh? Sure. Well, let's get started. Our guests are waiting. Three, uh oh. Mini game? Mini game. Oh, God! Bad! <laughs> Good! Perfect. Okay, I got it now. There we go. Give me three greens. Time is up. I got an A rank. I got booed for an A rank. <laughs> okay, I'm finally finished. Hey, someone's waiting for you, insisting on your service. Nakamura, you know I'm not good at this. It's okay, it's a lady. She's not gonna bite you. Just go speak with her. If you feel like challenging yourself, there's an achievement for getting 700 points in that. All right, let me see if I can Customers go do another one now. Serve some drinks. Customers are waiting. Serve some drinks first. Customers are waiting. Yeah, it won't let me.
Sorry, I had to walk through the counter. Hello. Can I get you anything? You must be Anne Flores. Uh, yes, that's my name. Can I help you? My, how you've grown. Your eyes are quite fascinating. Like a pair of azure gems. Okay... If you don't need anything, I'll get back to work. Your entanglitis is getting worse, is it not? Oh, don't worry. Your fate will help you yes. solve it. Yes. How do you... Yes! Is it kid? Bring it to me now! Hey, what are you yelling about? Where is he? What are you talking about? And... Uh, can you stop it with the screaming? Notice everyone else? Where's Ryan? Bring him to us! Sis, leave this to me. Gentlemen, this way. What do you want with Ryan? The boss sent us to get him. Listen up! Just tell us where he is! Girly, I ain't asking. Scan holds the other scan enemy stats. I gotta get the timing down on that. Damn it. It's hard because the blade the blade width is so thin. Uh oh. Does not give me too much room to work. Oh, I've taken a lot of damage, I just realized. There it was, I had it that time. Okay, I know these are the Grom system auto switches the combat the combat suit when we need it, but it's just drawing seeing that we took enough time to get undressed and back into our regular suit. We could have saved some time if we hadn't changed our clothing in front of the dude. Who are you guys? Forgive us, stop hitting me, I'll tell you everything. I'm old McGee. I'm just a hobby and uh, I'm just a nobody. In fact, you know, Poojani, say, please spare me. No, not unless you tell me exactly what happened. Sorry, we shouldn't have come here for trouble. What do you want? We came to find a boy called Ryan. He took something from our boss. We wanted to grab him and impress the boss. What did he take? I'm not sure. This is your last chance. Yes, I swear it's the truth. Please let me go. Fine, get lost. Thank you. Good thing Ryan wasn't here. I'd better find him before others do. I'll talk to Nakamura first. I could talk to. Oh, I can't go back and change. Damn it. Guess I gotta. Man, I'm so glad you came. Thank you for your help. Dad's usually missing in action. And the reason why I asked you to come, it's about Ryan. What happened to him? 
He's been acting strangely. He came back days ago and had a long conversation with Dad. I think it's related to your illness. I guess you'd ask Dad for deal t details. He's playing games in his study. The both of them, they drive me mad sometimes. Oh. Yoink. Hi. Where's that guest? Yeah, she's quite rude, but I shouldn't have left like that. What guest? I don't know who you're talking about. The lady with the mechanical mask? Don't know. Maybe I was too busy and totally ignored her. <laughs> oh, shit. What's the other prompt? Go find your dad. Oh. I have to tell her to go find my dad. What are you doing, Dad? Oh, I'm doing something important. A kid like you might not understand, but anyways, it's quite important. You know I saw you playing a game, right? Here you are, the book you wanted. Oh, I finally got my hands on it. Can't wait to start reading. I was told this book is very fun and full of interesting ideas. I looked up the ending online, laughed for hours. Dad, why aren't you helping Nakamura with the bar? Ahem, <clears throat> because I have important things to do. Oh, Ryan came here the other day. Dad! What did he come for? Well, he said that he learned of a way to cure your illness. What? Did he say how? Don't know, he didn't tell me. What else did he say? I need money. Ugh. Did you give it to him? Of course not. I think he was trying to get money from me. Oh, he took some of your photos when he left, said he needed them. Do you, do you know where he went? Nah, he didn't say. Ugh. Any news from Alan about the N540 medicine? Nope, I don't think he really believes it's real. Don't be discouraged, you have to give it a shot. I guess you want to go look for Ryan? Maybe he's in Noctis in the old room I used to live in. Huh. Anne. It's been a long time since that incident. You can't hide in the shadows and keep living in the past. You must let go and move on. Mm. Got it, Dad. I'll go check out Noctis. Take a drive to Noctis City and check out the old place. If you see the little brat, tell him to get his behind home. Good morning, Dad, Helen, and Ryan. I honestly don't know what time it is or what day of the month it is. It's been, I've been in this rainforest for too long. I'm at blank degrees north latitude, blank degrees west longitude, in the ruins of an ancient city. Well, the sun's lovely and the air is humid. I heard an, of antiques that can foretell the future showed up here and wanted to come and have a look. And he would give me some instructions, some directions of where to go. Dad, how's going? The sun's so intense, I can barely see what I'm writing. Anyways, the leads we have uh, we got have brought us to what was once the Nile. I'm not sure what he is yet, but it seems like something that transcends time and space. I'm not sure if I made physical contact with him back in South America. I'm not sure if I should use it, he, or they either. He's wet and sticky. I can't think about him in detail without falling into the trap he set in my head of, or his revelation. I'll figure it out. Love y'all. I feel like I should be concerned about that. History of evil AI from Wicked House Appliances to the Robot Super Rebellions. History of the book that records the events leading up to and including several recent AI rebellions. Die Technik und die Cyberkir. There's no subtitle on that one. Interesting. No, oh, I can't get changed anymore. Oh, did I go in this room? Can I even? No. Well, guess I can't work at the bar anymore. Hi. Our business is thriving! Yes. Want to earn some money? Our guests are satisfied when the drinks you served. I'll get updates in the family first. How's everyone? 
Dad's just being himself, playing games and reading novels all day long. Sometimes I'll go see some old friends. Ryan's like you after moving out. Never replying messages, always too busy to come home. Hmm. As to Helen, hmm. If it weren't for regular mail, I would have forgotten about her. I wonder what makes her want to brave the ocean as an explorer. Oh my. And myself, I've been thinking about hiring a help. Can't run it all by myself, it's exhausting. Oh, me and that crappy AI bartender. It's not easy, but you're doing a great job, sis. Oh, right. Ugh. Uh, you know what I'm about to say? Probably. It's high time for a young lady like you to find your Mr. Right. I have this sizable database of eligible candidates that I... Sis! Fine, not today. Don't forget to drop by again later on. <laughs> Alright, let's try our luck at bartending again. I remember she insists on trying my latest drink, and after taking a few shots, I still remember how embarrassing it was. I know, she just likes to play tough. Well, I'm relieved to know that you have such a good friend by your side. First Ryan moved out, then you followed suit. Only me and Dad are at home now. Don't forget to drop by now and then. Okay, how do I... I want to pour some drinks. Let me, let me pour drinks. Can I not... Can I not use the... Do the bar anymore? You have to wait until like some other story element happens. It's rich protein. Another missing person despite the curse. Come back later. Okay. Ayane, I'm going to knock this city. Huh? Why not stay with your family a bit longer? No, I need to find Ryan. All right, I might just head towards the actual like story elements at this point because we're running out of time on our actual slot here. Because otherwise we're running a little low on time for this segment and I don't know how much more story progress we can get if I start looking around for secrets everywhere. You did do a lot of walking around? Yeah, but I found a lot of stuff. And I got a lot of a lot of lore. I think it was worth all the all the running around I did. Any spare change and broke. Well, it put us right in the building. I guess it just didn't want us to fuck around at all. Yeah, we got any things I can steal? Stealing all the stuff I can first before I run in there because something tells me something's going to happen. Yourself. 
Late title card, baby! <laughs> Use open my grass. Oh, we have a talent tree now. We have a talent tree now. <laughs> Novice hacker, hold ZL and press L to hack into an encrypted device. Expert hacker grants extra credits for each successful hack. Deflect, perfect counter. Press L right before an attack lands to so ignore the damage and execute a counterattack. Firearms, auto loading, reduces pistol reload time. Light sword, sword shadow step, cha charge forward to damage enemies within your path. I don't think I can afford any. Oh, I can. Increase backpack size to 8. Increase attack power by 10. Increase max HP by 50. Increase base defense by 10. Oh, these are a different stat, I just noticed. Tarot, increase luck by 15 and slightly increases reward drop rate upon defeating enemies. Time to hack. Oh, I'm hacking from here. I hacked. Yay for me. Looks like you left in a rush. Let's see if we can find any clues. Faulty remote. Definitely not edible. Good to know. <laughs> A nut and some gaskets. An advanced crypto key. for N542? What did he find? Weird. Why did Ryan leave this room? It's heavily damaged. Oh, 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 I know. A ROM shop downtown that can fix it. Okay, let's go there. And I gotta check if there's anything in his bathroom. Nope, I can't believe he left nothing in his bathroom. God damn. That's good. Open the door. Excellent. Saves us a ton of trouble. I guess you know where Ryan is too, right? You're the one, huh? Follow me. Maybe you should actually hit him with the thing you threw at him. I don't know, just a hunch on that one. Alright, only single jump. Oh my god, I got so lucky that there was actually something down there. Holy shit.
Okay, never mind. I saw the ladder and I figured there might have been actually something down there. Not afraid to get into trouble, huh? Tough girl. <laughs> I've got what you want, but let's see whether or not you can take it. Instead, how about I let my buddies entertain you? Instant kill plus! Press R near an unarmored target to trigger an instant kill. Ah, I see what they mean. Very flashy. Well, you missed, so it was pretty easy. Thanks for the bridge. Give the ROM to me. Forget it. Catch me if you can. No, you don't. You don't have to leave either. No, I just wanted to kill that guy. No survivors. Also, ammo might be nice to have. And it's for no survivors. You're the one, huh? Okay, so those Grom Blitzes, those are my my uh, skill tree experience points. That's We got some from giving food to that guy in the sewer earlier. So that makes sense now. So can I just do that now? Do I have enough? Oh, it doesn't tell me from... Okay, 56. Uh, I can do hacking for more money. I can do reduced pistol reload time. Or I can do uh, shadow step. When equipping light sword, press double tap forward and Y to use shadow step. That sounds fun. Now we get light sword airborne strike. Uh, when equipping light sword, press up and Y to use airborne strike. Oh, so it's... Basically, high time. Or hang time. Ooh, that looks good, too. to you, buddy. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck.
How smooth would you say this runs? The combat's pretty smooth, honestly. It's not that bad. You're not too bad. Why don't we sit down for a chat? Back to your apartment can use people like you. Cut the crap and give me the rum. You can tell Ryan to get it himself. What did you hit me with? He's like trying to hit me with a damn like like resuscitation paddle. Help me look into this guy. Stim shots. Oh, I regret that because I could have gotten up there. I bet you there's something up there. Just kill you? There we go. Allocate materials. Some items can be combined quickly. When you have enough materials in your backpack, hold down to combine. You can also combine items in the backpack interface. Which apparently I don't have anything based on the fact it didn't give me any prompts. Uh, let's see what I can make. Nothing! I guess they just told me that a little early. Upper path or lower path? Let's try lower. He's running toward the parking lot. I know. He's so fast. I'm coming for you. Oops! Wait, did it put me up? Oh, it put me up here now. <laughs> well, what did I miss up here? Nothing, okay. Offensive HF chip. Once equipped, it increases a weapon's damage. Equipment chips. Chips can be inserted and removed from a weapon at any time. All right, we got one empty socket. What does this do? Attack plus three. The most common weapon chip, a low spec means even small workshops can produce it with high quality. Besides, with corpse moving away from high frequency chips, independent craftsmen create chips that are proving more popular nowadays. You can buy it at the chip store of Scops or Noctis. Hello.
Oh fuck! Go in the door to you up. He went in the door, I guess. Where is he? I'm not sure. There are too many blind spots here. I'll have to search bit by bit. Ooh, some grenades. Nice. Let's equip those. What else we got around here? Well, that's definitely not the way he went. I, see him. Over there. I can't go that way! I can only move in a two-dimensional plane! Steal over here. Wait, what? Oh, there was a prompt. Ceramic ring! And an arcade keyboard. Paranoia Weekly! Stealing all the best stuff. Another stim shot. Energy battery. And another keyboard. How many keyboards am I carrying at this point? Hang on, I gotta check my email. No messages. If they're sa letting me save, there's probably a boss fight here. Oh, they're letting me buy food? There's definitely a boss fight coming up here. They're letting me buy grenades. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got a Grom upgrade. Talents related to character stats in the Grom system must be upgraded with Grom upgrades. So that's the other currency we have for upgrades. Which, if you ask me which I'm going to put that into, it's probably either luck or health. Yeah, what are our options down here? Increases luck by 15 and slightly increases reward drop rate upon defeating enemies. Increases base defense by 10, increases max HP by 50, increases attack power by 10, and increases backpack size to 8. Mmm, yeah, I'm thinking luck, then probably backpack, and then health. It's gonna be five to unlock the next part. Can't you just let it go? Stop following me. You did kind of beat me up. Okay, bad press on that one.
Oh boy. Oh, move! Oh, it still hit me. Are you kidding me? Damn it. Now, the latest scoop on Noctis City. A local faction has sparked riots after rejecting peace talks with the president. We're reporting live from the scene. Noctis again. <laughs> How many buildings is it this month already? <laughs> Must be Factio Pugni again. <sighs> Wonder who's the poor soul this time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous! Another cocktail! On the double! Ooh, tell me I get to steal that. I've been standing up here the entire time. Are you I'm okay. But that thug should still be around. Stay sharp. No, I'm good. Great sword module, C4. All right, so we got a heavy weapon now, and that's on the X button. Oh shit, that was dumb. Oh, drink up. Can I charge this? No, it doesn't look... Oh, I can! Fuck, so close. Oh shit, really? Uh oh. Drugs!
Can I have that ROM chip back, please? Uh oh, bad time for that to kick in. Hatman is here. Oh, I'm spent. My heart's exploding. Uh, I see. Place is about to collapse. We have to get out of here first. In this city, rebuilt under a brand new order, those infected by the Mechanica virus get get free bio skins. Yay. All right. We'll get to our save point and then we'll wrap up and go back to the cookie. I see. I rushed over as soon as I heard. If it weren't for you, Anne would have been in real danger. <sighs> she always tries her hardest. Hasn't changed a bit after all these years. Should be easier on herself. Why are you a cowboy? Oh, Ray. Could you help us locate Ryan? Sure. I'll let you know when I have anything. Got an urgent matter to attend to first. Zombies don't want berserk in a town nearby. Witnesses saw a man in black wearing a bird mask. Uh, I'd better go check it out. And there's plague doctors? Uh, you know, like a plague doctor mask. Uh, okay, sure. Be careful, Ray. And I guess zombies. I kind of oh, so skimmed over that part. Have you been recovering? I'll come and visit once I get back. You know a nice little Italian restaurant that'll be perfect for our reunion. And my butler has been taking good care of me. Don't worry. Okay, well, it's time. Gotta go. Stay safe, you two. Reach out if you need me. Okay. We can handle our own problems, just like before. <sighs> what happened? <gasps> You're awake! Yay! <sighs> Where's the ROM? How did I end up back here? It was Ray. He saved you. Is that so... that arrogant? Hey, you can't say that about a person who saved your life. I was so, so worried about you when you went splat! Oh. Darling, aren't you gonna do something to comfort me? She just woke up, <sighs> Ayane! <laughs> Damn heart light hologram. I lost Ryan's ROM. Please, let's go get your health checked first. I'll help you find Ryan. Head to the docks. All right. No new mail, guess I'll just save. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I stopped paying attention to the time after a while because I kinda got invested in the game. <laughs> so we went at overtime, so I apologize on that. But this game seems actually really cool. The combat seems fun, and I kinda like the world building. I think it's actually really fun. So this has honestly been a good sponsor segment. I've actually really enjoyed this a lot. So again, if you guys want to check this out, exclamation sponsored will bring you to a link to pick it up specifically on the eShop. I brought up the North American eShop with that link there. Um, it is also on uh, last gen system, so Xbox One, PS4, and it's also on Steam. Uh, but I do know specifically we were trying to push the fact that the Switch version for this just came out on Thursday. 
So hopefully you guys had fun with this. Again, devs, thank you so much for letting me play this game. And for, again, for those who are wondering the name of the game, it is Anno Muta Mutationum. M-U-T-A-T-I-O-N-E-M. And you know what? I'm actually curious about something. What is the how long to beat for this? Uh, not many entries on how long to beat. Main story, 10 and a half hours, main, but it's in the red. Main and extras, 14, which is in a purple, which means a couple of people have put that in. But it says completionist is about 19 and a half hours. So it sounds like you probably have two playthroughs if you're going for completionist. So decent size game. It's actually a good thing you're trying it now. The game had a massive update back in April that fixed a number of issues and expanded the story. Oh, neat. Okay, cool. Remember a guy on YouTube who started get to get into a game while reviewing it and said that's a good sign when you stop really reviewing the game and just start playing it. Yeah. No, that's, that's honestly a solid state to be in. That was a lot of fun. Again, thank you so much, devs, for letting me check this out, and hopefully you guys check it out as well. Now, I know some of you are excited for this. Let's go back to the cookie. Oh, actually, I have the stall for a split second because I forgot to pop up a couple things. Let's get viewer options ready. I know there is a 1% rule as well. There we go. All right. If you folks are new here, here's how the stream normally works. Normally when we're not doing a sponsored segment, we do what's called Fortune Cookie on Saturdays. Oh, Fortune Cookie. Oh. <laughs> Forgot it was testing that for Sam. <laughs> Forgot it was testing that for Sam. Sorry, let's let's get that out of there. Let's get that out of there. All right. Normally on Fortune Cookie Nights, what we do is we pick a bunch of games from my game collection, and the chat votes on a stream tech link to see what game we play next. We have a bunch of rules to it as well. Uh, such as 1% rules, which means let's add that in from last week. Which was Pokemon Puzzle League from N64. That was Aelita's 1% rule that happened last week. Don't hide from it, John. Fucking fine, I'll put it back up there. Uh, all right, so we got a 1% rule in play. Let's get our viewer choices into play as well here now. Viewers can spend channel points to get games into the queue, the cookie jar as we call it, to get some game choices in. And honestly, the list here to start is pretty strong. So let's see what comes out of this here now. Grabbing the five games here now. All right. Bay Bay 9001 wants Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch. Delta Mochi 25 says, I want a ton of points from golf predictions, so let's play Mario Golf Super Rush in like three months or so to celebrate. Posted four months ago. <laughs> Oops. So Mario Golf Super Rush for Switch. Timidator75 says, one of my favorite childhood games, Mario Super Sluggers for the Wii. Choice sent on May 17th, 22. SN50 says, the Spyro Reignited Trilogy for Switch. Which means we'd be continuing Spyro 1, which we've got a playthrough with like, I think half of that game done so far, a third. And Ruby Ryko asks for Conker's Bad Fur Day for the N64. So, uh, that's a strong list. And we're still throwing three random games as well from the cookie. So, uh, game number one. 
Okay, good. Auto post is ready. Game number one. SSX1 for the PlayStation 2. Game number two. The Outer Worlds for the Xbox One. And last but not least, Star Wars Rogue Squadron for the N64. This is a banger of a list. Holy shit. Holy shit. Let's do it. The hell is gonna win this. All right, you're gonna see the Stream Tech pollster dropping uh, a bunch of links to a VOD, or to a VOD. Sorry, because someone said VOD mute. Um, I think SSX is safe, I forget. I know Tricky's the one that's got a lot of copyright stuff in it. Stream Tech pollster is dropping a link to the poll, so that's where you go to vote and see what game we're playing next. Currently in the lead. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, but not by much. 51 votes, 21% of the vote. Let me get the actual URL on screen for those of you that want to vote and want to type in that link there. Spyro Reignited Trilogy, 63 votes, 21%. Mario Super Sluggers for the Wii, 41 votes, 13%. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, 35 votes, 10%. Pokemon Puzzle League, 35 votes, 10%. Star Wars Rogue Squadron, 27 votes, 7%. Mario Golf Super Rush, 22 votes, 6%. The Outer Worlds, 10 votes, 2%, and SSX for the, is in last place, 8 votes, 2%. 372 votes clock so far. Spyro Reignited Trilogy is currently in the lead, ironically, as orange and not purple, because Conquer is orange and Spyro is purple, but they are mixed up in colors this time around. Spyro currently leads 107 to 89. Let's put a minute on the clock and see what happens. Once this race is done, we know what game we're playing next. The winner of the race is the winner of the next game slot. However, if the game in second place is 2% or less away from the leader, it will be added to the next poll as an extra option. That's how Pokemon Puzzle League got added onto this one. Spyro is orange to remember Spyro orange. Weren't those not considered the best games, though? I remember most people saying they don't like those. I'm on my phone and can't click on the link for some reason. That is weird. Deef, any idea what's going on with that? Because you're not the only one saying that. Well, either way, Spyro Reignited won it. Yeah, Lino Novus is saying the exact same thing, not working on mobile. Same, I copied Link and it doesn't work. Phone links aren't working. Weird. Been like that for a couple weeks now. Deef, any idea what's going on with that, if you're still here? I'll have to ping him about that if he's not. We'll get it looked into, don't worry, guys. As far as I can tell, mobile is broken for Twitch links since last few updates. Oh, so it might be all links period don't work on the mobile app for Twitch? That's not good. Yes, all links. I'm on mobile and it worked just fine. Mobile has it rough. Interesting. Well, let's see here. Not just you, John, on other streams as well. It must be a certain version must have an issue with that. Don't know if it's most recent or if it's a couple back. Weird. All right, well, we'll look into it either way. Or at least I'll make sure it's passed on to the right people. But Spyro Reignited Trilogy is up next, so we're continuing Spyro 1. So let's drop some eggs here, but I also have to do a Duke Nukem, because I did not want to run one during the sponsored segment. Uh, but that was owed a while back to Battler809. Battler, sorry you had to wait so long, but this one's for you. Damn, my massive forearm is stuck in a can of sour cream and onion Pringles. Please, send help. Ah, classic. Alright, 
Uh, let's drop some eggs. Viewer choices as well, by the way. Uh, next set are coming from Electric Video Gamer, Dragonfire 1054, McJohnson 88, and Pseudobite. Boss123, Gamers, Liminality Carb, and Awogenator. Thank you for the gift subs. I'm gonna butcher this. This looks like Sayrox Von Galahad. Thank you for the new sub. Hope you enjoy your time here. Did another Duke just pop up? Has it actually been? Oh my god, it actually did. Holy shit. Origami Gamer as well asking for Duke. Born to be wild. Oh. Oh. Pretty good timing on that then. All right. Uh, Maya for a 106. Dan Genesis for 103. Doombringer zero for 97. Fanfi Ken for 18. Airbender 56 for 28. Silk Mirage for 59. Shrum for 42. Yami Florence for 27. Cora 143 for 67. Miles Luigi for 65. Heroin Mari for 31. Flonberry for 28. Chaos Chiefs for 49. Psy Coop for six. Uh, Patrice, 789, 79 for 21. Commander, 13 for 73. Dr. Zock for 48. Gadzooks for 75. KMAC, 639 for 105. I just to serve you for 88. Darchi for 29. Emmy Wisp for 93. Jacob Walter, 912 for 45. Albino Shamrock for 67. Shock and Lock for 60. And Ryuzaki Law, 1 for 46. Alongside. Mayo giving the sub to Tommy Wiseau, Nick EPC for 49, and Video Game Guru 64 for 48. Thanks for subbing, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Let's see what the carton's got now. After a two-hour gap. Nothing! There's actually nothing new in the carton. So, let's see if any of those new eggs, or I guess old eggs, technically, I put in the shuffler, actually show up. You will give me an ooster! Give me a toaster. There you go. We're gonna go to break. When we come back, I'll grab some cocoms. I'll go get a drink because I ran out of water during Anno. And uh, when we come back, we'll play some Spyro. See you guys in a bit. More bubble tea. Eh, I haven't had bubble tea in a while. I usually have it now when I go to therapy. It's a treat.
play my favorite game. What case has my copy of X game in it? How you doing? All right. How about yourself? Just uh, melting. Yeah. Ellie, you are right now. Yeah. It is cooler than most areas because I live on the water. So there's that. It's like it's only seventy. It's not a hundred. You know. Nice and mild with that. Nice and melting. Just be flat and chill. I could do that. I could flat. Alright, be right back. I gotta go film again. Hope everyone is doing well and having a wonderful night. Play Brock, it's a good game. I've been playing that. Uh, points can be refunded, it depends on what it is.
uh, to the mods being awesome. Hey, thanks. All of us work really hard. And if you're not following any of us, it goes for anyone here. You should really uh, check out some of the stuff we do off these streams. We all do some really cool stuff. You do stuff. You stream. You're, you're even like, here's my cool stream thing. I always say on my stream, uh, you never know. It's hard to press the follow button for anyone. It doesn't even need to be on here. It could be on Twitter. You want to see someone's art or something. But let me tell you something important. You may find a new favorite content creator of some form. Could be anywhere. You never know where it's going to be. Like, hate Netflix. I do hate Netflix. Love and hugs in the chat. Sure. Like, in my case, uh, I, you know, I work on all the, uh, the VODs. That's always fun. I try and make sure that's caught up. It's a lot of work, but uh, I try and make sure it's up to date. Why do you hate Netflix? I mean, have you seen how they handle stuff? <clears throat> Alright, one sec, I gotta change a quick setting here, so I'm gonna have to unfortunately mute everyone here. Uh, let me see if I can fix this, I'll be right back. Check, check, check. All right, looks good on my side. Testing, testing. Are we all good? Yep, I can hear you. Nice. Oh, oh Mr. Proton John. I want my Nile Cole. I want my all. I 
I'm also like, I don't, I'm not using like any of this because it's been a while. I'm all like, right, there's like the feed we can do. I was, yeah. Like, up like before, so like that's why like I was like delayed before, but yeah. Nate, it's been a while. How you been? It's been a while, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Been going through like some like things over the past six months. Nothing like terrible, but I just needed some like you know time and distance for like you know personal stuff. So if you've seen if you've seen me around like different channels, you know. Hi again. If you haven't seen me around, good to see you again. If uh, you just go join the community and I haven't been around, uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, sorry guys. Juker, when we were disconnected, Juker had to hop off due to a tech issue, so... Uh... Maniacal hopped in in his place. So we got Maya Maniacal tonight. Yep, just kind of subbing in. Juke will be on next time once you get it figured out. I'm sure it's just a little hiccup. Mm. That, won't, that won't happen again. Uh, let me see, game's ready. Good. Oh, we're back a ways. Hang on now. How do I rejoin the sub discord? Well, when you got a sub, uh, just just link your Twitch account to your uh, to your Discord account. That should be it. Because I think your sub is just off at the moment, or it's just Twitch is being weird. But uh, as long as you've had a sub and it hasn't been a month, it should show up there. Unless you've had the weird issue everyone else has been having. There's been a weird disconnection issue at the moment with, with uh, Discord, and I don't know what's going on with it. The only thing I can recommend is, yeah, just make sure your Twitch is connected to your Discord, and just keep checking that it shows up in the Connections tab. It's been really messed up, and I don't know why, and it's been going on for multiple months at this point. Sagama Ito says, So in birthday tradition, I figured I'd donate some spare bits I already have as opposed to spending money while job hunting. Thank you, Sagami. Appreciate it. Also, happy birthday based on the message. And he's hoping for good luck with the job hunt. Malset says, Patient. Wow, that was, that was quite the gap on that Antissa. Bleach Bummer sends me a message. What you got here, Bleach? Yo, John, how's your week going so far? I joined a Digimon tabletop campaign two weeks ago, and despite a few hilarious moments, found one good one I think you'd laugh at. I added image links below for Digimon mentioned in case you want to show them for reference. Otherwise, ignore the links. Me and the rest of the players in the campaign were trying to save a Psychmon who was being injected by some kind of dark data by five uh, Gizumons. My partner Hawkmon was sadly out of range until the player with a Leomon decided to help by yeeting my partner to the enemies. He gets a critical fail, however, which the GM described as him having his throne interrupted because another player was angered it was a baseball throw over a football throw, causing by poor Hawkmon to land beak first into the ground next to the enemies and taking damage. Always imagine this will give you a laugh because even Mimo laughed when I told him what happened. Ah, it's just a lawn dart throw at that point. Becky Star says, Hey John, so hearing coming out stories made me want to share one. So there's this person I've known back from church as a kid, and they were a great person. One day a couple years ago I saw them working at Walmart and they were changed. I didn't fully understand it at the time, but I realized they had transitioned. It still feels strange to know someone trans, but I got used to it. I... Uh, it, so it, it's, if you are from a place where you've never met a trans person before or never interacted with one, and then your first experience is with someone that you knew fairly well, 
I can see it being jarring. I kinda had a similar experience. Uh, there was a friend of mine, I spent a lot, a lot of time with him, uh, growing up, and like in high school, uh, we hung out a lot, we used to watch anime together, there was a group, a uh, group that would come over to my house and stuff like that. And at some point, when I moved up here, uh, and I didn't realize it, they had transitioned uh, to a man, and I had no idea. But like, Facebook, of course, being Facebook is like, happy birthday to this person with a different first name, but the same last name, you know, I'm like, oh! Wait, what? Who is it? Oh! And Ooh. so, it's just a case Ooh. of like, I had no idea, but at the same time, like, it's all about how you re react after you have the information. So, mm. my reaction to seeing that was, was because it was a happy birthday prompt, was happy birthday and I used their new name. Because now that's who they are. They were that person and they just didn't realize it at the time, and I was late with the information. So that's just how it works. And that's just should be the how the same it is for you. You're late with the information, but they're still that person. They're just that person now. Uh, the person they are now, I mean. That, that one got away from me, hang on. They are that person now, even though they are still the person you knew before, personality-wise, it's just that they have found themselves truly, so. so yeah. I'm reminded of that one Star Trek clip where it's like... Oh, yeah! that No, that one from Deep Space Nine is great. Mm -hmm. The character's like, oh, uh, hello, person with name. And they're like, actually, this is my new name. It's like, hello, person's new name. Oh, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, that, hello, my yeah. longtime friend of blank. Like, oh, I go by this now. Hello, my longtime friend of this now. <laughs> like, that's actually a really good way to do it. Yeah, same Absolutely. person, new form. That's the that's a better way to put it. Yeah. It, it, it's their evolution. Their rebirth. There's just like one quote from a game that I've like played recently. I, if you've been seeing what I've been talking about, you may know what this game is, but... Yeah, I, I don't like. There's like just like one line that I've like seen that I like like, which is like true beauty is an expression of the heart, a thing without shame to which notions of gender don't apply. So you know. Ah, uh, yes, seven remake. Well, if I you didn't have to say it out loud, but I go. <laughs> well, just to make sure to get people more people to play it, because it's just like, hey, that's a cool part of seven remake. <laughs> is uh, you know, gender does not matter, or however the line went. <laughs> <laughs> I was being subtle about this. Mm. But yeah. Uh, where were we? That was Becky Star. Who make talk says, how about some milk? No, I'm good. <laughs> Thanks, though. I mean, that's the cow alert, but... Origami says, I've been doing work on that project we talked about. My portion is coming along nicely. As a heads up, please call me Gami in the future. If you ever remember, that's my preferred name online. Sorry, because oh, I keep saying Origami. Sorry. Sorry, Gami. I will keep that in mind. So do you not me want do you not want me to read out the origami gamer anymore or do you want me to just say gami? Because I can just do gami, that's fine. I think well, I have seen him around as gami in different servers, so. That sounds about right, yeah. Just say gami. Okay, can do. Apologies if I goof that up, but I'll do my best not to. Y2K890 says, got myself a new TV tonight as my old one that I had for 10 years was finally going out on me. So glad I no longer have to deal with the picture going blurry when it decides to. Damn. Sucks when tech goes like that, but at least you got a nice new one that seems to be working fine. And Noel Moogle says, here's some bits for my birthday month. Happy, I guess, early birthday, Noel. Here's hoping it'll be a good one too. Let's go to Art Block. Block starts here. There we go. Our block's pretty short. So, Mayo, there's a couple of new things you've missed. <laughs> Dare I even I mean... ask? Okay, so there's Duke Nukem. There's more cows. More cows, okay. yep. Yeah, yep. okay. There's Tom the Pokemon. Well, you know, good for him, you know. From Crash Ryan. So the anime girlfriend has been watching Tom Fox play Pokemon, so she drew this Tom as a Pokemon. Which Pokemon is this, though? And this looks like... Um, oh, I guess it's as a Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon-type YouTuber. There we go. Because I was like, this kind of like a Skitty? Not quite. Well, they're just they're just a Pokemon in general. Thank you, Crash Ryan and anime girlfriend. Next up, from I'm Not Batman. yippee ki Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> 
This seems familiar. <laughs> Duke's got his army of cows now, finally. All right. Just taking out the people that have clearly needed some comeuppance, the Ninja Turtles. They had it coming. Yeah, they probably did. Next up, from Fishy12233. You know I don't like talking about my backstory, bitch. Drew Lukagen calling out Sarah's backstory from the Smefni LP for tomorrow's animation. What has been your favorite Smefni animation of mine so far? The little fart cloud made me laugh when we were doing the, the fart pose. The weird loading pose that Reese always poked fun at. Thank you, Fishy. Next up, from Sylveon Moon. Huh, what? I finished this earlier and was debating whether to post it here or not. I decided yes. I'm sure this is safe enough for the stream. Oh, this is totally safe. What are you talking about? Don't worry, she has shorts underneath the hoodie. I mean, that's fine. I'm sure people have drawn less for her wearing that, but this is perfectly fine. Thank you, Sylveon. It's very cute. Nice nap, Rosa. And the last piece I got here from TBG Hunter. Hey, John, it's been quite a while since I posted an update oh, for the wow. mod, but finally I've made some progress and finished Tom's infantry unit sprite sheet. Sorry about the lack of updates lately, but I've been balancing other animation projects, streams, and LP work on top of this, but with a long weekend coming up for me, I should have I should have Tim's infantry sheets done and the first round of vehicles done by next Saturday. There you go. So, um, yeah, TBG's been working on a uh, Advance Wars mod where all the units, all the COs and everything are themed around uh, TRG stuff. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, so these are all the units for Tom's army here. So you can see, like, the the running sprites, the actual, like, shooting sprites and everything, at least for the military and the mechanic mechanical units. Thank you, TBG. Appreciate the update. And with that, that is our block. Unless there's something on refresh check. Nope. Let's go to Spyro. All right. Time for session, what, four now? Uh, yes. Has this become the new Kirby Rainbow Curse or something? What happened? <laughs> uh, pretty much. Rainbow Curse got stopped because my Wii U died. And oh, I yeah. And I haven't had a chance to fix it yet because I want to learn how to do it myself. Mm hmm. So, as a result, I guess Spyro's taking over that slot, basically. Well, congratulations. Sorry, Mentaro. It's my aware of the fans. I have seen the tweets about the fanzine, yes. That is pretty cool. Yeah. I hear people true for that. And they wrote for it, too. Mm. Drawing and writing. What will our fingers do next? Uh... Shadow, shadow puppets. <laughs> 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 I was going to say, like, help us eat. Do you eat with your do you eat with your hands like <laughs> just eating a bowl of spaghetti? <laughs> How do you eat with a fork and a knife like a civilized person? Well, what do you use? <laughs> How do you wield a fork and a knife, huh? <laughs> with my fingers and my hands, I suppose. Aha! <laughs> uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. All right, how far in are we at this point? Twenty-six percent, so a quarter through the game, not a third. Okay, you're about stone peacekeepers. All right. Kirby doesn't have dragon daddies. For those who desire them, that is. I'm personally indifferent. I mean, there is a dragon in Kirby, a couple. Yeah, dude. Kirby they may not be right fathers, there. though. Okay, they're TV Chops person. I mean, uh... <laughs> he may have been your father, boy, but he ain't your daddy. Here's my, uh, here's my Spyro. Just like you remember him. Look at this cool ass dude. I never knew you. I never knew you could do this in this game. It's a cheat yeah. code, apparently. Play a Spyro. Oh, I see. The Rainbow Sunglasses are Switch exclusive. Oh, cool. Like I recognize. I know like Spyro wears, you know, wears shades, but that's like not a boot up the game thing, you know. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, what the hell have we already done in this overworld? Do you have everything in the overworld, or...? Yeah, if it's Peacekeepers. Uh, Peacekeepers is done 100%. Dry Canyon's done 100%. Clifftown's done 100%. So, there's about six levels per each, like, hub world, including, like, the racing levels, or I guess fight levels. Mm -hmm. So you're probably looking at, like, the boss area and... One last like main area, which I think should be Ice Cavern. 
Is that this one? I don't yes. Know. It's been a while since I last played like OG Spyro. I actually just started playing Reignited on stream uh, the other day. Oh yeah, so you I'm... did, right. Yeah, so it's a little fresh right now. Good game. Yes, way to the next world. Yeah, like for some reason I never really like picked up like this version of Spyro. Even though I've had the option to. I just remember like playing like Spyro on the PS1 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I did play like a tiny bit of Spyro 2, but not all the way. I'm guessing Dr. Still... Shemp is the boss. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. I still associate Spyro 2 with the one time when I was streaming Spyro 2 and I accidentally pinged everyone in your server. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> There's Ice Cavern. What do you mean I can't add everyone on John's server for my own stream? <laughs> I do appreciate Discord being like, you whoa there, buddy! You mean to do this? Oh yeah, I know. That's, that's a nice new feature now. Yeah. It's only there, I think, if it's like if it's like above 50 people you'd be pinging. Mm-hmm. Let's it's right ice cavern. Oops. All right. It's okay. He brought fire. It killed me. So ice cavern. I would say this is like one of the first like really big worlds of Spyro One. Go is on. that you a good thing? Because I remember no, some I... of these worlds being a little too big at times. I don't mind it personally. They're usually all like manageable. There's like some toughies here and there, but they're like near the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, Ulrich, the one's very catcher from Kolioko. Something, something, Stuart Copeland made the soundtrack. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> something, something, the Amanda show. <laughs> That's not till the next world. Well, I mean, are we gonna get there? Uh, no. totally depends. You, can, you can just say no. It's okay. I feel like John may stop at either like the boss stage or the flight stage, depending on how long the stage takes. You know what, Chat? Raise your hand if you know what the Amanda Show is. I'm curious about something. Oh no, my gonna be feel old. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The, the Amanda show is not one of those shows under scrutiny right now, is it? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> is it? Did you work I, on that show? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Yo, nice. Oh, there goes the nice. I mean, I feel like the only like issue might just be like, I mean, you know, Amanda Bynes has had some rough times afterwards, but... Amanda Bynes had a rough transition to 3D. <laughs> Clearly. Make their feet very slippery. Hmm. Same guy? Okay. Oh, that's, I see. That's a bummer. Uh, I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah, that's that's back in public attention again now. Mm-hmm. Because of uh, someone's uh, memoirs was like, hey, here's all the shit this person made me do. That was Jeanette McCurdy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Jeanette Sir, McCurdy, who voiced... She was ruining things we love. Thank she you. She was the actress who played Sam in iCarly. Yeah, I remember hearing about that memoir. Yeah. Yep basically kind of forced into acting and just hated it and hated like a lot of the stuff about it. Yeah, I've heard it's a legit really good uh, memoir. I'll be the key, all right. Someone said run into the pole. There we go. How many things do I even need to find? Four hundred. Oh, Four hundred. Mm-hmm. Ugh. The first I mean, world was 400 gems. What would it be for numbers again? Like 300, 200 or so? Some of the first worlds were like 100, 200. Hmm. Yeah, for the most part, uh, was it, yeah, uh, 400, 400, 200. Yeah, it's not the first okay, okay. 400, all these worlds here. 100, hmm. 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1. Plenty flights to, 
different beast right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wonder how the flying stage is going to be in this world. I mean, it's only it's... the second one. It shouldn't be too bad, right? It's I not too not. bad. How many worlds are there? Uh, there should be five worlds, last I recall. Yeah, like, there's the next one, and then the next one, and then that one? Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, I, then... Oh, actually, no, no, there should be four more, because, like, there's one after this. I mean, it's, like, technically, I think. Technically, yes. Technically four. It's speaking vague terms that John doesn't notice what we're talking about. Yeah. I mean, I can just ignore you, too, if you'd much rather. <laughs> John, no, I need this. Don't ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> He's short on cash. He needs this opportunity. Cash? Yo, Andor, you got that Disney Plus sponsorship. Thank you for releasing me. Thank, thank you. Thank Very. you for saying thank you for releasing me. I appreciate thank you for it. releasing me. I was expecting a bit more than just the thank you, but I mean, maybe, maybe that's just because every other guy's been like, here's some advice about what to do in the game, Spyro. Don't worry, you'll get used to that line. <laughs> I think it's actually better in this version than the original, right? I think it is actually, yeah. I think they actually give you more tips in this one. So less like dudes going to for me. Nice me. As they sound. Mm hmm. They also have way more designs. I mean, at least they say thank you. You know. They do. At least they're polite. Could just be like, sup, thanks. Or like, leave. Or like, why'd you wake me up? Screw you. I was having a peaceful nap, and then you've disturbed it. Ooh, hello. Yeah, this is the room that I rem remember the most uh, in Ice Cavern, and nothing else, actually. Why this room in particular? I don't know. Cause that guy's got snowshoes? Oh, they're just skis. They're not even snowshoes. Oh, I mean, the room I remember is when you were just in, like, a second ago. That, that's my most, like, memorable room of uh, Ice oh, Garden. Oh, God. Yeah, Yo, I got you with his big, meaty claws. What'd you say? Frozen claws. So, the Tim Allen movie? Where he Fro kills Santa and becomes Santa? Frozen no, that's. Claws. I was gonna say, go. That's the third Santa Claus <laughs> movie, the one where he fights Martin Short as Jack Frost or whatever the fuck. Something like that, yeah. Also, well done. Oh, I'm God. actually hitting the. Oh god! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you have to learn. I am jinxable. <laughs> <sighs> the run is ruined. How could you? That's gonna be coming out of your paycheck. How far back <laughs> is this for me? Uh, right, is... right, the the dragons. Right, that's yeah, the wait, dragons are checkpoints. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, John just pays me in cookie crisps usually, so it's like, it's not much, man. Oh, he doesn't pay you in money. Oh, okay. Cookie crisps are like money if you put them together in the shape of money. That is true. I, I, I mold them together. Can you exchange them for other goods and services? Yeah, uh, do I can exchange them for right one larger cookie crisp. Yeah. Which one? Uh, the cookie, the cookie crisp, crisp store? Uh, store. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, See, my mind what's up. Are they like purely in Texas? Because I haven't seen one around here. Uh, they're in like both the southern part of Texas and the southern part of Canada. It's a uh, dual southern <laughs> states. Dual <laughs> southern. <laughs> I mean, I did, we we did only study. work near borders, thank you very much, but only the southern part <laughs> of the border. No I mean, northern they, parts. They do say like Alberta is like the can the Texas of Canada. I was about, just about to say the Canada of Texas, but you know. The Canada of Texas is called, uh, I guess, Washington, maybe? I, I don't know. What is the Canada of Texas? Hmm, I never thought about that. The Canada of Texas. Wouldn't that be Austin? Maybe. Or Oklahoma, if you're going by geography. But that's not... Oh, actually, I guess it would be above us, huh? But then... Oh, yeah. You sometimes forget that Oklahoma's north of us, right? <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of things I forget about, like New York, apparently. There is a town in Texas called Canadian. Ah, oh. there we go. So I guess that answers that. All right, that's the second location at the Cookie Crisp for store. Me, Spyro. <laughs> and now, where was I? I'm old. That's my thing. I'm an old dragon man. Don't mind me. 
<laughs> gotta go do old money. dragon things like breathe fire very lightly. Also, someone asked earlier why Spyro runs on all fours. It's because he's not grown up yet. He's still a kid. Yeah. So, okay, so imagine the game with adult Spyro. Like, co college student Spyro. I he's mean, there people college. have done that. There's, there's like, adult Spyro fan art. Okay, but imagine, like, an official game of adult Spyro, okay? <laughs> um, it'd be, like... Spyro goes to college. The game. Spyro pays tuition. The game. Spyro tries to join a frat. The game. Spyro gets involved with the with the, the gangs and the drugs. The game. Oh, that's quite unfortunate. Yeah, sorry, Spyro. Yeah, we're sorry, Spyro. It's just that picture of like a. Uh... Ralsei uh, smoking the blunts, but it's just now Spyro smoking the blunt. Oh my god. Somehow that comes up twice tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to be fair, like, of all people or characters, I guess Spyro would make sense. You can self light it, you know? You could. I'm my own lighter. <laughs> light him up, Spyro. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Spyro with a bong. He just like lights it himself. I so like I think the point is like I would hope that by that point Adult Spyro would be, would be like bipedal because like it'd be hard for him to like carry the bong around on all fours, you know? Nah, you, you just get like a like a necklace for it. A bong necklace. How, yeah. how tiny is this bong, bongless. John? Bongless. Okay. Bongless. It's just a pipe at that point, really. Longless sounds like a Lord of the Rings character, dude. Or you get like you get a strap and put it on your back, so you just got a back bong. Oh <laughs> no, shockwave! No. So was a back bong kind of like uh, the beer hats? <laughs> yeah, like it's a beer hat string. equivalent for bongs. <laughs> so I was, I guess, to say earlier, like my thought. Nice job on the polls, by the way. As there are a lot of people who actually just don't realize you can hit the poles. Well, I wasn't sure, but with there being so many of them around, I figured mm -hmm. something was up. And then obviously someone in the chat was like, you can just ram into those. I'm like, okay. Oh, they told you, dang. Yeah, they told me. They didn't want me to figure it out on my own. But this is Cookie. I don't usually enforce that kind of rule. It ain't game clearing. Hmm. What if it was? I mean, to be fair, you've only got two moves, so it had to be one of the two, and I didn't try one of them, so <laughs> let's be real here. Would have eventually figured it out on my own anyways. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. I'm ready for what? I'm not going to tell you. That is very important for me to know. It is crucial to save the, the kingdom. You'll figure it out. Spyro doesn't figure it out. <laughs> I like to imagine Spyro just hanging out with the Always Sunny cast. Just like Spyro and Danny DeVito hanging out. Yeah, smoking a bong. <laughs> You're the I mean, only human I'll let ride me, Danny DeVito. <laughs> Kid, you gotta work on that phrase, and I'm telling you, you gotta stop it. <laughs> I haven't watched the show too much, but I know like there's a, like the whole like, can I give you an egg in this, these trying times? And you know, eggs are collectible in this game, so you know. Oh, yes, Danny DeVito as the Spyro thief. And Spyro makes a friend with him, <laughs> and he's like, I can offer you this egg in this trying time. So like one of those those like dragon egg thieves, you mean, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Key, but I don't think I can get there. From so those like Danny DeVito like breaks from the faction of egg you know egg thieves to be friends with, with Spyro, you know, mutiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, egg mutiny. Is it what is it truly an egg mutiny? Is that like when the chickens just stop like laying them? Ooh, that's a power move. I guess that would would also be just be chicken run. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think about that, but you're right. 
I have not watched that movie in so many years, man. I've only seen that once, and I think we rented it way back then, but it was a fun movie. Mm hmm. Where the fuck is that thing? Okay, here we go. Wait, Intimidator. Chicken Run is getting a sequel? Why? I thought I already had one. I mean, I, I guess it just it wouldn't surprise me if it is or already has. Slip my radar if it. it probably is has like a. Has. Yeah, like a straight to video one. Probably. I can see that. Do you think it's still stop mo or claymation? At this point, it's probably fake claymation CG. Y yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. <coughs> you alright? You okay yeah, there? Just choking a bit. Uh, of course. It's alright, it happens all the time. Of course, yes. It's just the, the pro gamer move right there is choking. Yeah. Who needs to wow. breathe anymore? <laughs> all my lungs, uh, all my lungs intake is just artificial. In this conversation where we, we were talking like, about like Spyro smoking weed, you know. <laughs> exactly. You don't need to smoke and you don't need to breathe anymore if you're just filling it up with like smoke. Spyro hotboxes the dragon realms. <laughs> <laughs> like Spyro hotbox himself at this rate. Here we endorse not breathing. You heard it from us, folks. We sure as hell endorse weed. <laughs> Chicken Run 2 comes out next year, apparently. Oh. Dawn of the Nugget on Netflix. That makes sense. Dawn oh, of, of the Netflix. Nugget? Well, the Netflix part. The title is all like... Let me think about that for a sec here. Let's see, that's quite the name. I know where the, the missing five is. How the fuck do I get there, though? Okay, apparently it is not five. I'm missing none. Nope, you got them all. Nice, Wait, you got so them what all. the fuck was that treasure chest I saw I couldn't reach? You got the treasure already. Wasn't that the one with the key just now? No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, it no. was. Was it that one? Yeah, it was that one. Hang on. We'll get back over there. I saw an, ext an extra, extra life one, though. Extra life one? Yeah, hang on. Let me get over there. Like the weird clamshell was one that was there. Ah, that is not a small number. That is a big number. <laughs> Thank I you, strong bad. This. When did we add this one? <laughs> uh, that one was scary. made a long time ago, but it got added like half a year ago when my ADHD actually let me remember to put shit in. Yeah, there's like two one-ups right there's three one-ups right there. How the fuck do I get to that? No, put the gun down to cheat. Meh. The cheat no! Ariel in kills <laughs> strong bad with kindness and bullets saying, going to keep up with the yearly tradition of renting luck from you on my birthday. I might be three days late, but uh, better late than never. Don't worry, I'm always late for things, so it works out. Happy belated birthday, Ariel in. Happy belated and don't worry, Happy everything belated. is fine, nothing is ruined. Hope it was a good one. How the fuck do I get to these three one-ups? I'll admit, I don't really remember. I never really go for those. Probably like a big light from above, it, but I don't know where you would ride from. the same spot? You might have to like turn a corner in a weird way, like how you did in the uh, one of the previous levels. I kind of mm. want to know before we move on. Fair. It's like, it, it's like, it is like one of the fun things about like Spyro, where there's oh, some the interesting level designs, where they have to yeah, feed him like to way over big there. Places. Yeah, but I think mm. I see how to get to it. Where is it? Because the only glide point I remember is like over there, over there. You would need somewhere high enough. The highest places I can think of is at the beginning of the stage. Yeah, that's what or it looks like. It would have to be there because I don't think there's enough distance from where you got the treasure. It must be beginning of the stage. Yeah, someone else is saying start a level. Make the most sense, yeah. Is that the really highest point, right? I think so, yeah. I never really bothered doing it myself, but like it makes the most sense for it. There's always there are always lives I just didn't bother with because I felt like the game hands lives to you like a Halloween candy, so I just didn't yeah. really bother. But oh, I see a secret. I want to get a secret. So mm -hmm. no, I feel that. So it's probably from where I had to actually get those gems I missed. If I had to guess, that seems like the highest point. Yeah, so it's probably from here, because this even looks like it's as a marker. 
but this holy shit, yeah. where is that spot from here? I can't even see it. Oh, yes, I can. That's gotcha in the corner of it. Huh. Right there. There oh, you go. There we go. Nice. Hey, nicely done. Neat Pro gamer. Not even for a skill points, wow. Only and one percent. And then I got greedy. <laughs> I got greedy. <laughs> Only one hundred percent of gamers thought it was this. a lot closer than it was, but this ironically may have worked out faster. Speed strats, it's fine. Speed strats, baby. Even though you would have been faster if you didn't die. I thought Speed it would have strat. loaded faster. My bad. One hundred percent. Let's go to AGTQ now. Oh fuck. Yeah. Oh god. So, I will say real quick, when you're done with a level like this, you are actually allowed to just simply go into the pause menu and just hit exit level if you, if you so oh, choose. Of I course. thought I had to, like, do that at least once, though. No, the only time you have to really do that is in the first world, in my experience, because the first world has this, like, gate that only opens if you actually hit a return home gate. If you just exit out of the levels, it doesn't count for some weird reason. Only once for the first boss, apparently? Yes, for uh, the t Toasty, for Toasty. I forgot his name was Toasty. He does not look like a Toasty at all. It's because he's like a sheep on like little like walking sticks. Oh, he was a sheep, right. Yep. I thought he was, like a, a, thought he was Sign... like a scarecrow or something. I'm still missing he's a place around here wizard. then, huh? Yeah, you're missing, I would assume, the flight level and the boss level. Yeah, well, there's Champ right there, so that's the boss level. For some reason, I thought I'd already done the flight level around here. Check your guidebook for me, please. No, based on it, because I found dragon statues in all of them, so it's impossible. I've already killed you, it looks like. There's no egg on his hands, so... Oh, damn it. Not interested oh. anymore. All right, spiral liquids. Yeah, he hates he it. He does not. Granted, this was like poison. Based on the word flight being there. Night flight. Also, yeah, when you kill an enemy that you have already gotten the gem from, they also give you, like, a little, a little pearl. And, like, every 20 yeah. pearls, you get a one up. Mm hmm. 20 or so. Oh, I don't know why I wanted to do a flight stage, but here we are. Or in your first spiral level was a flight stage. Good times. Yeah. All right. Three hundred gems. Yep. Oh, and the objective is just the rings. Or at least that's just the starting one, I assume. That's right, so just the starting one. So for those who don't know how flight levels work, you have you get eighty gems, give or take, uh, for getting every row of each thing. Oh. What you do? I you hit charge. Oh, yep. right. Which I thought would make me go faster. Instead, it made me stop flying. Uh, HS, eight worked. arches, eight rings, eight lights. Mm-hmm. And there is also a all-at-once bonus as well for the true completion. I suppose you can, let's say, like, get any set of collectibles you want, but it's more ideal to, like, get them all in one go. Yes, because that's how you, like, complete the level. Yeah. <laughs> The idea behind these levels is you want to go in like any order you so choose. Later games actually just straight up give you an order, which is a little weird. I mean, I can see there being like an optimized like route for. Oh, you know, come these. Okay, oh, we're fine, uh, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. You good? You good? You good? You good? You good? You good? You good. Yo, pull up, nice. No, pulled out nice. There's not really a die button per se. You can recover. If anything, I actually have found going for the charge to be quite useful in some scenarios. Oh, fuck off. Ah, uh, yes. Spyro's weird, sort of like. When Spyro falls, it's a little hard for him to kind of pull back up, I've noticed. Yeah, it definitely took a bit before he actually started going back up. Flight levels definitely have a bit of a physics change in the Reignited trilogy, because they, they feel almost more like weighted, I might say, mm. compared to the original game, where it feels a little bit more like loose. Some would argue the flight stages are actually harder in Reignited because of that. Great. But well, like, I remember in Spyro 1, some of the flight levels were pretty memorable, so hooray. Mm -hmm. Come what? on! 
I do love when Spyro hits the water, though. He hits it with his hand. <laughs> well, because he's pissed. He's like, God damn it. I guess I can't get up and keep flying. Aw, oh, jeez. I don't think it would, but I'm thinking about your big head right now. I'm thinking that shouldn't affect your hitbox or anything, right? I don't no, remember. No, it shouldn't. Nice, nice. Okay, this camera angle sucks. Okay, neat. Where's the last thing I need? I think it's a, the lighthouses, right? It is the lighthouses. Oh, shit. Well, I realized that too late. It's fine, it's fine. Now I was out of time anyways. Fair. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Keep that in mind, well, you then. A, you have a set order now, for sure. Yeah. The nice thing about some flight stages is that they do kind of go in sort of an order for you. But, as you see there, you can deviate from the order, too. You can also make some magic if you want. Mm-hmm. Oh, these are not impossible, no. These are completely doable. They're just tricky. They just require, like, a few iterations at a time. Mm hmm <laughs> But, you know, that camera angle, not the most helpful right now. Hmm. Is there any way to I move it out at all? Not really, but I can offer one piece of advice, actually. What's that? If you press X while Spyro's flying, he actually will go... What's that, X? X on a... PlayStation controller. Sorry. Thanks, oh. Maniacal. <laughs> Might have wanted to specify that. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware of this. All three controllers have X buttons in different spots. You know what, Maniacal? I'll say this. Maybe it's not their fault. Maybe it's the system's fault. The system of gaming industries, you know, with their dumb face buttons on the different positions. <laughs> he uh, pressed the bottom button. <laughs> he flap his wings. There we go. Now you said the correct B word. What does that do? Make Spyro flap his wings. It can kind of like help him rise a little bit easier in some cases. Yeah. That's what I found personally. Uh, yeah, that seems a bit more helpful. <laughs> Alright, you know what, Arcade Park? That's a fair point. I take it back. Minaiko, you should have known. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> I'll admit as well, I was also just playing this on like. PlayStation recently, so that's, once again, I, I, I kind of always do a spiral with PlayStation, so, you know, <laughs> it's kind of on me as well. Ooh, ooh, nice. No! So close. I was like, we're cruising to victory here, but... Looking at the comments in the chat, I guess like, I guess these, these levels like were designed for like these specific configurations with like little wiggle room, I guess. Mm-hmm. 
It's doable in the end, but the margin of error is not as generous as it should. No, nope. wait. Got and it. And you're good. Nice. nice. Nicely done. Yeah, so I think what happened last time was a, f a few bumps really messed you up in the end, which mm -hmm. sucks. Either way, you're good. There we go. Did it all. Win, Rar. Would you like to try again? No, nope, I'm good. <laughs> Treasure found. I forget. Are the bosses actual stages too? Like, do I have to they find are, gems yeah. and everything? They are, oh. they are stages, but they're kind of on the shorter side. I'm saying because we're basically close to time, but how much time do you have left? If we're going for half an hour exclusively, 40 seconds. Oh, uh, the, the next level could probably take you like 10 minutes, maybe, mm -hmm. give or take. Chat, what do you want to do? So, Shemp is not too bad, but it's a little bit like on the platforming aspect. Interesting. Yeah, most people want cookie. Yeah, I could just save Shemp for next time. It's not too bad a fight, honestly. Okay. Most people saying cookie. Alright. That's saved automatically, right? Uh, should have, yes. yeah. 32%. Okay, now we're nice. third done the game. Nice. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the cookie then. No 1% rule, so it's fresh choices. Alright. Oh, Kelcoms, we each get to choose a game as well. Ooh. Mayo okay. sounds like you need a minute, Maniacal. What about you? <laughs> Alright, so there's one question that I've been seeing around Twitter recently, and I have to ask Can we go even higher? So I'm going to say the One Piece is real by picking One Piece Unlimited Adventure for the Wii, which is basically like a One Piece adventure game. One Piece Unlimited Adventure for Wii. Mayo, you got anything in mind? So, I think we all have like 51 Clubhouse games, so why not just do that? Play some games. Tabletop-ish or so. Ooh. Clubhouse Ooh. games, 51 worldwide classics for Switch. All right, on top of those two choices, we've got four viewer choices to throw into the pile. Once I find that window, there we go. Electric Video Gamer says, this suggestion was made before the game released, but I guarantee it'll be out by the time you get to this. This is true. Mario Strikers Battle League on Switch. Dragonfire1054 says, Nintendo Switch Sports on Switch. Oh, that game. Mick Johnson says, Custom Robo for the GameCube. And Pseudobite says, if it's out by the time this makes it to Cookie, Jackbox Party Pack 9. If not, pick Jackbox Party Pack 8 and Job Job in particular. Unfortunately, Ooh. the trailer for Party Pack 9 happened this week, but the game itself is not out yet. So it is uh, Jackbox Party Pack 8 then. On Steam. All right, Clubhouse Games, 51 Worldwide Classics, One Piece Unlimited Adventure, Mario Strikers Battle League, Nintendo Switch Sports, Custom Robo for the GameCube, the Jackbox Party Pack 8, and the following three games. Game number one is Judge Dread, Dread versus Death on Steam. Game number two, Taito Legends, a bunch of classic Taito arcade games such as Bubble Bobble for the original Xbox. And last but not least for this round of cookie, The Legend of Korra, A New Era Begins for the 3DS. Oh boy. All right, those are our games. Let's see what happens. 
I can kind of... I have no idea how to... Well, go. Let's see. I, how I've got a hunch. Works. I'll see what happens that, here. Look, I like to create suspense, okay? <clears throat> All right. I don't know if there's going to be another round of cookie tonight. If there is, it'll have games from DB Koopa, a Wojonator, Super Icy, and uh, Absol Aria. Currently in the lead. Like I said, suspense. Wow, oh, yeah. what the plot was. I never wow. saw this coming. Wow. Wow. The biggest shock in the world. <laughs> Jackbox Party Pack 8 leads. 41 votes, 23% of the vote. Clubhouse Games, 35 votes, 19%. Basically the top two I expected. Custom Robo. 26 votes, 11%. Mario Strikers Battle League, 21 votes, 9%. One Piece Unlimited Adventure, 19 votes, 8%. Judge Dread, Dread vs. Death, 15 votes, 6%. Nintendo Switch Sports, 13 votes, 5%. The Legend of Korra, A New Era Begins, 12 votes, 4%. And Taito Legends, 10 votes, 3%. 256 votes clocked so far. Clubhouse Games leads 75 to 65. One minute. I'd like to point out, whenever you show the games on stream there, the, the huge like surge of votes that came in for Clubhouse. <laughs> like, people were waiting. I'm just gonna be okay with like either of these two, since I know like job job is fun, but I don't want to speak. I mean my only cool. my only complaint is we literally did Jackbox last week. <laughs> yeah. The exact same thing. We didn't do job job. I think we almost did, but people actually wanted to see We, we else ran instead. out of time basically for that, so this would be getting in the job job we said we were gonna do if we did mm, it. I see. Mm -hmm. That explains what people are talking about in the chat. Guys, we can go even higher. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid not today. <laughs> like, my sigh was not about the game itself, it's just more about, like, the origins of your story. I know what you're talking about, and that's where we're gonna end it here. Uh, Twitter's a magical place. Is it now? It, that's one word for it. Clubhouse yeah. Games wins it. Woo! My six percents. Clubhouse Games is up next. Let's drop some eggs. Agent G128 for 60. Crazy DK for 52. Michael for the win for 91. Luigi Fan 219 for 19. Epilogic for 65. Icaro, or Icaro rather, for 48. Uh. Are you my brother, Rex Racer? <laughs> Calerelia, I think I butchered that one. C A L E R E L I Y A. Calerelia, I think is how you say that. For new, welcome to the stream. Seesaw 24 for 62. Looking at Legend for 46. Trojan Horse 711 for 89. Oh, and that is it. Sorry, that one last one was a was a bit one. Thanks for seven, folks. Alongside Little Hylian for 13. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of. No one again. All right, let's see what the shuffler's got. How about I give you a little egg? Got an old one. All right, we're gonna go to break. When we come back, Clubhouse Games. See you guys in a bit. Well, you got any questions for us? Ask us questions, please. We beg of you. <laughs> we need them <laughs> to live. I need these questions, man. Don't let me be like that box of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> is One Piece real? The One Piece is real. Why? When? Have I cooked anything recently that I enjoyed? Ooh. I did some like fried rice recently. That turned out like... But it's mostly because I need, needed like a quick meal. But that turned out like nice. I haven't been baking as often as I was during the quarantine period, but I've just been like busier. <clears throat> Every now and then, like breakfast burritos, those are fun to like make, even though it's like, oh, I just woke up. I, I'm not deep. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? <laughs> Do people always confuse you with deep or something? 
I've been seeing people confusing me what recently with like with D with like fucking Laughing Boy. I've been seeing recently too with Dalton still. All right, what is your favorite programming language, maniacal? I mean, D. Uh, d uh Spanish. Like Drop the joke <laughs> yeah. immediately by saying the right name. <laughs> Quiet, John. Yeah, what, what were you doing, Josh? I like how you almost couldn't say it too. You almost said the right one too. <laughs> Josh. 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 What if I, I do this again? On recent... You're asking me? No, I, I got it. I should be asking that. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I ask myself every time I make the call command how the fuck I do this. It's like John over here with the stream elements, but... So fancy. What have I been snacking on recently? Mostly like, chips and salsa, sometimes. Ooh. There's also like this like Asian snack that I got, which is like the, uh... Like cookie with like chalk, like... Tiny cookies with like chocolate, chocolate in them. See, I think I saw someone asking favorite ice cream. Also, yeah, it's Hello Panda. I think it's Hello Panda. Yeah. I also like, I forgot the name of the snack, but I also like, it's some sort of like Japanese company I saw on the box. Of course. Did it. Yeah, oh, I did it right this time. <laughs> Street Venomous is hard, man. I hate stream elements, everything is so different. <laughs> So, planning any trips coming up? Well, first I'll let Deef answer the question first. Ah, uh, yes, I'm Deef. Uh, <laughs> I think where I want to go next is probably... What is this? Go. Oh, you like fucking like... What is this voice? <laughs> it's Deef's voice. You almost sound like the, like, Josh was, like, the whole, like, narrative from, like, Spongebob, you know? Ah, <laughs> good, like, good. Ah, Deep Dragon, that is I. I'm here to show you how to program today. Ah, the wonders of the internet. <laughs> All the programming for everyone everywhere. On today's episode, I teach you how to make code. <laughs> <laughs> you must make love to the computer to make proper code. It's like it's oh. slowly <laughs> sliding there. I'm it's just like you going slice to... like your fingers on the keyboard. <laughs> I'm just going to respond Essentially move your fingers across the keyboard. Ah, get them right in there. <laughs> okay, maybe okay. <laughs> Alright, let's 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 start getting away from this. Alright, so MacFest, that's the answer. Pro thinking about MacFest. <laughs> Makes you so maniacal. Uh, me deciding that I picked a stupid ass name because I thought it sounded cool when I was like 11 years old. Thanks, Fusion Fall. Mega Nerd says, um, Hey, John, been a week. Basically, the culmination of a month of ongoing drama that saw me realize a VTuber I was friends with wasn't really the person I thought they were, and that's all I'll say. But I'm focusing on the positives I walked away with. Well, sorry it didn't work out, but at least you're focusing on the positives, Mega Nerd. Good stuff there, at least, with that. Legend of Daniel says, Hey, John and chat, I just finished Xenoblade 3 last night. What adventure it was playing? Uh, you mentioned that the cast of Xenoblade 1 reminds you of Final Fantasy X, so I figured I would ask, what type of RPG do you like for whatever reason? What? Um, JRPG? I guess that's what you're asking? <laughs> I can see it being like, Maybe like action RPG or like tactical RPG or oh, like, yes. sure. Uh, turn based turn based JRPG. Or like tabletop 10, RPG. Six, seven, etc. Mm. Turn based is always a good one. Yeah. Action RPGs are fun though too. They're fun, but sometimes like too much shit happens and I'm like, I can't process all this. 
All right, Legend of Daniel says, Proton John versus Danny DeVito, Easter Egg Collection Smackdown. I'd be down if he was. Sexy Gardevoir says, Hey, John, I got a question. I just, I want to send you game keys of all four track Mania 2 environments. How should I send them? Uh, all Mania Planet keys. I guess in a DM? They're like, yeah, DM, whisper on Twitch, whatever works. Let you sit there and think and also be ADHD. I mean, no, I was just confused by what he meant. I, the question wasn't clear to me. That's why. All right, art block time. Art block starts with this extremely lovely picture done by Mika of Rosa and mm. Anne's uh, workout outfit there. I like the outfit that you chose for Anne, so I wanted to draw Rosa wearing it. Yoga pants, yoga pants, yoga pants, and, and loose jacket. Nice stuff, nice stuff. I love it. Thank you, Mika. And the last one I've got here is from Alex Nerd. Want to do something dragon themed for Spyro? I looked on the wiki and while there appears to be a dragon John, I didn't see a dragon Rosa John. So here she is. Yeah, I guess there really wasn't. So, because there was Hydra basically. Very nice, thank you Alex Nerd. I like the design nice. and I definitely like the gold boots. False Robots Dubious Trading and Salvage Company is now open. Still a mini raid, nice. Well, thank you for the mini raid. I'll run counter for in a second they're false, because god damn it, I knew someone was going to do it. Yes. Hell yeah! <laughs> Who did it? Who did it? Enbu Steel. Enbu Steel did it. <laughs> Spyro so smoking happy blunt. You. He's, he's having a great time. I got in before the message, but I feel like this also doesn't need a message. It speaks for itself, I feel. All right, oh, there we go. Something about Spyro with a blunt shitpost time. I could seriously play the OG trilogy in my sleep. Thank you, Enbu. All right, let's run countermeasures for, uh... Where to go, where to go, where to go, false robot. Bond murdering the one-man raid, Robert Cop turned himself into the authorities. He's currently serving a life sentence inside John's computer. Thank you for the raid. You're just in time for Clubhouse Games. <laughs> I rode the dragon. <laughs> I forgot about the credits. Clubhouse Games, 51 Worldwide Classics. What are we doing, guys, in this? Are we doing a four-player uh, match? I assume we're doing an online game. Probably like uh, online four-player, maybe. I, I, I would assume like, so, yeah. I guess Ludo would take too long, huh? Especially with our <laughs> Ludo, Ludo would take the entire half hour block, basically. And I won Ludo I last time. I think that's what we played last time was Ludo. It's like, we've had some Ludo games as well, and Dave, 30 minutes would be fast for us. I'll say that. Mm-hmm. All right, who's hosting or am I hosting? Uh... uh I can host my own, or...? Created a lobby just now. All right. There you are. There he is. Let me in. Get out. Games really gotta think about this one. There we go. Yeah. All right, who's gonna be player four? I Should we wait? Oh, actually. Do we have anyone who's going in there? Is this gonna be three of us? I know uh, I saw Gex volunteering, but I don't know if you, either of you have Gex. Or I guess it would just be Maya would need Gex, right? Can he join off of us? Do I have Gex on the Switch? I don't know, Gex is offering. I say, Maya, can you, are you able to like add a Gex while like going to the home menu from the screen? Let me check if I have Gex on Switch. No, I have Gex on Switch. Yes, yeah, yeah, Gex. Go on and join. In it. I was like, am I not friends with Gex? What have I done?
Yeah, like, over the past few months, I've been in, like, a tabletop mood as of late. I guess, like, Clubhouse Games is, like, one fraction of tabletop. Whereas, mm -hmm. like, I've been, like, playing a lot of, like, board games as of, as of late. Just because, like, I, there's, like, so many board games I just never grew up with or knew about. But been a nice, like, socializing thing, too. You know, off stream or offline. So... So I know what we played recently was really fun. We're like, uh, we had to like go to sleep and like switch people's cards around. Yeah, that was a one night ultimate werewolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was cool. They played code names and code names was legit, super cool. That was really code fun. names is interesting. I like playing that, and that's got a decent online version too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the website is like great, easy to use too. I forget if you need an account for that though. Yeah, you don't. You can just like just like make a room, and then if you want your own custom words, you like upload a file but the base words are also like fun to like work with too mm -hmm. nice betrayal the house of the oh yeah i've played that once yeah i think we won maybe or maybe everyone lost i think There he is. There he is, Gex. This is a present from me Here we to go. you. Thank you for the gift sub bomb, Look crazy dude. What? Well, friends, I All look right. forward to meeting you people again. So many options. I know. Mm -hmm. All 51 of them, am I right? I can't yeah. believe there's so few four-player options, like, legitimately. It's a yeah. crime. It's such a shame. They could at least, like, make some of these, like, expandable or something, but... I don't know. What did they move for, like, cards or last card? Or, I mean, Uno? There's all those Texas, Hold Texas Hold'em as well. Do we, you want to, like, try to, like, do Texas Hold'em first? <laughs> Could, do you want to? I don't know. What do you want the stream to feature, John? I'm good with whatever. Let's try, like, Texas Hold'em for a bit and just, like, fucking, like, lose everything. Yeah, let's ease into it. I do wish there was a four-player chest. That's what Chinese Checkers is. Essentially. What's on the table. Make sure that viewer is paused over doing this. But no one knows everything. Probably just for most of the games with this, really. Trying to read the other players is what makes it such We don't need to like watch this, right? Nah. Nah. Cool. <laughs> I also like oh god, I have like control over this. Oh god. Card is five rounds. Do we have do I have any like I don't think I have any cards. Yeah, I, think I, have I think you have to play against the AI to unlock the card designs. Alright, how many rounds oh. do we want? Probably like Chinese checkers is three players? Wait, what? Chinese Checkers is supposed it to be is. six players. Is it only three players in this game? Because Chinese Checkers is supposed to be six players. It's only, it is three players in this game, yeah. Why? That's fucking weird. And like, Manago, like, we've done, like, three player Chinese Checkers before. Yeah. We have, yeah. All right. Ten rounds is good, I think, apparently, right? Remind well, me. It's I thought like we could just do five to get more games. Five or ten is fine, either way. Was, let's do five. Gex is also asking about hopping on call. Yeah, you can hop in. If you want to shit talk yeah. us. Yeah, come come shit talk, Gex. Alright, let me get a prediction run in here. Hmm. Alright. Alright. Liam, thank you for the raid. Liam, while you're here, I'm gonna run countermeasures for you, but I'm also gonna start a prediction with a five minute timer so people can get in on that, because I'm gonna run countermeasures for you. Who will win Texas? The entire state of Texas is at stake. <laughs> Who will win the Texan or the three others? <laughs> Who will win?
Liam6, thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully your stream is good, my dude. Catching us at the tail end of Fortune Cookie. We're just playing a little poker. A little bit of Clubhouse games. Uh, we got a prediction running right now. Who will win Texas? As in Texas Hold'em. We got to play five rounds. Oh, the whole state of Texas. The whole state of yeah. Texas is at stake here. I may have left the time around a little bit longer than I expected we needed. It's got three minutes left, so get your predictions in. Raise. Fun as always had. Nice. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. It's going to be one of these games. I see. You know what? What? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know what? Raise. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Guys, <laughs> just started. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Shortest game. Shortest game. Well, it's a pot of one hundred and sixty. See here. Hmm. Two minutes left on the prediction. Whenever well, did change the stream name back. Oops. Uh oh. Uh oh. What even was the su what subtitle I used? Was it like something about like eggs or something like that? Oh, it was like cow dot dot dot. Yeah. That's what was a cow. I guess I'll call it sure. Here we go. Stream name re readjusted. Call. Okay, this is proving to be very interesting. No kidding, yeah. Call. Call. Ka call. Ka call. It's such a big paw. It's only round one. <laughs> I know. God. Mistakes. Have mistakes been made? I guess we shall find out. I'm, we shall. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I know someone's got this. It's going to make me laugh. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm expecting to be Gex. I'm expecting to be Gex. I expect it to be Gex, too. Let's see what happens. Yeah. We all Michael. had two pairs. Wow. With the eights. Oh, I am nice. the winner. Damn it. <laughs> Just barely nudged out. I was all like, either someone has like something really good or we're all. I had pocket on. sixes, so I'm like, it's a decent starting place, so I'll bully a bit. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I just had nothing for to me, work with. For I me, got, it's all like. Yeah. For me, it's all like. You know, we've gone too far. We can't dip out. <laughs> Call. We went a little too far there. I am I have blind faith in my hand. I guess it worked out. The worst I think is like when you fold and the game's just like, hey, look at that, you have a full house now. I'm like, why? I know. <laughs> hey, you got a pair now. Yay, <laughs> we all got a pair. We're all yeah. We're all winners here. Yeah, we are. <laughs> And now everyone plays as soft yeah. as possible. <laughs> we, want, why. we want full participation from everyone in class today. Oh, hello, Gex. You're very quiet. Hey, Gex. Check. Ooh. Oh. I think it's adjusting mic right now. Yeah, I'm going to guess. Hey, what's Hello. up? Hello. Hello. There you are. Am I coming in okay? There yep, you go, now. You That's better now. Mm -hmm. There we go. Here, you're going to probably hear an audio echo. No, I didn't hear any echo. All right, showdown, Gex. Showdown. Do -do -do -do. Nice. Oh. Yeah, I figured as much. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. I was like, okay, King and Ace, okay, that seems interesting it wasn't interesting no 
Well, at least I was safe with the pet two pair, especially with a queen. You need to buzz. <sighs> well, unfortunately, I mean, I, there's no way I'm coming back from this. No way, especially with Maniacles' oh. bullshit pot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget the time on my own stream we were playing this, and I got pocket queens, and they got so mad. And then, was it the same game where like we kept on getting like pocket like four houses or something, or pocket straights? I, it was something or, like that, yeah. Every, yeah, every game was, was getting straights except, except for like our friend Limit. <laughs> fuck off, game. Just fuck <laughs> you. Just fuck you right now. Raise. A raise. Let's see what happens. All right. The sad truth is, is no matter what we do, we'll never catch up with Maniacal unless he was stupid enough to actually throw a lot of money in. Anything can happen. We'll see. Check. Oh. Checks all around the table, eh? Yeah. Can't do anything. What? Why did you fold? There was no bet. bet. Look, I don't really know how to play poker. <laughs> <laughs> you literally could have kept playing for free. Could I have? Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, one, no one to put down any money of, yet. You're in a position I of power. I don't know how to play this game, man. <laughs> That's the beauty of it all, huh? You. So besides Texas Hold'em, you've actually never played any sort of poker of any kind. Well, no, I, I, I mean, I understand a little bit about Texas Hold'em, and like I understand a little bit of blackjack. I played Mario sixty four DS, straight? man. Oh damn! Oh. Speaking of straight, yeah, oh. I know, I know. I was, I was stunned that six came up. Mmm. Yeah, Mario sixty four DS with Luigi Poker. That was great. Dude, those, dude, those mini games were like such the shit. Hell except yeah. for the Yoshi, except for the Yoshi game. Which one specifically? Like the Yoshi, like Pick flowers. The flowers. <laughs> <laughs> likes me, likes me not. Likes, oh, me, likes me not. One game I always request is Excitebots, partly because it has a poker mode. Reminder: Excitebots is a racing game, and there is absolutely racing in the poker mode. Ooh. Oh, is there? Interesting. Yeah, Excitebots is the sequel to Excite Truck. Oh, yeah, I knew that. I just didn't know how to poker mode. I'm trying to remember. So I've also been like playing Bejeweled, you know, to like relax. And I think one of the modes might be a poker mode. I think I could mm -hmm. be wrong about that. Maybe. Check. Basically, every like Zen mode and Classic mode are like my go-to's, and everything else is all like screw off. I can't Check. play these. You know what I would love in terms of a board game. I, I'm not sure if this was if there's ever an online version of this. Um, there's a game that's called like um, Betrayal, like Betrayal on Betrayal. Betrayal House on House Hill, on right? Hill. Yes. There should I would... be some sort of like tabletop sim mod of that somewhere, right? Oh, right. There, def there definitely is. I think there's actually like a home version of that. Oh, Two pairs, fuck. nice. Yeah, I am so out of the running. I appreciate the sympathy predictions, everyone, but you were not supposed to vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate the votes. The votes are great. How did John win that hand? Welcome to poker. Yeah, again, welcome. Why do you think in certain Wait. states with gambling, the house usually wins? What? Fuck go it. all in, baby! Last round, all in, all in, yeah. baby! <laughs> Come on, man, I go, go on, all in. Come on, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> Who the oh, fuck no. cares? It doesn't yeah. have to make any goddamn sense. Let's just fucking go. Bet. This looks rather pockets right now. As, as the kids, we're the only ones who can bet, Monaco. <laughs> <laughs> and more, all we can bet more. is five chips, which is stupid. All in, baby. We got this. Fucking chicken shit. 
All in, baby. Oh, oh my God. All right, who actually won this? Because I got shit all here. Who won this? Let's see. <gasps> you see, guys, I no, got nothing. No way. <laughs> he had a nine. <laughs> I had a pair, yeah. Welcome. I had a, I had a four. Can... That was it. I well, said, congrats. Well, well you can keep fucking text us. It you was the only the thing I could do. I had to hope. I had to hope. It was the only way. Maniacal is the winner. 24% of people Texas. voted for Maniacal. 48% voted on me. I'm sorry. This That first one just made it impossible to catch up. 18% yeah. voted, voted for Mayo and 10% for Gex. There's a possibility yeah. that we can like play like like idiots in these games. So uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, there is a version of it on Tabletop Sims, and it's pretty fun as long as you get good RNG. I remember a run I did with friends where I repeatedly beaten up... Wait. Where I was repeatedly beaten up, card. fell in the basement, then got trapped oh, with the killer with no re equipment whatsoever. Oh, God. Look, I'm we're going to get to this at some point, you know. <laughs> here we oh, go. Oh, God. Back. Here we go. You're due to all places, or... All, all, it's got to be all places, dude. All right, cool. <laughs> all right, let me get another prediction going here. Okay. Oh, Probably says like a minute this time. Here comes fucking Uno. I believe it's called uh, Last Card. It's Card's called Last Cards. Yeah, la uh -huh. <laughs> Or we have another name for this. I'll set this down yeah. to two minutes because otherwise the game could end by then, so. Want to play five card poker at some point, at random point in the future? I'm so bad at five card. I'm so bad at it. I don't know why. It's not even that hard, but I never have good luck with it. Hey, Michael. What's up? What's up? Draw three. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do to you? Suffer pain. Hey, Michael. Guess what? Yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Hey, Mayo! <laughs> Fair enough. Hi. Hey, Mayo. Reverse. Uh, reverse. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, Color man. Change. Color change. Oh, God. Why, Mayo? Oh, wait, yeah. never mind. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> sure. I think not. Hmm. Hmm. What are you going to play? Last card. As card. As card. As guard. As guard. John, we're in trouble. Yeah, we are. Yeah, fix it. I can't. Ooh, throw strats. Okay, never mind. Apparently, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Process god! Last card. Ass card. Mayo, I hope you have something. I feel like this may be something that I I go once, or is it? Card. Ass card. Finish. Yeah, it looks like finish. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, neat, neat. We Color still keep change. play. Okay, sure. Well, yeah, yeah. you know, Michael wins again. Last card. God Last damn it, Michael! I'm the king of the poker and the king of the cards. Come into the game. Um, I'm sorry. Draw three. And so it begins the downfall. Last card. Mile, I'm sorry again. Draw I'm three. sorry again. <laughs> <laughs> it begins the downfall. Oh, oh, thank you, no GG. Pause. Oh, of course it was the number you needed. It's down to Mile versus John. It's John's game to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, the right things are going. I'll definitely lose this. Watch, it'll be out. Uh, right, Wait, John. What do uh, you have? A card. Oh, wow. Draw two. Draw monster card. Draw. Hi. Reverse. Have a very Reverse. effective card. Yeah, exactly. Dang. 
Hey, six. hey, look, you two haven't suffered the fifty, the fifty anniversary Uno, so don't give me any of this shit. What do you mean? I totally have. No, I'm not talking to you, John. I'm talking to Maniacal and Maya oh, over God. here. Fifty well, anniversary. I to play you, but you guys kind of like Finn. just overtook that one. I see you put up most cards to meet me, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, hard cards, dude. Good fight. Third. Ooh, the bus. Do we need a rematch? Are we doing a rematch? What are we doing? <laughs> We're doing Ludo, obviously. I, I, I guess, <laughs> sure. I like to point out. I mean, my are we icon... brave enough for Ludo? I like to point out that my icon is best boy, best boy ever. I mean, Mine's like... meat. It's <laughs> pretty great. <laughs> Sky <laughs> meat. Oh, okay. I'm what are we doing? Some... I don't know how to play. I don't remember how to play president. And I guess we can do like blackjack to so the laws. So. We could. I think we'll the dealer with this one too, I think, right? Yeah, so we can like collectively dealer. try to like take the dealer down. We all know oh, how to play. we're doing blackjack? Oh god, yeah, okay. You know, somebody did say like, do you want to do five rounds or like, some people said like five rounds was a, bit, was a bit too short for poker. What do you guys think? Blackjack's mm. pretty fast. We can do two yeah. on this one. Yeah, yeah that's probably fine. Next prediction's up. Who will win blackjack? Let's do it. I guess if the dealer wins overall, then whoever's in second. Well, I mean, the dealer doesn't actually get any points here, so. Yeah. Hmm. Everyone's voting for me. <laughs> <laughs> They've seen I it. I can't imagine why. I don't know. Miles got the most points on him right now. Yeah, because Miles got a 100k shot, right, all of a sudden. <laughs> Again? Guys! I get you have, you have, a, you have a channel plus point surplus, and good for you. I guess there's nothing else to spend it on. Probably not. Is that for like Dukes and like Damn! game? Dukes and game choices, yeah. 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 Unless. No limit voted with 100,010 egg points on my Limit! Own. Jeez. What have you done? <laughs> limit, you fool. This is why we like you. John, I don't know why you're going all in. Because I'm an idiot. Okay. Oh, yeah? Well, <laughs> do it. Do it, Maniacal. I'll do it. No, go 99. Wow. Nice. Ooh, I got a set. Oh, ha, fuck. I miss sake. Oh, <laughs> I win. I fucking win. Fuck all y'all. I want to double down so bad. I want to double down so bad. I'm doing it. Double down. You do it? All right. Yeah, there's no way. Negatives, baby. Come on, Gex. Double down. Double down. I, double down. Come I on, can't. Do it. I can't. It, by blackjack rules, I can't do anything. What do you do then? Yeah, double down I, means he has to draw a card, so <laughs> he'd be an idiot yeah, to do I, that. I automatically win. It's blackjack. Well, you don't automatically win, because if if Ooh. Ooh. if the right, dealer so also gets blackjack, y'all get nothing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Which happened to me on stream, so. Wow, I actually would have tied them good. and actually got my money back. I should have just did that. My money. So an, interesting yep. thing, so an interesting thing, uh, during the casinos, I know one of the things that when I used to do tables, uh, we had about four to five decks, and we had a machine that literally shuffled our, the decks about two, three times, and then every time we were done, we would actually put again? a- 17 again? Ooh. <sighs> All right. Ooh. No, um, I'm standing. Hmm. Don't blame me on that. Hmm. This is in, like, weird territory here. All right, fuck it. Let's see here. Damn. Bust. Hmm. To double is not a bad idea, but what if you like, a one? Let's just hit it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go, God, go. Come on. Up, uh, Come on, down. do it. <laughs> Booyah. Woo! Oh. Nice. Right, that can happen too. Did <laughs> someone do not double down again? <laughs> <laughs> Round three. Time for my luck to show you just how bad it actually is. Either, my luck is either extremely good or extremely terrible, and there's no in between, and it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> uh... Shamrock says he's banned from two casinos because he counts. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep. Well, what'd you get banned for? Counting Counting. cards. Ah, Counting cards. Counting cards. Ten. Oh yeah, no. If you cow, oh you're screw oh you're in deep shit. And if they catch you, yeah. If they catch you, mm -hmm. you're in trouble. So what's wrong with counting cards? So when you count cards, mm -hmm. I can't be too. I can't remember the technical definition because it's been a long time. But essentially, what happens is when you count cards, yeah. you're counting at what are the odds for you, and when you do that, you pretty much could easily that bet easily and know when like what a certain value of the card that will come up. Uh, fuck it, I'm gonna double. Okay, mm. I'll take it. You're gonna hope for a bust then. And you did not get it. Damn. Nice. There's a very super technical turf, but it is super uh, illegal. It's <coughs> strategy here, John. I don't know My... what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it because I'm still in debt. <laughs> Like I typically somehow. associate like I typically associate like counting cars with like the movie Rain Man. There's a super technical term for counting cars and what it actually means. What I just explained is like a really down and dirty version. By the way, Mayo, nice. 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 Thank you. I worked hard on it. Okay. I mean wait, wait. Oh fuck off. That's a um... <laughs> Double down. Fuck. Back down the hole. John, my points. You Guys, it's blackjack. I had to hit on a 16 anyways. Oh my god. You've been gambling on us gambling. That's like Damn. double gambling. I gotta hope the AI is stupid. Yeah, that's what I got to hope for, too. We'll see. There was no splitting, no. Oh, my <laughs> God. No one wins. I got a draw. Yay. Nothing Welcome happened. to a casino. <laughs> you have a family to feed? Well, Why are you feeding them egg you. points? Why are you using those <laughs> to feed them? Congrats on having use, a family. Use I'm... food. But, John, eggs are food. Not egg points, though. They could be exchanged. Can they? For, yeah, for food. <laughs> they can be exchanged for cookie choices, but not actual cookies. Well, yeah. if you sell the games that they're like, you know, asking for, then they can provide for themselves. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Sure, it does. Everyone's gonna ask for your rare stuff. You gotta sell it, and then you give them the money. That's how that works, right? No. <laughs> gotta go higher. Well then. Oh, it's me. Sorry. Hit. Yep. <laughs> wow. Hit. Hmm. Oh, back to the exact same spot. <sighs> Stand. Stand in the place where you were. I don't know. Got a friend who like always likes saying oh! that. Or what? Oh, nice, nice. All right. You know what? Fuck it. We're in Vegas. Ooh, Ooh okay. double Ooh, down nice. actually. For stand. Oh, ha ha. Mm. Uh, I would it. I'm doing Do it. it. <laughs> Ooh, greedy, greedy. I'm greedy. It's okay. He'll get a twenty-one here in a second. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Not quite. Damn it. I'll take a draw, I guess. John, we were the winners before. What happened? Yeah, it's, it's blackjack. It's gambling. That's just how it That's works. That's true. This is why I never... This is why I always put a hard limit on gambling. If not, I never. The last time I gambled, 20 bucks is my limit. That's it's, it. Mm -hmm. It's digital gambling. We're not using our actual money, so... Yeah. Right, but no, actual, we? <laughs> but, but actual gambling, too, regardless? No. I absolutely refuse. That is fair. I know, like, some people, when they go to, like, casinos or, like, Vegas, they always say, like, okay, I'm, like, bringing, let's say, like, I'm always planning to, like, gamble away, like, this much only. Fuck. Or, like, up to this much. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. 
Someone says, I'm rooting for Gax, and it's totally not because I bet on him, and he has the biggest payout ratio. No, right now, <laughs> the biggest payout ratio is actually me. I've got the biggest... If, like, if I win, actually, it's the best payout. Uh... It's like, sometimes, like, funds are, like, bet based on logic, but you can also bet based on the payout ratios. That is true. And that can play with your emotions. What if you just get more? Double down, John. It's Team John's <laughs> only hope. <laughs> 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 What are you thinking, Gex? Nah, Welcome to the real stand. Splatfest. Ooh. <laughs> the real Splatfest. Stand, yeah, the... sit down. <laughs> Those are the three teams. Damn it! I was going to say, like, now we're going to do four, but now it's three now. <laughs> take the take the rigs, Jax! I need the points! <laughs> Fuck right. off! For real? Mm, stand, I guess. <laughs> well, that would have destroyed me, thankfully, Double so... Ha! 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 Send Sorry, team oh, down the on. hole. Yep, oh, there we, we go. Oh, come on. Welcome to Vegas. I told again, the house wins every yep. time. This is why you don't gamble, kids. This is why you play blackjack to lose. My not to win. Two coins. We are yeah, Mayo's the only one in the win by two fucking chips. <laughs> Damn, I can't do 69. All right, game. John, I will never find, recover financially. <laughs> Why do I bet on you, John? I thought you were the one who said you know how to count cards. Why would you bet on the guy who canonically has bad luck? That's like counting with a seven, and then a two, and then an A, and then an X. And I don't know where this, this got away from me because I realized three of those things I said were actually cards. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then I put in the Hierophant card. <laughs> And it's slowly turning into algebra. Really? Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm feeling spicy right now. Ooh. Oh, okay. Fuck so off. am I. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Too much spice. Fuck. Too much Fuck. spice. Fuck. Lots oh of spice. <laughs> Fuck it. Double down. Oh Fuck off, God. game. Oh Fuck God. off. Woo! Well, we all win. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I need Exodia. I can... <laughs> Do you need a monster reboard or a time reversal card? I need a fucking which one, mirror Which force, one dude. do you need? Do you need time wizard? I heard time wizard could be amazing. Just a 50-50 flip. Oh my god, that was fucking amazing. You failed me. <laughs> I'm sorry. This, look, okay. my luck is either really bad or good. This is just the time it's bad. I swear, I swear to get better, I swear. Got a nine and a seven. All right. Uh... I gotta double down if I'm gonna win at this point. Oh my god. That... Oh, that I knew it. I knew it. Well, Gex, what are you going to do? The problem is, you could double down. I at least didn't I double down this stupid. time. Yeah, he could safely do it. Fuck it, I'll take a hit. Fuck. I'll take a hit just to be so okay, okay. standing okay. here. I realize. If that gets a 10. <laughs> <laughs> Drop. Damn. Round nine. All right. Round nine. <laughs> my ankle. Oh my god. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what, poke what Pokemon is that, by the way? <laughs> it's probably I'm gonna look that up Nixon right thing. now. <laughs> I'm looking that up right now. I'm very confident it's Gen. Hold 6. that. Hold that thought. I I want you to hold that thought. Yeah, All what right. is Pokemon negative 638? Six, <laughs> That's just missing, three, though. Eight. My favorite. It is... Cobalion. Ooh, nice. Cobalion. Oh, okay. So One of the legendary five. swordsmen. Oh, fuck. Gotta get design. Uh, 12, what is this? which means Come I'm gonna on. get a queen. No, well, I'll take that. That's oh, good. Okay, okay. That could work. 
Nineteen's not, not terrible. Yeah, I'm, I got Sam. I'm Satan. Oh, <laughs> wow. Ugh. It's fine. Ooh, okay. Uh, you are the hmm. devil right now. <laughs> yeah, minus six, six, six. Uh, dare I stand or dare I hit? Mm. Congratulations, you are now the Verizon of the Sword of Justice. <laughs> You're I brilliant. have to beat John somehow, but I have to beat Gex somehow too. Oh my yeah, god! I don't think you're beating Gex, man. A stand. Wow! Wow! We win. Go. I wow. win. I'm out of the Six hole. Ten. Congratulations! I can't believe you're out of the hole. What? I broke it's even. My turn. It's my turn to escape the hole next. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can just like all like go all in and say fuck it. So, Mile, I will go all in if you're if you vow you're going all in. Oh, well, if you're well, going a hundred, the all max in. you can go in. So, all right, fine. I'll just I'll do a hundred. Yeah, we're doing stupid. All right, stupid. All right, this yeah, is, this is dumb now. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. All right, so who's number six ninety? Piss. Okay. Oh my Ooh. god, yeah, double down. Oh! I can work with this. Because if it goes over, it'll like go over again. But actually, I don't want. Ooh, I see here. I see the situation. What, what here. you call him, Mayo? You know what? <laughs> double down. <laughs> Do Just it again. For the hell of it. Bad ideas. Ooh, mm. Ooh, oh my! You're still God. in, which is the important thing. Double down, baby. All right. I also have no choice. Double watch, down. watch. Oh fuck off, <laughs> game. <laughs> fuck right <laughs> off. Oh, never mind. The blackjack. <laughs> Nobody wins. <laughs> hey, guess what? I win. Gex is the yeah. winner. I'm the Best real Gex. winner. We're all losers. But Gex is the winner loser. with minus thirty fifty nine bucks. <laughs> I am dead. I had to sell my house. I I loved to, I like to house? point out. I like to Somehow. point out. I won the first round with the blackjack. I lost the first, last round with the blackjack. Ain't that <laughs> some shit? Should have bought her on Gex. <laughs> also, <laughs> also, uh, huh, uh, blackjack. I played a lot back in my uh college days. So, mm-hmm. So, so we're doing Ludo now, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ludo time. How are we doing on stream stuff and all? Um, cool. I think pretty so, much th this is last game period. So if you want to get one more game in, we can. But we've already been on this for 40 minutes. So it's up to you. You want to do like one more game of last card? Just for the hell of it? Uh, what's a card game we haven't done yet? President uh, and... Do you, you guys know how to play them or? Sevens. I don't know I, how to play Mahjong. I don't really know how to play President Sevens or Mahjong, to be honest with you. Yeah. This might be to be the easiest for us to play. If you want to do last card again, it'll go really fast. So. Yeah. It would. But that was the time thing, right? <laughs> All right, who to vote on this time? I'm going to vote on John. Now, do you want it to be extra fast and have this finish on first place? Yeah, we can do first place. That's fine. Yep. All right. Oh, but for like two minutes though. Mm. Oh, meanwhile we got a duke. So let me drop the duke and see what happens. This duke goes out to Devil Kitty One. Pancaked. I want pancakes now. Dude, I I, I still stand by. If we all somehow go to Macfest, we should all go for a pancake place. That could be fun. I kind of wait a bit for like on my turn here, just so that people can't like, what is it? Wait on the prediction for like who's winning, I guess, in a way. So speaking of pancakes, so I decided to That's try. Kind of uh, I tried this a uh, fun Fetty pancake batter okay. mix. It was actually kind of good. 
a little too sweet, but it was good. I'm not gonna lie. It was like birth cake, birthday cake, but a pancake Color form. Change. Interesting. Hmm. Pancake mod breakfast. Yeah, I know, like, I didn't oh talk about God. that when you that went would to be tasty. Before, that right? would be tasty. I'd be yeah. down. Who'd be making the pancakes? I assume a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to make the restaurant. You don't want to make no, the pancakes. No, no, no. I'll just bring. I'll just bring a little spitty like it's pancake. Just a piece of kitchen so, pancake. Bring you know? your own griddle. I'll, I'll, some some mix. <laughs> yeah, just bring a little griddle. I just come to my room and I'll just make us all a bunch of pancakes. <laughs> It's just a piece of a piece of cake to bake a To be fair, I think we would not be the first person at that magazine. Let me back it up. What was that, John? What was that, John? I'm sure we would not be the only people at that magfest doing such a thing. Draw two. Well, I could see what game was more favorable. Get your phones in now, if you want. What's he got? Well, the winning card. You can tell by how there's no like immediate draw. There we go. Yeah. All right. So I didn't even get to play it all, so whatever. <laughs> this game was fucking we, rigged. Wait, we skipped you all the time? Yeah. You oh, skipped wow. me the whole time. So I didn't get to play, so whatever. I forgot well, about any I forgot about winning. anyway, whatever. It's not local. Congrats on no. winning Blackjack X. Well fought. You did it. Yeah, well fought. <laughs> well fought for fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that was the biggest amount of bullshit I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> fucking existence. I gave 50k points tonight, guys. <laughs> I also, did it. I'm the only one who didn't win. <laughs> Yay. Yay. So, um, That's so for clue, we, John. Can we make pancakes at MacFest, right? <laughs> I want to make pancakes at MacFest, right? But uh, can we bring like, can we bring an Easy Bake Oven? I mean, it's going to take a while if we use oh an Easy Bake God, Oven. Oh, my God. I haven't heard of that. They've been fucking forever. <laughs> they they still it's make them. Forever, they still yeah. make them. I know. Holy shit. Quit playing with friends. Get out of my house. <laughs> no. It's my house now. I'm squatting. Man, like I wish we have time to play Ludo because Ludo game would with Ludo would just take forever. Ludo, Ludo takes, takes a whole minimum a half hour. You see, like we play Ludo for the pain, oh. not for the fun. If I just want to do, once. if I wanted to do pain, I'll just we'll just go do Uno and then just do every rule on with the fifty card set. Oh, like actual Uno. Oh yeah, like actual Uno. <laughs> All right, schedule for the week, folks. For those wondering, Monday is game clearing. It's September, so we start a new theme, and which subs, by the way. Um, you got a couple minutes to sneak in some last votes and suggestions on uh, the round two of game clearing. But otherwise, I'm closing it a bit after stream, unless I forget, and I'll do it when I wake up tomorrow. And uh, then you'll see a post later on Sunday afternoon or evening for the last part of uh, figuring out what we're playing on September in for the whole month or just for the day. We'll see how it goes. So Monday is going to be game clearing based on what the subs pick based on the last part. Wednesday is Xenoblade Chronicles. We continue our playthrough. No Emil, it's just going to be me and the usual crew. Uh, we're at a major plot point, so we're going to Prison Island, so we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah. Saturday next week is Fortune Cookie. There's no more sponsored streams currently lined up. It's just regular schedule for the next little bit. However, for those, I, as I've pointed out, I am going to be gone at the end of September, the 22nd until October 2nd. So, uh, you might see some schedule changes coming because of that. All right. To Crazy Dude with a gift sub bomb. Queen Chief for 28. Poke Prof for 104. Kauru Tenjin for 44. Uh... I think that's... I forget if it's Kundog or Kundog. Vige T for 15. Oh, is it a disc only week as well? It is disc only this week as well, but I gotta double check to make sure everyone's down for disc only. I have not heard mm -hmm. any word from them, but I don't think anyone's gone this week, so... Let me, let me do a quick ping on that. Oh, that's the wrong server. Just like ping. Are we doing disc only? What's disc only? Who are you? Well, I'm going to say right now... Well, it was the Coliseum server, so it would have still been the same people, but other people as well. Uh, Ugi McTalk says, I bet the cow. Zulsuke Kitagawa says, I see your cow and I raise you cow! Oh, I guess it is still Saturday night. Hang on. Philip J. Fry says, 
Why isn't it playing? All right. It's Saturday night. I have no date. A two-liter bottle of Shasta and my all-rush mixtape. Let's rock. Subdivisions intensifies. And Zulske Kitagawa says, I heard Time Wizard. I'm sorry, I couldn't get you the clock, but I brought Cow Wizard. Well, it's, there's some magic involved, so that's fine. All right, thanks for the alerts, and thanks for seven folks. Is there anything in the carton now? No, the carton is once again empty, which means... You will give me an egg, Froggy. I like how I basically tripled the size of the egg shuffler, and somehow two of the three rolls were still the previous ones that were in there. Incredible. They'll never leave. Uh, all right. <laughs> never. That's there's, I think, three posts in Art Block. I don't know if there's a draw pop popping up or not. I'm assuming not, because it was a it was a sponsor night. So, uh, let's get to it. We start Art Block with the proper statement, Flat Fuck Friday. From Fox vs. Kit Kat. Pack it up, Skittle Squad. It's not Skittle Squad Saturday. It is Fat Fuck Friday. Wait. No. It's, it's Flat Fuck, not Fat Fuck. Also, you took away the Skittles, so we can't do the Fat Fuck. So. Thanks, Kit Kat. <laughs> Flat fuck Friday, motherfuckers. Next up, from Dismal Dimwit, Spyro does his taxes. With all the talk of adult-themed Spyro games, I knew I had to make some mock-up <laughs> boxer for Spyro does his taxes, oh the game. God. As an aside, the fact, that, the fact that this is not the first thing posted here tagged taxes is both extremely bizarre and completely unsurprising to me. I what can't wait to play this. The hell is the other thing tagged taxes? It's from Tiger. Oh. It is Cat John understanding what taxes are. Ah. It all makes I appreciate sense now. Spyro has human purple hands, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, how is he going to use the keyboard? You can Spyro or with his, his fingers. Oh, yeah, he has bong, exactly. All right. And the last piece of guy here before a refresh check. And she is such a bitch. Like, uh, you should fight her. Yeah, I should. From Yoke the Joke, Pon Pon painting John's nails. I feel like they would hang out and do sleepovers, and Pon Pon would like tell John like gossip, and John's like, oh, cool. okay, cool, anyway. Yeah, she probably would. Cool, thank you, Yoke, for that. Well, I don't have to paint my nails yet anyways, although I've got one fingernail again. My index, my right index, for some reason, the nail polish is like breaking off of that. But every other hand is perfectly fine. So I don't know why that finger specifically is having some issues. Oh, he was asking to give Tim. Give Tim? Give Tim. There's a draw pile and also something from Tiger. Okay, well. Yep. There's at least something to stall with. I think but I it. got in before that message. Oh my god. Did, did I get in before everyone's message? I did. Oh no. Uh, intermission. Oh. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. So, how was your day, John? Let's ask you a question here. Uh, tell us about your day in great detail. Someone asks, is this what it's like to have a sister? Mm, not really. Uh, if anything, so I went to my sister's house this week, and uh, I showed her that I paint my nails. She didn't know. And she looked at him. She's like, how the fuck are your nails nicer than mine? I can't. I paint mine, and nothing stays on them. How come yours, How come guys always have like the nicer nails? So if, I made my sister jealous, so I guess technically. Congratulations. Yeah. I guess if, I guess if the sister was the same age, then maybe that would work. I don't know. All right, it looks like draw pile at least is ready to go. Let me see if Leo's got their message in. Leo's message is not in yet. But how was your day? And there's Tiger's piece, but also no message in yet. What flavor of orange juice did you drink? Drink. <laughs> flavor or, or, of orange juice? Orange flavored orange juice. What was the pulp like? No pulp. No pulp? Is she ever it's gonna be on stream? Guys. Probably not. Don't expect my sister to be on stream. Now we know why guys don't paint our nails. It makes all the girls jealous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we go. Leo's message is up. There we go. All right, back to our vlog. My man, Deef. I prefer purple flavored orange juice. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can get that color, can't you? Yeah, Other than being just like juice. dyed. From Corel Leo, I'm trying to get in thing. Anyway, sorry if it's, uh, I have, Sorry, I have been drawing more. I assume I haven't. Like, a lot more. I've gotten better to the point that this only took an hour. Or do you actually mean you've been drawing more because this was faster? I'll try to maybe finish the sketch soon. I would like to put it out on Monday. Thanks for the time, by the way. Have a nice night. Thank you, Leo. That's nice. Done. Bang. 
Very nice. Next up, draw pile. Cow a pile. 135. Moo. From Udip says, draw pile 135. Cows and pancakes edition. Udi's return to speed posting. Time management is a lie. No, you actually did mean sorry. I have been drawing more. Okay, you did mean that. Elegant Raven, Noir, Private Butter, Dragon Tamer 2002, Luna, Luna Soul Fox, Phantom Aegis, Dewan Guy, Junko, Gabber 19, Kyupo, Nasu Blue, and Daisy Chain. Private Butter, Mikey and Pancake John having a conversation. Probably about pizza. Noir, Pancake John has a gun. I don't know where he found it. Dragon Tamer, Rayquaza is the boss in Pokemon Unite now, so it's gracing the draw pile with its presence. Gabri, after watching John stream Castlevania Dracula X and Demon Throttle recently, I decided to draw some concept art of bad ending Rosa John Belmont, where she has become a vampire. Luna Soul Fox, Jess Electron Jen in the outfit John used for Anne. I had fun drawing her. Junko, Cowabunga Collection was shown, and you know what that means. TMNT Jingle Cow Bigger Yasu. Dewang Blob, order up a short stack of Pancake John and Sunnyside Wesker. Does this imply the existence of tall stack of Pancake John? Probably. Uh, Nasu Blue, hashtag bagel sip, drawn in a car edition. Daisy Chain, wow, she's just like me. Dark hair and a ponytail, and her first name is my middle name-ish. The only difference is she has blue eyes. I have brown, and her color scheme is blue. I'm mostly red. So player two for a fighting game version. Cubo says, moo. And Elegant Raven says, random off-the-cuff alt Rosa design. Moo. Bagel juice. Moo. Cow. Hmm. <sighs> Pokemon sound, boob sound, pancake sound, egg sound. I definitely thought, oh, that is me with the, that is with the bat. Never mind, that is a bat. Never mind. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Why does Mikey have like a baseball bat? Because it's a bat. Evil sound, summer sound, pancake with gun sound, and turtle and pancake sound. Thank you everybody for the lovely art. If you guys want to join in on the, the draw pile, uh. Sorry, something in chat threw me off for a second there. If you want to join in for the draw piles, Exhibition Art Discord gets you access to the Art Discord. These tend to happen every Saturday. If you want to just get in a random drawing, whatever the, whatever the prompt is for the week. Uh, also, there's an Art Discord you can hang out in general. So if you're a visual artist or not, you can hang out there and have a bit of fun. If you got a sub, as long as Discord and Twitch are playing nice, you can join the sub Discord where you get to ch control a lot of the game clearing games on Mondays, amongst other things. You also, there are also access to servers for Rocket League, Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Showdown, and Splatoon 3 soon, as of, I guess, next week. Which I guess also probably means there's no vote for uh, starting game next week subs, because I'm it's probably pointless to give an option against Splatoon 3. Kind of like how it was pretty pointless to have an option against Cowabunga Collection this week. <laughs> Poor Contra Ooh, Collection. Oh. We tried to go. Wait, this. Splatoon <laughs> comes. Wait, Splatoon three comes out next week. Splatoon's Friday. Yeah, I'm pretty does, sure. Yeah, it's Friday. Splatoon Friday. My birthday well, is on, on Tuesday. Well, time to go back to my part-time job of doing Salmon Run now. I was gonna say that's basically what it's gonna be. It's not even gonna be like Turf Wars. It's gonna be Salmon Run. I'm so down for Salmon Run. Oh, I'm in. Salmon Run. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, draw a pile team. It's all good, Run. Better call Salmon Run. And the least, last piece I have here, Cal Rosa. How am I supposed to fit in this? Uh, yee, and I cannot stress this enough. Ha. Yeah, yeah, like not even her head would fit in that, let alone the boobs. From Tiger Brows, I just wanted to draw Rosa Cow. I don't have to explain myself to anyone, least of all you. Uh, fair. Maybe make sure she has a bigger barn next time. Or not, I guess. The planet can be a barn. Thanks, Tiger. And with that, folks, that is Art Block, and that's the stream. What's her raid message? I want to draw Rosa Cow. Then draw Rosa Cow, Dan! You're free! But I can't commission you at the moment, because I'm broke. <laughs> Cowabunga. You're, you're broke, you say? Well, no, I, 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 like, my art commission fund is already tapped for the month. That's what fair. That's fair, that's fair. What if it gets filled? Do. I mean, if people want to give me money to, to get Lusty to draw Rosa Cow, <laughs> fucking sure. <laughs> Dan's got an, got them pricey commissions, though, but it's good art. Worth so the yeah. price. It's definitely worth the price. 
Uh, let's see, what are our raid messages? Free Cow, Canada of Texas, Spyro does his taxes, Spyro Blunt. <laughs> I'm not sure if you've seen it, but Samaron's gonna be 24, 7, and 3. I did see that, thank God. That was like my biggest complaint. Mm, I literally I told, I, on my yeah. podcast, on Top Down Perspective, I literally said, yo, if Salmon Run's not 24 hours, I'm not buying it. And they thank God. I barely played Salmon Run in Splatoon 2 because of the timing. And also well, because I kept on losing. Well, I but. think that was like the biggest complaint from everyone was they want a Salmon Run that wasn't timed exclusive. I, they, mm -hmm. they, they were better on the timing restrictions after a while, but like it was still dumb that it had a restriction in the first place. Right, <laughs> and I mean that's like probably one of the few horde modes that's actually fun and enjoyable. Uh, da, 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 da. What are we going How about with? Bottle Cow? Buttle cow? Yeah, B U T T L E. No, I, I know. You don't have the spell. I don't know what you mean, but I'm just like, oh, that's all right. We can go with buttle cow if people want it. Isn't it about 50 hours each run? That's what it is now. It wasn't that at launch. It was, uh. No. Was it even 12 hours at launch? I thought it was like. It was. Very sporadic. I, I thought it was like eight eight weird hours. Yeah. I thought it was like twelve to like tw eight, twelve hours. Like I remember, like people like staying up all night to play Salmon Run for yeah. those hours. Yeah. Uh, do I? I could raid late night retro, but he's looking at the end of a Contra Hardcore run, so I'm sure he doesn't want to be distracted. Or he's swearing up a storm. Oh, he lost to continue. He's swearing up a storm. Yep, that's, that's it. <laughs> yep, there's that. Uh, we'll, we'll spare him the distraction tonight. Oh, no, there we go. Here's something we don't get to raid that often anymore. Or did he just go offline? No, I clicked the wrong button. Either. That's what it is. Perfect. I'm going to go with Buttle Cow. Let's go raid Mr. Scoot. Ooh, good choice. He's usually not up this late anymore. Surprise, we caught him. He's playing some Sega Saturn. He's playing a Japanese exclusive game that I don't recognize. Like weird. Buttle cow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's happening. All right, it's a Proton John raid. It's a Proton John raid. It's a Proton John raid. Everybody fucking, it, it's all right. Prepare thine asses. It's happening. I've prepared thine butthole. I like that he put easy it. mode as one of his tags. Fuck the bottle cow. <laughs> Arcade Park, please explain bottle cow. I know it's going to happen. I'm just right. waiting for it. Here it comes. Go give Scoot some Hello, love, everybody. and I will see you Pile guys in. on Nobody, Monday yeah, for Game Clearing just, Subs just again. Join in. Uh, in the evening of Sunday and in the morning and afternoon of Monday, check the Discord because you're going to be voting on is, what we actually actress play on, on Monday. I was going to say, Proton John knows Edo Bean. Wait, what? We're playing the uh, English translation of uh, fucking Bulk Slash. Welcome oh. in, everybody. It's a cow that buttles. Okay, I don't so work like, on that. I didn't realize the, that. The, the clue movie. That's wild. That's cool. You know, like, I'm a butler. That's cool. What do you do? I buttle. Is that is that what right. we're talking about here? Cool. All right. Night, everybody. See you Monday. That's what we're talking about. Later. Here. Bye, everybody. Be safe.